latest series. <laughs> wow. I wonder such, why. Such an epic name. So creative. Latest series. It's an air horn. <laughs> <laughs> now, bring in the dancing lobsters. <laughs> the air horn series tells you. <laughs> Those annoying ones. <laughs> Can't laughter. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, let's go with this one. Let's uh let's have a few uh, reviews first. Sarah, you are Dinahi Kaido. Kido. Kido. Yes. Mark, you are Umbratus yes. and Boss and Bossway. Dwarven Battle Rager, you are... Let's go the other track. O.S. Goliath. Let's go the Battle... No. Dwarven Battle Rager. Let's go the other Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's go the other A really, really dumb dwarf. Thanks. That, uh... That, uh, he he hired onto the his backstory is he hired onto the airship uh, as a deckhand, not knowing it was for the sky, not the sea. <laughs> because if you notice, uh, because his he, his primary weapon is a great axe that looks like a trident, uh, and great all axe, of his javelins, great, great axe stats, but a giant trident. trident. Uh, and then all of his javelins are also tridents. Yeah. <laughs> ja javelins, but also tridents. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, in the sea, clouds. <laughs> So he has to go fishing for birds, <laughs> spear fishing for birds. That was the, he, he he transferred onto the ship because he heard there was a better bay. Uh, there was a there was better bay and a more exotic. Uh, he port. thought it was fishy. That yeah. The dock was at the top of a tower. It didn't it didn't hit <laughs> him. Didn't un, it didn't hit him until the ship started going up. He started uh. going down. <laughs> if you yeah, let's let's go yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, eight, eight. Is, 8 is the average damage. Mm. It's usually for a DM if he doesn't want to deal with the rolling dice. You can take the average damage instead. Multi attack is 1 actually. So you can put on a ton of damage real quick. But you can only do that like once a day. For your dice. Right? Where did you be there? Uh, it's in my bag. I have to pick it up. What? It's in the wind bag of my backing states. You haven't unpacked it? Because it's all documented. You were gone since December. You! I demand you use the dice I gave you. I know, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the model, right? Um, uh, I'm so superstitiously for... using my three luckiest dice. Also. <laughs> Wait, for While wearing your superstitious uh, Yeah, we're using my charm. What Dude. is it? So... Ward of the, the Ward of the bad vibes. Claws? Huh? For the claws, it's... I roll only once for the two claws? Or I roll twice, one for each claw? No, you only have one claw now. Oh, okay. So it's just one claw. Two Yeah, but why would you ever do claws or bite when you can move the attack? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. One with its bite. Okay, okay. Secret notes. Secret notes. Two attacks with its bite. Another whisper. She's doing secret notes. That's okay. Okay, having to stand up. So yeah, but instead of uh, instead of it going all over the arm, it's just like four arm down. So uh, you got. Okay. Let's begin. We are. Oh, wait, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's recording. Mm -hmm. Give it minus as well. Mine minus. Can we put it <coughs> here? Instead? Sure. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so you guys find your. Uh, you are currently in the port city of. In the port city of Montresor. Okay. Montresor is a. Uh, is situated on the tip of a peninsula. Okay. And, it is, and its entire coastline on that tip has been repurposed into shipyards and shipping docks. Okay. At the center of Montresor is a massive towering figure with a plate in the middle that houses a second level of sorts of the city. And that, uh, and that area is called the Sky Harbor. The Montresor Sky Harbor. And that's where you find yourselves now. 
now recently, a renowned historian named Eiderbach Reiner has uncovered a special map that shows the way to Aratea, the fabled Sky Kingdom, thought to have been lost to the ages. The good doctor has commissioned an airship attracting the attention of scholars, sailors, and pirates. Aratea is the name of the location that he found. Oh, yes, he gave yes. me three Discovered by? By one Eiderbach Reiner. E I B E R B A C H R E I N E R. Okay. Rainer. Rainer. Okay. Kind of. Jim Rainer and Professor Support. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Let me just say. We begin with. Umbratis Andraste. Uh, you currently, uh, why don't you introduce yourself a bit first? Okay. Uh, generally everything, known and unknown? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Or whatever you feel is necessary to Uh Yeah, but how much? Okay, I'm uh, Umbratis uh, Andraste. Uh, if you've ever seen uh, Virgil from uh, from Devil May Cry, that's my peg. Oh my god. He's hot. He's hot! Uh, he is a... Uh, enough drinks. Not even. Right? He's <laughs> coffee and you're hot good. <laughs> He's hot or sober. That's the thing. No. Anyway. Alright, so... Uh, uh, he is a former military, now currently in the military reserve of the local, uh, of the local Navy. Uh, he is. Uh, he specializes in magitech and weapon tech. Uh, he is part of the weapons of uh, the Royal Weapons Guild. Uh, so he's a guild artisan, uh, and he's specializing in tinker tools. Uh, he discovered his uh, his shadowy power not very long after uh, after puberty, and has been sort of dealing with it since. But found that. Uh, he enjoys life uh, below the decks rather than uh, in the heat of things. Where it's calmer, it's cooler, and where things are reliable. Uh, he eventually uh, uh, fell in love and married a ship officer uh, who is a captain on the, on, on the rise, actually, through the ranks. Uh, she, uh, She's actually just uh, in the wings, uh, waiting for an admiral to retire or something, and then she, she can uh, begin the process to head in that direction. However, they hit uh, a bump, a baby bump, uh, in their career path, uh, and uh, she and they had a daughter. Uh, uh, deciding that it was better for their daughter if, if one of them uh, went full, uh, took care of her full time, uh, Umbratis decided that with his wife having the more promising career and uh, having generally the more the greater love for uh, for combat, uh, decided that it would be he who took upon his the responsibilities of, uh, of raising and teaching their daughter. So he since semi-retired into as as military reserve and taken on uh, more civilian duties in uh, in commercial and private commercial and private and public. Uh, airship enterprises as uh, generally as a ship engineer uh, he is uh, uh, half elf uh, 40 years old uh, uh, generally as, as young looking as, as most uh, half elves do uh, he's Pretty early retirement at your 40s mm. very early yeah it's like retirement at 20 yeah for a half elf uh, uh, he hopes, well eventually, when she's old enough to decide for what she wants to do for herself, he hopes to return to his military career. Okay. However, uh, for now he's quite content uh, and enjoying the, the civilian life uh, because of the, the joy that having his daughter gives her. His daughter is the, has manifested her powers much earlier than he, than he has. At the age of 10, she's already beginning to show signs of uh, 
the same connection to the, the realm of shadows. Oh, she is now ten years old. Uh, she's big. She's a quick learner, and uh, Umbrati suspects that she'll surpass him both in power, intellect, and perhaps skill, uh, mechanical skill as well. Uh, uh, so she is on. She's going to. She joins him re uh, on, on on every uh, duty that he takes upon, so that he can uh, teach her as well. No, I think that is all. Uh, his primary quirk, I would suppose, is that uh, uh, every place in order and every uh, and every gear in place is more of the thing. That, that, uh, that, uh, the fixer kind of mindset. Yes, yes. That uh, the things uh, must always have an order, and the people, ma and the everything from people to relationships must have structure. And it's generally, it's the key thing that has him in demand for many, for many ships because he runs literally such a tight ship. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, not that. However, uh, it it has made him the uh, quite uh, uh, antithetical to many of the sailor types that uh, normally inhabit the uh, uh, long ships and uh, commercial ships. And so it's it's he, he tends to find himself withdrawn and. Uh, Spending more time below decks, away from the sun and the uh, and the people, but it makes no matter to them. Uh, the pair of them are as comfortable in the in the dank of the holds as they are, well, more than they are out in the sun, where uh, they feel rather diminished and exhausted. All right, uh, Oscar why don't you? Uh, Oscar why don't you tell me what? Uh, Everyone's calling him Oscar because it's spelled that way, so I read it that way. Sorry, Oscar Goliath. That's Goliath. Hello, my name is Ozzy, otherwise known as Osgoliath. Oh, yeah. that's what you were going for. Yay, yeah, yeah, accent. Yeah, Ozzy. Oh, I will do my reverse RP. <laughs> I'm RPing a Russian playing a Filipinized English character. <laughs> I am playing Ubratis. Ubratis says, hey, we need to go over this way. <laughs> <laughs> reverse RP. <laughs> Anyway, Meta RP. Yeah. yeah, I just saw that book yesterday, so Meta is pretty. Anyway. <laughs> uh, As Goliath is born and raised sailor. He's been, he spent his entire life on the ship. Born, uh, born, to a dwar uh, born to a dwarven trade couple. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to give up the accent from the backstory. Uh, born, <laughs> born to a dwarven trade couple. He, Oops. The, the moment that he found that he, would, that he could be by himself, he has been on the deck of a ship. He never. Uh, he spent all of his time uh, with sailors, <laughs> never really learning anything other than working on a ship. In fact, the only reason he learned how to fight was from all of the was from all of the fishing and from all of the bar fights that he used to get into as a sailor. That's why his weapon of choice is the trident. It's the it's the sing, uh, the trident in all of its beauty and ma and magnificence is the only weapon you need. It can function a multitude of ways and as a survival. Uh, how old is uh, Osgoliath? Uh, he's about 240 years old. He's been he's been around a, 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 lot, a while to the point that he, this is how many of the uh, crew change. Basically, he started he's he's worked as a sailor to the point that he is a sailor for hire now. Like because he's been around for so long and and the crews keep changing, he gets hired by different crews all the time. So. He finds himself in uh, he finds himself new ships to work on based on price and then projected danger. So, all right, uh, yeah. he's not really comfortable with anything other than ships. So we're <laughs> into the air. He's on a ship, technically. Uh, Denahi, 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 Denahi. Uh huh. Widow. Uh, she she's a widow. Um. She comes from a, a tribe of. You're not from the stock, I'm just, I'm just uh, throwing it out. Okay. She she comes from a, a tribe, uh, and the a tribe of uh, uh, the forest guardians of sorts, uh, um, trained at an, at an early age to know their way around. Their, their area, their forests. Uh, she 
Mm. Uh, this would be her. She's quite young, uh, late twenties. She. This would be what her. What is the name? Uh, would would have. This would be her first mission out from her tribe, and uh, she's on her way home because she's just completed it. Uh, um. Ra she would she have she she'd be raised uh, as, she was raised as uh, communally as they would say uh, when they're born they don't grow up with their siblings and parents they're gathered in uh, all the kids are gathered uh, in uh, in one sleep and eat in a, not an orphanage because they're not orphans but. Uh, they're not raised by their parents. They're not raised, raised by, by, by their parents. So they grow up with all the kids. So she she gets along well with mostly with people that she's learned to live and to live uh, with um, in, uh, 20 plus kids Japanese or so. She, that's what how she grew up. Uh, and the difference is just the and the like she feels she's a bit out of her element and she's in an airship and out of the forest. So it's a Who has the highest charisma? Well, your sorcerer, I'm guessing. I'm stupid. And so uh, you are currently in Manchester, the sky, the sky harbor section of Manchester. Visual thing here. Oh. Alright, straight from uh, Treasure Planet. Because Plan I just Plan recently Plan. watched oh, it. Oh wow, Treasure Planet. <laughs> oh, so, as a reference? Yeah. It's awesome. It is. And it holds up. Joseph Gordon Levitt voice Jim Hawkins. Voice who? Jim Hawkins. Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Anyway, uh, so there, uh, you are currently in Manchester. Umbrat, uh, everybody received uh, 250 gold. Okay. On top of the. Is this, um, do we get our uh, kits? Uh, yes, get your kits, uh, your your normal kits. Ah, oh, shit, you have printed over there. Uh, two si is it including the starting goal? Yes, on top, on top. The 250 gold is actually the advance from the payment you have received from from uh, Eiderbach. From Eiderbach. Eiderbach. Oh, yeah. Uh, writer, your sponsor. Uh, for visual effect, for us, Golia, just think of a dwarf in the traditional Japanese fisherman's outfit, except uh, his right, his right arm is armored, and uh, his right forearm is uh, armored with uh, with uh, it's a really thick. Gauntlet that's adorned with uh, spikes. Okay. Upon closer inspection, they're not metallic spikes; they're actually um, fish spines. <laughs> really, 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 really big fish spines. Oh, this is what my character looks like. Ah. For everyone's reference. Actually, if you've watched, if you've watched uh, School Rumble. Haruma Kenji's <laughs> okay. anime uh, manga fisherman manga slash fisherman <laughs> mentor. Yeah, yeah. That's what he looks like. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the, big, okay. the big guy. I, the big guy. I, I, but like it. dwarf sized. <laughs> Just to confirm, you are all level three. Yes. Yes. Oh no. There aren't any humans, so no variant. So no need for variants. Mm -hmm. no. Wow, no one took human. Yeah, first time. <laughs> no one. No one was tempted. Oh, well, I consider half. No, because still pretty up there. Pretty up there. No, because the, the the person who typically picks variant human is DMing you now. Oh well, no, I also pick variant humans. They're just good. <laughs> yeah, no. The In fact, my my next character is variant human. No, because uh, they're, Wait, they're kind the, of unfair. What are we playing? The, uh, the next actual Which, gamer plane the, with the four of us. It's uh, our, our the, next, the, next the next airship, airship mission. With that depends on if he's ready already. If you're ready, it's gonna be you. If it's not, it's gonna be me. Okay, I okay. If it's gonna be me, it's, it's going to be the warlock. Warlock and the scout. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, they they uh, don't go together because the officers are all yeah. are all separate. 
Uh, with Javi DM, it is Scout Swashbuckler Arcane Cleric. Oh, yay! With me DM, it's uh, Warlock Blade Singer Eldritch Knight. Okay. That sounds like the most badass magical board game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I just I noticed that I put all the. Sorry, Macy. You don't want your mag magicians in one place. Yeah. Or at least so, most of your uh, magicians in one Mark, place. Yeah, war warlock, please. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. We have no healer. No. There is no healer in any party. Except the cleric. Yeah, you have you are king cleric. Because we we cut the two bards. Oh yeah, we did. Well, uh, what is the name of that song from School Rumble? The ones they were singing while they were fishing. Oh yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that one from Under the Skyship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the crew begins singing a sea shanty. Oh yes, oh yes. So, uh, <laughs> in Montressor, given that Montressor is a massive. Fourth city. It is a central trading hub. Especially up in the Sky Harbor, uh, prices are a little buffed up because people are taking advantage of the fact that it's a port. Okay. However, you are currently, uh, Umbratis, you have just finished your your supply run. Your some of your some of your engineering staff have already carted the supplies, uh, spare parts, and etc. back to the airship. You now have a few a few minutes before you can uh, proceed to the ship called the Lysace. Mm -hmm. You have a, you can you can go to any store, any stall, or any shop. There are everything you need. You will likely find in this place. Just note that it's a little more expensive than usual. Ah. On my arm? Oh uh, yeah, your your arm. Uh, what do I have on me? Whatever's on your kit. Uh, everything's on you, but just that's that that's you do not useful. have. Yeah. That's super useful. Mm. Except for your work in now. I don't have. Uh, you don't have any potions on you right now. Okay. That means I, I would like uh, to go into town. Sell my light crossbow in 20 bolts okay. and uh, attempt to purchase a uh, longbow. A longbow? Yes. Yeah. So uh, you enter a shop and you see a. You, you've, met, you, you've been in the Sky Harbor for quite a while. You, you, ever, since your, uh, ever since your retirement, you've been, you've been here. You've lived here for most of your, your semi retirement. And you, mm. you, this is the shop you've always gone to, and uh, it's always a difficult time because this guy. Always tries to uh, lowball me. Okay. But he has the best price he can get, given the distance from the Lesace. Okay. So you see him, and he's a, he's a gruff old man. Uh, yeah. Gruff old man, a little chubby, and uh, white hair covering most of his uh, upper torso. And he's like, oh, you again, Mr. Mr. Rattis. Oh, uh, oh, what can I do you for? Uh, so I say, uh, uh, none of your funny business today. I just want a straight up trade. Uh, I'm handing in my light crossbow with 20 bolts. Uh, I want a longbow in return, and I'm willing to add a little bit of gold on top of that. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Light crossbow, you say? Crossbow look a little uh, rugged in you. Don't pay, don't, uh, don't nonsense me. I'm a military man. I know exactly. Everything that there is to know about weapons, far more than uh, than a simple merchant would, would be. This uh, light crossbow is perfectly usable, and something that uh, your the soldiers that protect this town would be issued. Uh, persuasion. I, w I, I wouldn't give advantage because uh, he's dealt with you before as well. Sure. <laughs> You've had this back and forth before. Sure. Twenty. Twenty. You drive hard bargain, Mr. Bratis. I find her. I give you. Oh, oh wait. If I hear it correctly, you are going to the sales. Uh, you are currently stopped in the sales. Yes, uh, where might you have heard that? Oh, merchants always hear something from the ground, yes? Uh, I, sh I shoot him a look, but I, uh, I, nod, in, I nod my, uh, 
my affirmation. Uh, I say I give you full I give you full price for your crossbow and uh, full price for your uh, for your bolts and uh, discount for longbow. I give you an additional five co five gold pieces for your longbow and uh, one gold piece for uh, twenty arrows. Uh, so I'm spe I trade in my crossbow and then I, I spend six gold on top of that. Uh, I look at it reluctantly uh, and then I say, uh, very well. Uh, good trade, good trade. Uh, would you also have any other needs uh, from me? I have everything you need. Mm -hmm. uh, I start uh, looking around his shop. Um, you find potions, you find... Uh, you find uh, well, just normal healing potions. It's not a very... Uh, it's not a very specialized shop. It's really just for general goods. Alright. Do I see any short swords? You do. Short swords. Right. It's it's currently uh, the short sword you see is uh, currently priced at ten GP. It has a it has a price tag there. It's currently priced at ten GP. Okay. Uh, I uh, lift it up. Now, what does it uh, look like? Uh, it's, uh, it's not so much a short sword as you remember. It's from a. This one's kind of imported from a far off land, as it says on the tag. But it's actually a scimitar like uh, edge. It's curved blade. Yeah. All right. It's a weird curved blade with a with a guard. Okay. Uh, I pick it up. I give it a few swings using my uh, my military experience. It's comfy. Can I can I tell it's it's of decent quality? It's comfy. It's a it's a good quality. Uh, it's it's just that it's not as good as it's trying to sell it as. But it's for short uh, as far as short swords go, it's uh, certainly mechanically sound. All right. Uh, uh, how much are uh, the potions looking at? Uh, the potions will run you at uh, around one hundred eighty. 100 what? Sorry. 180 GP. 180 GP. Uh, I uh, look them over and then... Uh, how much am I expecting back from the end of this mission? Uh, how much was I promised? We were, we were promised at around 1,500 gold at the end. <coughs> you were already given your advance yeah. from the 250. So, minus? Oh, no, no. no That's no. on top. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh, 1,500, yes. Right. On top of your exclusive, which is a lot. Either box is very renowned, very much. Okay. Uh, so one eight, one eighty, and then the short sword on top of that. Okay. So, uh, so I, and then so I'll say, uh, I'll say. Now what's his name? What's my uh, my contact's name? And the. Uh, Welly Harris Donhart. Again, again? Welly Harris Donhart. Welly Harris? W E L E. Okay. H E A R I S. And Donhart. H E. H E A R I S. Welly Harris. Welly Harris. Don. Don is it? Okay. Such a noble name. Uh, what do people call him around here? Uh, they call him Mr. Wheelie. Mr. Mr. Wheelie. Mr. Wheelie. Is it? Is it? Okay. So He's white. So I'll say, uh, now, Wheelie, if I never return from here, uh, if I never return here because you're, the goods you've sold me are faulty, you're losing uh, that uh, that much business. You know how much business I transact with you. Of course, of course. So, so cut me a good deal for good uh, for for good quality products, and I'm sure to return safely with all of my uh, with all of my payment from this mission, and with that much more gold to spend at your shop. How much? Uh, what deal can you cut me for this? Uh, for just this health potion and a short sword. Uh, you see, it's very high profile job. I give you. Uh I sell you 165. All of it? 165? Uh for just for the health potion. Okay, so you're cutting me 165 and then you're But the but yeah, but they haven't had it for the short sword yet. Okay, okay. Uh no, um no, everything. Give me give me the whole price for everything. Uh 170. 170. Very good price I see. 
only because your favorite customer and you were going to Lysace. Going to the what? The ship. The ship is called Lysace. Okay. What do you know about Lysace? Lysace is... An, uh, oh, it's, I know? I know this? You, or? you know you know Lysace. It's, uh, you, you've heard of it several times over. It's a very popular ship. And uh, it's the one commissioned by Arderbach. Uh, the doctor and okay, so it's been in and out of the harbor a long time. Yeah, but this is the first time we'll be working on it. Okay, you you've heard of the captain before, but you haven't. Uh, you've heard of the renown of the captain, but not the name. Not you, you. You've only you've only ever been focused on your own job so far, and okay. you haven't really heard of the name of the captain. But okay, you, you've known of his renown. Okay, so I know it's uh, of decent pedigree, the ship mm -hmm. and the yes. captain. Okay. So I say, uh, uh, I'll take it, and if I never come back, know that it's on you. Alright, very hope, I hope you come back soon, yes? Uh, so reduce 170 on top of the ones of the 6 GB from the, for the longbow. Alright, uh, uh, um, I... Do I suspect that I will have to provide my own uh, rations upon the No, 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 no. Training? It's, part of the, it's part of the ship being commissioned. There are okay. rations there. So, uh, all my uh, physical needs are taken care of for yeah. the, the duration? The baths are cold, but otherwise it's uh, functional. <laughs> You're a sailor, everything's cold. <laughs> so, uh, do, you go up, do you go anywhere else after that? Uh, uh, I tried to uh, hit up the local officer's bar. Uh, to try and uh, get some, so just some pre intel, so I know who I'm dealing with, uh, okay. the, with the captain. So you 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 walk the towards usual hangout the, for 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 navy men. You walk towards the uh, you walk towards the bar, the bar area, but uh, before you get there, uh, you pass by a particularly pretty wood elf, as elves go. Okay. But then again, you're also a half elf, so you're you're a particularly pretty man. <laughs> okay. But you're sing but you're not single. Anyway, this <laughs> this uh. This wood elf comes in the shop with Mr. Reedy's and uh, you have uh, you, the nanny, you wandered, your, uh, you wandered into Mr. Reedy's shop of general goods uh, because he seemed to have been trying to prepare for something. Oh, oh. Um. Oh, welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, very pretty and very new. Uh, where are you from, lady? Mm. This old man. Uh, what does he look like? Uh, gruff beard, uh, really fat type, did, dark skin. Did I human? Uh, what is he? You can't tell with what he's wearing. Can't, because he's so hunched over, he's so fat. You can't tell whether he's a dwarf or a fat human. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> he's I, a human so fat you could think he's a dwarf. He's. It's my really first time seeing him. Yeah. Right? Uh, um. Um. I'm from a far away. Please, um, uh, welcome, I to, uh, welcome to Mr. Willie's house. Uh, my name is Willie Harris Donhart. You can call me Mr. Willie if you purchase really nice, yes? Um, uh, alright. Uh, I, uh, um, I'm looking for the health potions. Do you see the health potions? Oh, yes, you see the health potions. Yeah. As, uh, you speak a perception. Eighteen. Uh, he, he could, uh, you can see the health potions. You can't see the tag. And, uh, he shows you, uh, he shows you one health potion. He says, "This very nice, very, very effective health potion." He's telling it. He says, two hundred gold." Two hundred men. I can't see the tag. Am I still in the shop? No, you already left. You just left. Uh, he, well, you could make a perception check if you want. If you want to hear it. No. Damn no. it. Uh. Uh, but 200 gold? Yes, wow. yes, very big discount. Other shop, 250. Um, but it, it has a tag? It doesn't have, it doesn't, he, when he showed it to you, it doesn't have a tag, and when you look at the rack of uh, other health potions behind, no tags either. Uh, so also everything's behind the counter, there's yeah. nothing... Yeah. Yeah, behind his, behind where he's taking so big anyway. Uh, so there's nothing I can pick and look at? You can you can look at other stuff, but oh, are, but the health, but the health the potions health. don't have tags on them. There's only like one general tag for the health potions. Okay. Uh, you haven't got very big discount for a pretty lady. Like I you only have two. What? 
for a pretty lady like you, yes, very good discount, 200 gold, 200 gold. Uh, hmm, that seems a little too steep for me. Mm, why just do you, one? Why just do you need potions so bad, lady? Mm -hmm. Why do you need potions so bad? Are you going somewhere? If, uh, I, if Mr. Billy might know? I'm uh, just heading home. Uh, from far I'm away, you definitely need health potion, yes? Yes, but... Mm, uh, can I make, make, an, can make, I an, make an insight to know if... Make an insight. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I should have made that my... Okay... Uh, 16? You're a whiz character. You know... Uh, you know... You can't tell whether it's higher or lower, but you know that's not the price. Of the... Of the, the health potion. Mm. Uh, um, well, I was just looking around, um, Mr. Wee, uh... Oh, no, 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 Maybe, no. maybe, Willie really, Harris, you haven't bought anything yet. Uh, Willie? Willie Harris. Willie Harris. Willie Harris. Uh, I, I suppose I, uh, I should come back uh, Are you sure? in a bit. How about 190 gold for potion? Um, I, I am... I need to go to the restroom. I'll be right back. Restroom? Right in the back, yes? No, it, it's okay. It's okay. I need air and... Uh, okay. I, I just walk... I start walking backwards out okay. to the shop. So he has uh, legitimately picked you out. Uh, uh, where do you go after? Can I look for another... An actual bathroom? <laughs> no, another shop. Okay. You, 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 you uh, make an investigation. Minus one. Seventeen. Okay, uh, it'll take you a few minutes, but uh, you know where to go. Uh, Ozzy, uh, what are you up to? You're currently in the Sky Harbor. You're just uh, walking around. You, it's not you're 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 on short lead before the ship has to shove off. Uh, I suppose I'm as a, as a barbarian. I suppose I should go get a Uh, I guess I'll look for. How how long have you been in on short leave? Or how long have I have I, in my 250 years of life? Have I, you've uh, you've I've, been in uh, Montrester for like 50 of it, so you know you know where to go if you need something. Uh, then I'll I want to go I want to go to preferably a merchant I know, uh, probably purchase uh, some ale and uh, and some potions. Okay, so you go to Willie Habits Black Sea, the Willie Habits Black Sea shop. Uh, it, you see, he's a very prim and proper high officer. Oh, Mr. Ozzy, welcome back. Do you need anything before you shove off? I... Well... Uh, I'm going to be needing a few things. Uh, of course, of course. First of all, you know how much I like my hair. Uh, and then, if I can get the standard rate on, uh, on a potion or two, we'll, we'll be right. I hear you're going to the Lysais, is that correct? I... It's... It's... An adventure. Tell you what, come back here after you're done, and I will sell you the potion for 120 gold. Sounds fair. The ale, however, you will find in the tavern across the street. You keep forgetting because you're always drunk. It's not that I'm always drunk. It's that your shop is just so pristine. I can't help but think that when I come in here, I just want to stay in here. Drunk or not, it is going to happen. You will find no trace of alcohol here. Now, if you need anything else... I, I, uh... So, uh... I'll, I'll, I'll take the portions. Uh... I'll take two. I had two for you. You had two for you? I had two for you. Uh... From your sailor's background and the change you have from the 250 gold I gave you? Uh... That leaves me at 20. Alright, you have 20 gold. Uh... And then, I hand him an extra 10 and say... Uh... And say... You know that like, uh, no, ma no matter how much I enjoy this, you, we, you and I both know that uh, whether I come back or not, I might as well leave them here. At least, at least to help pay off all of those discounts you keep giving me, man. Oh, you are too kind. Um, now, please proceed to the tavern uh, across the street. I'm sure Mr. Dark Blossom will accommodate your ale needs. You are, you are always one of the nicest people I run into. And then with that, he goes across. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, sure. 
I have 30 low percentage. So I'm, I'm at 10 gold, just as a reminder. My perception is 3. Oh, 3? Yeah. Are you? No, I, I have to roll first. Oh, okay. But like, it's a, it's a plus 2. 16. 16. You, you, you hear him mumble. Keep the 20 out. What? You hear him mumble. Oh, is that a thing for dwarves? Is that a thing? Very, very tiny mumble. Is that a thing for dwarves? That's the one you're going to use a lot. Is that a thing for dwarves? Uh, He's got... Uh, I've always had a thing for dwarves. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, in Gratis, you find yourself in the uh, typical... Uh, in one of the taverns. Uh, Frequented by officers. Fre frequented by officers. It's close by to the shipyard. Uh, okay. It's called the Laughing Lamia. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Lamia. Laughing. Lamia. The Laughing Lamia. And uh, you, you enter there, and uh, you see the bartender uh, already tip his uh, tip his non-existent hat to you. And, okay. Uh, and uh, other officers. Hey, 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 hey. So uh, what do you what do you do? I. Um, I go up to. Oh, do I know where my uh, where where Luna is? My daughter. Luna is You left her uh, in the ship. In the at the ship. At the ship. Okay, okay. You at the engineering. You've already toured the area. You haven't met the captain. Yet. Okay. Uh, you left her at the engineering uh, in the engineering dock or deck. Engineering deck. Okay, okay. I look at. Um, I look for any uh, port officers, uh, namely those uh, who would be dealing in customs, those who would regularly be interacting with uh, civilian captains. Uh, yeah. And if I find any, any I am going, any that I know, I'm going to uh, come up to them to uh, ask them about uh, my captain. You know him already. Uh, he's a he's a bronze dragonborn. His name is Sizen Redfield. Sizen. Oh, Sizen. S A Z E N. Or Sazen Redfield. Sazen. And uh, he's he, he's slumped in the corner in the corner of uh of uh. What time of day is it, by the way? Sorry. It's around 11 a.m. Okay. And, uh, Drinking early. You know he's uh you know he's he's got a very stressful job <coughs> in customs. It, it is a very high traffic. After all, both up and uh, both on this, uh, both on water and on in air. Uh, I'm gonna. S uh, will I see what he's drinking? Uh, ale? Typical ale served by the, by the okay. bar. Okay. I'm gonna stop by the bar first mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, pick up uh, a couple of drinks. Maybe something a little bit uh, higher tier than what he's drinking at this moment. Uh, you see the bartender and say, "Oh, what do you need about this?" Uh, Sizen over there, uh, what's his favorite drink? Oh, it has to be this very specific red wine from up north. Uh, if I get me a couple of glasses of that, how much is that going to set me back? 30 copper. Not bad. Uh, I put uh, I put the change on the, on the counter and uh, flip him uh, like 5 extra on top of that. 30 for the two of them or 30 separately? Okay. Because you only ask for a glass and not a yeah. So I pass him uh, 35 uh, copper. Uh, pick up uh, the couple of glasses and then uh, saunter my way over to, uh, uh, to Sizen's table. Uh, I put uh, I put a glass down on uh, on his table and uh, say uh, uh, I can't I can't. Uh, every time I see you, it's like you're this close from picking your scales loose from your head. It's a tough job. Honestly, I want to quit and just go to a desk job and do the paperwork behind people. Oh, you kidding? You'll miss it. Uh, yeah, right. What do you need about this? Uh, this is uh, uh, the Lassays. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of it. Everyone has. Oh, definitely. But, uh, Great uh, shit. I've been uh, I've been commissioned for uh, chief engineer uh, for one for a run they're doing to uh, some uh, some uh, newly discovered land or whatnot. But uh, to avert, to avert, yes. Uh, the shade of it is uh, I need I want to know who I'm dealing with. Uh, have you met the captain? Ah, 
I don't want to spoil any surprises, but nothing you have to worry about, I'm sure. You think so? Uh, what's his name? You really want to know? I don't want to ruin the surprise. Uh, I, I push one of his one of the glasses uh, in his direction. Uh, you drive a hard bargain. He downs it, and uh, he tells you, "Should say it. You've, uh, you've met him before. He's a uh, Captain Rockface." Oh, Rockface. So I've met him before. I you've know. Met, you've met him before. You've served on one of the ships before. Oh. Oh, so he didn't captain the Lasses before. Yeah, he. It's new to you because you never heard him retire, suddenly retire into the public, into the private sector. Oh, so, former military. He's former military like you. Uh, so it's a little, it's a little nice that uh, it's a little nice to find a familiar name. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you remember him, what's this? <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Uh, your, your Earth Genasi captain, Captain uh, Mr. Arrow. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Arrow. Your your Earth Genasi captain, Slate Rockface. Slate Rockface. You know you know how well he runs the ship. You know how you know you've seen his prowess, his prowess in combat during the off times you've been raided by uh, right. pirates. I've served with him before. You served with him before. Both you and your wife have, have served okay. with him before. You've learned a lot from uh, from him. That is a cool. That's a weight off my shoulders. It's one less thing I have to worry about. It's bad enough. Uh, it's bad enough engine misfires, but uh, an unruly captain is, is a whole other problem. I'm unwilling to deal with. The, the peace of mind alone is worth two glasses. I pass him a uh, second glass, and I just chat him up until it's, it's time to go. He, he tips you, and you, you drink a bit. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Your investigation check uh, oh, yeah, points yeah, you yeah. to the Black Seeker. Black the Black Seeker. Okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's another one of the general bits. So I uh, go in. Have you seen the um, what do you see? Sketch, uh, uh, you see a high. Uh, yeah. See yeah. an elven man. Okay. Uh, okay. Feminist oh, hello. 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 Oh, I curse in Dwarven. <laughs> you know Dwarven? Yeah, I picked it as one of my... Do I hear that? No, you've already left. God damn it. I, 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 uh, I say a string of curses in both Elven and Dwarven. Oh that my. Mr. Wade. Are you a sailor? Oh, uh... Oh, um, the one person among us is this. <laughs> yeah. No, not, not really. Uh, actually, it'll be my first time to ride uh, those uh, airships. I uh, see, I see. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I do need... Uh, 150. Um, yes, 150. It's, oh, pieces. well, the other store, Mr. Wheelie. I, I, I'm sorry, the name escapes me. Uh, to fit, to you see him roll his eyes. Uh. 200 gold pieces. Uh, good thing I didn't uh, buy it from him. Yes, I'm, he was smart to leave. Uh, I... Um, uh, can I make an inside check to see, to know if... Wait, how do I know if uh, um, uh, health potions really are around the range of what? It's always things. different for every land you pick. Oh, okay. But this is one of the more cheaper ones, I would say. Mm, okay. Uh, mm, oh, okay. Um, are you riding on a ship now? Uh, yes, the 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 seas. The seas. I'm heading home, as they would oh. say. Oh, the Lasses is not going to whatever home you live in, unless you happen to be, well, unless you happen to be a Repian, which I doubt. They've been extinct for thousands oh. of years. Oh, oh wait. But well, I was there when I was there when it happened. Oh, oh um. Does he look old? Uh, so I will. How much is it? One fifty. I don't know anything about money, so I'll take it because it's much cheaper than the other one fifty. Uh, um, I. Says, uh, well, I. You say take, uh, any chance of coming back here to start? Gonna say it's, we'll probably come back here after whatever expedition. Oh. Oh. Uh, will you be? Oh. Uh, Okay, um, I'm, I might, um, I... 140. 
Oh wow, really? That that's quite generous. Are you usable? Yeah, usable. Long bow. Only forty euro in the. He's ten. He's ten extra arrows for the bow. Oh. He's pushing cards into the bow. Uh, can I? Uh, can I try to find out why he? Besides, look like an axe. Being generous. It's <laughs> meant so that you can spare fresh meat for some time. No, that's a four. You can't read though. He's can't read his uh, a thousand, uh, almost a, 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 a thousand years worth of uh, poker faces. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, um, oh wow, this is uh, very generous of you. Um, yes, I, I'll take it. So, uh, oh, one condition. Oh, may I have your name? Leather pants. Oh, um, um, Denahi. Um. Why the sudden interest in my name? Oh, uh, everyone knew it's very interesting to me. Oh, I just wanted to, I just wanted to have a pay, so to speak, for your name. Oh, so I might need it for data. I need a what? I might need it for data. For what? Do you want a discount? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> so, so, um, so, uh, I'll you, take it. I'll take it. Um, 150 or 140 gold from your. Uh, mm -hmm. So you what's get, the 60 you get, minus? Minus, you get a you get a healing potion and 10 extra arrows. Wow, I have 50 arrows. Oh, good, your longbow. I can borrow from you. Uh, <laughs> fine, I can. <laughs> uh, javelins, just like uh, tridents uh, everywhere. 260 <laughs> minus 140. Sorry, yeah, he eats with a fork. Zero. He doesn't use a spoon or knife. Two. He just takes a fork. Nice. It's an obsession. It's an obsession. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, well, um, this, so, uh, this is very generous. Uh, thank you. Hear, you hear it very loud. You can fall forward. You know, you know it's probably what the say is. Uh, thank you, Mr. I'm, I'm sorry, what's your. What's. Uh, Black Sea. Black Sea? What? It's Black Sea. Yeah. Well, favorite Black Sea. Um, well, thank you, Mr. Black Seeker. Uh, Black Seeker. Black Seeker. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'll be back, but uh, I'm grateful for the discount you gave me. Please, please be safe. No one I will, I will. Uh, I shall so, see uh, you soon, perhaps. And then so I rush out. Of the uh, you go out. Uh, as you go, as all of you go to the ship, uh, you hear murmurs of. The, the general of the general populace, worried murmurs. Uh, we, uh, no, you don't need to. Uh, you hear the name. Uh, you hear the name. The capstone being thrown around, and you hear and you hear others like Captain Valvorex being thrown around. As a sailor, do I know the relevance? Of these? Both of you, you both know that the capstone. And Captain Valvorex, the name itself, is in fact one of the more notorious pirate ships that have raided the trade routes that go in and out of the Sky Harbor. <coughs> okay. You know the captain's name is Valvorex Skysbane. Skysbane. So he's Sky Pirate specifically. Yes, yeah, Sky, Sky Pirate specifically. Very notorious, feared. Among the sky, the sky uh, sailors. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, now you all find yourselves in the six. Okay. A fishing This is the six. Oh. Uh, it's uh, it's not the biggest ship you've ever been in, but it's one of the more uh, faster, more mobile ones. And of course, since it's private, you can't expect it to be so heavily armored and everything. Mm -hmm. But it is equipped with its own defenses. Four cannons on uh, each side. Uh, <coughs> and you've, you've seen the reactor, it's very uh, well maintained. Whoever was the last chief engineer was uh, very good at his job. Mm -hmm. so you see already uh, the captain of the ship, Captain uh, Slate Rock. Very, very big guy, probably around uh, seven, eight feet tall. Uh, you see on you see on his uh, on his side is a stone warhammer, the the actual rock face. Okay. That he uses against the faces of the enemies. Okay. 
of cool people. He sees uh, he sees the three of you. You actually came in almost the same time. And, uh, he sees you and grabs his uh, brothers. If I didn't do any stupid, I, I wouldn't even know that you would be capturing this ship. I come up uh, for a hearty handshake. You, you get you do that arm clasp handshake. Great. His is particularly tight. <laughs> I suspect his, his, his hand encompasses my arm. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, he says, uh, I see you've been well. Semi retirement has not told you one bit. Uh, I try to keep sharp. I plan to go back someday. I hear you have a child with you. Uh, she's on the ship as well. Ah, yes. Uh, teaching her the trade. She'll make a fine, uh, a fine uh, military engineer should she, should she choose, choose the path. Excellent, excellent. And, uh. You there! Aye, sir! Mr. Osgoliath? Yeah? Yes, Captain! We're about to shove off, make sure all the lines are secure, make sure all the ropes are tied, and we are about to set sail. Aye, Captain! I'll set it, uh, I'll set it straight! And uh, so you go off, uh, you... I sniff alcohol, like... <laughs> what time of day is it? <laughs> and, uh, uh, he motions to you, uh... Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, 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 what is the luck? Uh, oh, yeah, yes. Do I know him? You've met. You've, uh, you've purchased your ticket already. Oh, okay. Your pass. Oh. Um, it's not. It's it's a it's a private ship, wherein most of the passengers that aren't crew members are scholars. Some are adventurers. Some are tourists. The dumber ones are tourists. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd like to ask, uh, what is uh, what race? other than human would be most populous amongst the sailors in the navy. Uh, he tells you it's a, it's a mix of... No, because I'm, I'm picking my fourth language. Ah, okay. Uh, and a... it would be wh whatever is the most commonly spoken. Oh, spoke uh, in terms of language? Mm, amongst the seamen. Because I already know... Dwarven and common. Dwarven and common. Okay, so I'll pick one. Alright. Ah, we all speak Dwarven! We <laughs> yeah. all speak Dwarven. Because uh. <laughs> I'm a dwarf. So, uh... He, yeah, he says, uh, good meeting, uh, good to see you again, Brattis. Uh, uh, I need you to the engineering deck to prep the, prep the reactor for uh, our eventual launch. Uh, what time is the launch, Captain? He checks his, uh, or checks his launch. 15 minutes. I synchronize with his. Yeah, uh, he says, uh, now if you'll excuse me, I must meet with one of our guests. Of course. So he motions to you and uh, he says that, uh, your organization has requested for your safe passage to right up to Aranta. How do you spell it? A-R-A-R-R-A-R-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-E-A-
in your crew to scrub. <coughs> scrub the one that cleans like that. She has fires, or at least from uh, from her uh, bio, she aspires to be to learn about engineering as she goes to her career in the Navy. Mm -hmm. uh, have I seen her work references? What, where has she served before? This is only her second time serving on the uh, Where has she been trained before? Has she been trained by by a guild? No, she's not. She's actually uh, just a, her first time in the engineering deck because previously her work experience is uh, deck hand. Okay. Okay. So very, very good very experience. <laughs> However, she her personality, in spite of her resting bitch face, is actually she's actually very popular. And uh, as she as as you talk to her, she she has a bubbly personality. She has a very bubbly personality. Uh, as the other engineers pass by, they say, oh, Georgia! And like, Sir, what is for duty? <laughs> uh, so cute. I, I say, uh, if you, uh, uh, if your uh, popularity is as, uh, is any indication of your skill, uh, then perhaps we will get along. I, I take a. Uh, do I have a desk? Do I have an office? Do I have a, a stand? Yeah, well, uh, you have a small, you have a small wooden desk drawer. Yeah, okay, with a small seat. Okay, I head over there and start uh, uh, browsing over to her, to her, uh, to her page on, on my notes on my clipboard or whatnot, and then I, I it's like a, it's like a, it's just manifesto of sorts. Yeah, uh, her Grumatic. dossier. Yeah, dossier. Uh, what? Uh, have I met her before? No, this is her first time meeting. So you, you know she's been assigned okay. to you. I just recognize her? Uh, how did I recognize she's the her? the only one you don't know. Oh, okay. I've never met. <laughs> so I've, I've, I've served at least with, some of the, with a lot of these people If you before. haven't served with them before, you've met them prior oh, okay. to in the day. Okay. Yes, it's, even then. Uh, so it's, it's a small world, our, uh, our crew of freelance, uh, freelance sailors uh, here in the sky ships. Uh, and I've never seen you before. You must be... I, even though I can recall the name, I, I make uh, the effort to look down upon, look down on it, and uh, Georgia Minsley. Yes, sir. Georgia Minsley. Uh, what? It's my first, my first time in the engineering deck, actually. I hope I can learn something from you. What's the? Why are you here? I really just want to. I want to be you. As <laughs> a head engineer. That's creepy as that. Uh, is. Why not take up with one of the guilds? Well, this is one of the best ships, Captain. Uh, Commanded here by one of the best captains. I consider this a very, very lucky opportunity. Mm, yeah. Well, it is. It would be a good opportunity if you if you could make uh, the best of it. But I'm afraid, really, I'm not here to teach. I'm here to run the ship. Of course, of course, of course. I'll learn as I watch you, and I'll learn as I do my work. Firm. <laughs> this is uh, all right. Uh, I'll try to. Uh, just do what people tell you for now and don't mess with anything that you don't know. Uh, uh, she, break, she breaks uh, she breaks military and says, oh, She's so cute! And then uh, she goes over to your daughter. Uh, oh, where, where is she sitting at the time? She, she, she's uh, somewhere in the back. She's actually, she's actually already taking notes on the make, and, uh, make and model of the reactor in the ship. Oh, okay. Distracted by the cute. Is, uh, 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 as I was saying, <laughs> sorry, sir. I irritably ooze shadows. <laughs> uh, uh, my my my, uh, my face is, gives nothing away. However, uh, a, eyebrow. My, no, no, I have no no signals whatsoever. <laughs> but the oozy shadows makes it uh, rather obvious what what sort of state of mood I am. Uh, she so immediately uh, goes for the nearest mop and says, uh, Anything else, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, uh, for now, Luna will show you around. Uh, Luna, why don't you practice your knowledge and, uh, and uh, show this, uh, show the wiper what, uh, what's what. Make sure she doesn't touch anything. Luna's really quiet. She just, uh, she just nods. But, uh, and, uh, as, as they go along, as I they go along. As she passes, they say, that's a good girl. And I, I kiss the top of her head before she goes. And I should sort of look uh, at the, uh, Georgia. How tall is she as compared to Louis? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I see so. a bit of business here. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm half tempted to pull up my new bow. <laughs> but uh, I, I refrain and then I start just looking over uh, the rest of the crewmen and making and running down my checklist of uh, uh, pre launch uh, rituals. Sir, I've got my belaying pin. Yeah, you get that hand. No, that's why. Back up there. <laughs> You've got your what? Uh, belaying pin. Oh. It comes in my inventory. <laughs> I get the blade. Uh, I'm a set of. I equip my belt of tinker tools. All of the various uh, things that I would need to mess, mess with all the engines. <laughs> Just look like a straight fisherman. So you're, uh, <coughs> you you do your normal preparation for your for the uh, <coughs> for the reactor. Though, given your propensity to want to get things done as fast as possible, but also as efficiently as possible. You really want to get this right, especially knowing your captain. Mm -hmm. So you make a, uh, make a, uh, you have a, you have a proficiency given your given your guild artisanship. Uh, what's your proficiency? Uh, I give artisan is persuasion insight. Artisan artisan gives me uh, insight and persuasion. Okay. But I what about am uh, in tools. I'm proficient with my tinker tools. That's a plus two. <coughs> I did take arcana for my. Uh, for my sorcerer. So if you would like to use so, Arcana yes. or... Uh, make an Arcana uh, check. Or actually, uh, given that you're... Uh, make tinker. a Tinker check, but also add your okay. your okay. intelligence here. Okay. Because it's a very arcane device. But you're also wanting to uh, do some calibrations. So yeah. Calibrate the engines, huh? Oh, man. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. Uh, it's not as efficient as you would like, but it's still on time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you're on you're on deck, and you and you see you see a you see a halfling dejectedly mopping the floors. Okay. And uh, you hear her say, "I'm being nice to be in the engineering deck. Little girls gotta come here." <laughs> uh, who, who else is on? You also see uh, this this. Uh, one arm gauntleted uh, dwarf. I, I'm sorry. Are you moving already? Not or, yet. Oh, but, not uh, yet. But people are really working, and you, 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 you're, you're tying things up, and you're oh there. You're tying oh there. Your <laughs> Look at all the trident. <laughs> you're making sure all the. Uh, <laughs> I was half tempted to only use forks. And <laughs> forks. It would be funny. Forks. Anyway, sorry. You're, you're, you're making sure all all the lifelines are tied up. Mm -hmm. You're making sure all that. Even the net that goes below, that encompasses the underside of the ship in case somebody falls, you need to make sure it's all uh, nice and tight. So it was just working. Double, yeah. double tug, just to make sure. Yeah. And then I'm humming my favorite, I'm humming my favorite sea shanty. Uh, 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 Dinahi will peek over the railings. Just you see, yeah, you see the you see the bridge of the docks, mm -hmm. but it's already been uh, it's already uh, slowly being uh, so, slowly being. Oh, oh, sorry. Back, I want to see, look at the other side. Oh, the other side. Yeah, We're right down the sky and oh, the way. You, <laughs> see, you see, you see the you see the rest of Manchester, mm -hmm. the the one on the seaside, but it's really really tiny. And oh. really, really, really really high up. You're probably yeah. around. Woo. We're nearly a thousand feet up. Oh, no. not, a, not more <gasps> she, than a thousand feet up. You've never been this high before. She bent it. Like, except for that one time with, with the grass. But, uh, you've never been this high before, except for that one time with the grass. But, uh, oh. Oh. So uh, she she pulls back and whoo, it's really high up. Uh, and um, you see it out loud. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the deck oh. scrub. The deck scrub. Oh. Uh, the happening deck scrub. It really is, but you get used to it. <laughs> you hear, you hear the, you hear the dwarf just giggle really, really loudly. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, he goes, well, he's back at work. Well, are, there, really see. are there seats? Oh yeah. There aren't any, there aren't any seats. Oh, there are barrels. <laughs> this is a ship. Yeah, but yeah, I've never been in it. So uh, I look around for Excuse somewhere me. to Whenever you grab sit. Mm -hmm. So you, you sit. The, you can sit on one of the this barrels. It's by the. Uh, it's next to the. Uh, it's next to the crow's nest. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> the main mast crow's nest. Can I? Can I go up this, to the crow's nest? Yeah. You go up to the crow's nest. Is there someone there, or like is someone going to stop me? Uh, as, oh. you, as soon as you peek oh, over the, yeah, the trap door of the crow's uh, nest, uh, you see a man. You see a man in a hood, and uh, he looks down at you. Uh, very dark skin, and. Uh, 
an odd combination of dark skin, blue eyes, and black hair. Oh, oh um, um, my apologies, I was exploring. Uh, he, he stops you and says, uh, would you like to see? Yes, yes, I would like to see everything. She goes across the street and he goes, it's kind of creepy. Oh, no. You hear the dwarf? Just like off yes, the Yes, I would like to see everything. That's kind of creepy. He, he, uh, he, he, he heats you up and, uh, oh, and okay. it is, uh, the one that he starts to... Oh, okay. A spyglass yeah, sword? Yeah, a spyglass. Magnificent. I've never been this high up in the air, so I, I just look around. But, and I ooh and ah, or the ooh. The, 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 the man, uh, you can't, because of the sword, you can't tell whether it's elven ears or human. Mm -hmm. So he's dark, dark, dark skin. Dark skin, blue eyes, black hair. Okay. And uh, he generally says, uh, "You're new." I can tell. Um. Yes. Uh, um. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm new. Uh, you. Um, I assume you are you are assigned to uh, the this tower. Yes. I've been, with a, I've been with the captain for years. Negredo. Good. Negredo Astro. How do you spell that? N I G R E D O. N I G R E D O. E D O. Astro. 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 A S T R A N. Astro. Okay. Um. Oh, don't do that. Astra. Oh. Nice to meet you. Um. I'm. Negredo. Negredo Astro. Navigation Oh, um, hello, I'm, I'm Denahi Kidel from, I'm from, I don't know if you've heard of uh, the, the, I put it down, the Asintma tribe, but the Asintma tribe. Uh, he says, uh, he does this and says, you say that out louder. Oh. That is, we appreciate, uh, we appreciate the family and then he goes back to whatever he was doing. Okay. He says, uh, "Hope you can hold your own in the, in the fight." Mm, I can. I, I think I can manage. Uh, are we? I ask. Are we passing through danger? Uh, dangerous? Well, I have it, uh, I'm not but, sure if you've heard, but uh, Balvorex is Balvorex is stalking the skies recently. Uh, oh, do I know the, that plan? You've never heard of. Uh, you've heard of the name, but the. It's not, it's not really registered, you, you've never been in disguise often. Uh, oh, but um, who or what is um, Valvorex? Captain Valvorex of the Capstone. Hopefully you don't have to find out. Oh, are they uh, an pirates. organization? Pirates. Sky pirates. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, in a ship like this, well, the captain's good, but he's not there. <laughs> well, if uh, you would like, I can keep an eye out. I can help you keep an eye out. He up here? I hope you don't get sky sick going on. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. I've never... In the middle of your conversation, uh, the ship rocks. <laughs> oh, okay. And then the fog horn uh, blares up. <laughs> and, uh, we're shipping off. Oh. Okay, oh, oh, finally. Uh, how exciting. And how scary. <laughs> Uh, he hands you a smaller spyglass. Okay. Uh, uh, he says, uh, look for a white ship. White ship. Uh, is that the whole... That's Val... That's Val Valvorex. Valvorex. The capstone. Sorry. Okay. And the spyglass. Okay. Now you, now you shove off and, uh, generally been, uh, it's been uneventful. Uh, you want to, is there anything you would like to do or anybody you would like to talk to? Uh, I, I just, I, I initiate a sea shanty with the rest of the crew. Mm. Uh, there, even though you, you're, you, this is the first time you've been assigned to the Lisees, you, uh, all the sailors know this. It's like the sailors chat. So they, they, they happily go along with you. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing food. Oh, I know. You're, you're uh, the. You're, um, you're, you're, you're. You're still in engineering, but uh, right now you really don't need to do anything. You, you're still in. Uh, you're still the crow's nest, mm -hmm. but uh, you're not really obligated to stay with the Grado. Okay, so uh, I 
Hey, can you excuse me just a bit? I I could uh, uh I, I go down. I and uh sure. I don't know, I watch them do their chanting. <laughs> Uh, do you, do you uh, join the sea shanty? No, no, I, I, want, I want to take in the sights. Uh, I am just walking the deck and I'm inspecting every... Uh, right now, uh, uh, all of uh, the engine crew are lined up. Uh, inspection style. And uh, I'm inspecting their tinker tools to see that every person has uh, every uh, wrench and mechanism that, uh, that's required for their journey. Georgia shows you her uh, mop and thing. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Uh, I say, <laughs> the dwarf giggles on the side. I check both mop and pail on my checklist of <laughs> uh, all the things that she should be carrying. Uh, uh, and then. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm listening to any concerns. That, uh, that any as I inspect each of them, I'm making small talk uh, and uh, asking if they have any concerns going in or what they or if they've heard anything that that needs addressing. Uh, we hear from one of the men, sir. Do you think Bob Lawrence is even Well, he'd have nothing to gain from us at this at this stage. We haven't come back with a. Uh, with any profits, but uh, I won't deny that it's a possibility. It's always a possibility out there. Uh, we're just going to have to live with it. Uh, from one of the pipes, because there are these messenger pipes right. that are all yeah, they can talk into from above. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, you're, you hear from the pipe, one of the deck hands. Uh, Mr. Umbrella, so boom call by Captain Rockface. Uh, who's my second? Uh, your second is okay. <laughs> military ship. Your second is Luna. Luna. Oh. Wow. Well. Wow. She's better than the rest of them. <laughs> Luna, you have the deck. <laughs> the little girl just like walks up to the rest the, of the The girl, this, this a little girl, really quiet, walks to the, walks front and center, and you think you're meant to be any snappier, but they could be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. I, 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 I mur uh, as I run up the stairs, I'm murmuring, uh, might be going up a little too fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I head up to uh, whoever is uh, summoning me. You, you see Rock, uh, Captain Slate uh, at the center, at the bottom of the, uh, of the crow's nest. Uh, he also motions for you. Uh, uh, what? He oh, also me. motions for you. Uh, he says, uh, Mr. Nari, uh, if I could have a word. Well, um, yes. And uh, you overhear this. But, uh, I, I don't you think you're back here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just like fixing and, things. Uh, I would like to introduce you both to our sponsor, you oh. especially. And uh, you, you see them walk, but if you can, if you would like to follow, you can. Uh, sail, but sa sailors room respectable number, distance. Sailors room number one. Not your business. Not your work. Goes back to doing my own thing. You do your work and. Uh, you see, you see one of the, some of the knots beginning to loosen. So ah, you you immediately attend to them. You, you see, uh, you, he, Captain Slate walks into the captain's quarters. It's, still, it's, it's around 4 p.m. right now. Uh, he opens the door and uh, you see this uh, really old man. Like, uh, <coughs> like you wouldn't believe how old this man is. And, uh, Could he be any older? And, uh, the captain Slate says, uh, human? human. And he says, uh, Mr. Sundatis, Mr. Nani, our sponsor, Agar uh, Bakwa. And, uh, oh, okay. you see the old man just standing there. Uh, I, uh, I stand at attention. Uh, the chief, engin chief engineer, Umbratis Andostre, at your service. Uh, give a small bow. Um, I'm Benami. Uh, Pleased to meet you. Uh, the it's old my man, honor. The old, the old man says. <sighs> he, he motions to a far corner of the room. I believe this room is going to be for too long. I'm 
you get to read the old for this. And uh, this, this lady is a noble looking woman from the, from the far part of the room. Last. <laughs> uh, it never gets old, unlike you who went. And then, uh, oh, nice. Oh, God. Oh, no. And it goes away. <laughs> I know. Uh, this I was gonna take really, <laughs> really, really prim and proper looking woman with a raper to her side walks up to you with a, with a, with a, with a quill and a, and a parchment. Uh, walks up to you. I am the actual Eiderbach Rhino. Ah. Oh, hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, madam, my, my apologies for... No, 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 that was the point. Never gets old. And they went. And, uh... But I want to... I raised a single <laughs> eyebrow. <laughs> um, well, that was amusing. Well, there is a reason. I am uh, a renowned historian in Oriton lore. Uh, tends to have rivals and enemies. And, uh, well... Let's just say that uh, Wendt, has stayed, Wendt has lost a few toes on my behalf. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I uh, tries to analyze look at his stance to see you. Uh, yeah, then I he's actually to... kind of lopsided when we see his can, can I see his toes? I, I try to look. He, he's but... very close to oh. but uh, okay. okay. his, his stance is kind of lopsided. Like <laughs> oh. You've never seen him walk because he just stood still the entire oh. time. If you, you, you wager, he probably wants to go there. Okay. No. Oh, um, that's quite unfortunate. And uh, she motions, uh, she motions to you, and uh, she motions uh, for you to, uh, to come closer, and uh, she brings out this orb, this, this tiny orb that, uh, that lights up, and uh, it's constantly shifting around. Now, apparently the captain trusts both of you. The engineer I can understand, but the guest, well, I trust the captain's, uh, uh, I trust the captain's word. This is the map to Orite. Oh, it's oh, there. Uh, but as you do that, it, you, you do that and you almost press it, it lights up the entire room. Oh, I'm not into this, sorry. Into this massive map and it says, uh, I hope you don't have the kind of propensity, you know. That sort of thing will get you killed. Look at Gwen's hand, the lost fingers. She does. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> One should never touch uh, arcane objects without knowing what they are. Oh, my apologies. Um, Luckily, this is a very harmless map, although its value is immense. Now, this is from, uh, I'm not sure how much you know about the Kingdom of Arachne. However, we are going to a place of ancient technology, ancient knowledge, and of course a lot of loot. And by the loot comes items. They don't even need to, to wait for us to get the loot. We just need to get them. We're probably being failed as we speak. So we need both of them and everyone else on deck. Be prepared for any sort of attack. The word of Valvorex being uh, stalking the skies. Uh, my lady, what, uh, what what precautions have you taken in, uh, on behalf of this mission? Went for the ship, I meant. Oh well, <laughs> this is top point. Captain Slate does not come cheap, as do as do the rest of you actually. Uh, is the captain in the room? Yeah, the captain's in the room, and uh, he he tips his strike on. Uh, uh, I say, uh, Captain, are we are we ready to to rebel or even attempt to take on the the capstone? Well, well, Bor uh, well, the capstone we cannot run. But if we get caught off guard and Valvorex actually boards, it's going to be an issue. Now, uh, I'm not as good as it used to be. And here, cracks like not cracks stone. of bone, like stone grinding on huh. grinding on each other. <laughs> I'm not as good as the. I'm not as good with a, in a fight as I used to, but uh, I just need your help. I'll just, uh, I suspect I'm going to need your help. Unfortunately, that means, that probably means time off from the engineering deck. Uh, I, I, I put a hand on my, uh, on my newly acquired uh, short sword, and this is uh, acknowledged. And you have a long bow on you, right? Yeah, I also have You're proficient, please. Yes, uh, it's my uh, variant half elf. Ah, ah! Yeah, uh, half elf. 
Um, oh, Bach, which is actually her real name, which, uh, which she's used to her. He surmised she's used it to her advantage yeah. for quite some time. Eiderbach is her actual. Is, yeah, Eiderbach Reiner is her real name. Like, okay. uh, she, she, she's not shy about that. It's just that she's used it to her advantage for many years. And uh, she says that uh, now the map itself is not important. We already know where we're going. But given these things, it's probably the key to something. And I prefer that this does not fall in anyone else's hands. However, my hands are quite dainty. And Gwen's hands are incomplete. So I would like to ask one of you to help hold off this for me. I, uh, I raise sort of an eyebrow and then uh, shooting her looks to see uh, how she's reacting. Oh, uh, uh, I'm. Uh, Looking uh, hesitantly <laughs> is at, the at, uh -oh. at um, <laughs> looking hesitantly at the orb. Uh, uh, if I may uh, be honest, I'm not very acquainted with uh, magic and uh, arcane uh, objects. Ah, as evident, as evidenced by yeah. how you yes, nonchalantly exactly. touch the orb. I guess it goes to you, Mr. Chief. Uh, I'm glad to take it. As, uh, as she passes it on to me, uh, does my engineering knowledge tell me anything about the art? You know, it's uh, you know, it's got some very intricate design. And, uh, certain combinations of movement of the orb will reveal certain areas different than the map. Oh, okay, so it moves around and shifts like a puzzle. So it's a circle. What color is it? Uh, it's gold. It's gold, gold with uh, green, green glowing lines. And it's got all sorts of mechanisms in it. Nice. It's a green, uh, a golden green. Yeah, when I look about it, treasure planet. yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when I look about it, uh, I think uh, would I, uh, I immediately try to analyze it. If it, will, it would be possible for me to fix this if it were broken. It's it's a very astounding piece of technology. You've never seen anything like it because you know there's magic in it, but there's also this melding with technology that's. So seamless, okay. but you can't tell how it's powering the entire thing because illusion, illusion enchantments like that that go on and off at a moment's notice with mechanics like that, mm. it's not it's not easy to make. In fact, this is the first time I've seen such a thing. I am professionally intrigued, and I make a mental note to dedicate a few uh, some downtime days to, uh, to studying it. Okay. So, uh, um, uh, my lady, uh, me. If I uh, if I may ask, um, is there uh, anything else that you you want us to do with the the this artifact, or are we simply to to keep it safe? Well, I expect you to keep it safe because once we land on once we land on the floating island of Oraita, we will be going on an expedition. Venture. Uh, oh. Venture. Venture. <laughs> what? And uh, you see, when he's like, <sighs> <laughs> does he have hands? <laughs> but he has hands. Just like he's missing like a lot of fingers. Uh, uh, cats eating his ass. Oh well, on my manners. Wait, go make some tea. And I don't want that half that the, that half brewed tea you made the other day. Missing fingers and not an excuse. <laughs> Okay. And uh, he says, yes, my lady. He walks around with a lip, a really bad lip. <laughs> he surmised that the wounds, of the, the toes are probably fresh. Oh, uh, maybe when oh, wow, he needs okay. a hand, I, I could give, I've, well, I've never been, I could give a hand. I mean, I could help you when... Uh, I could give a hand? I mean, I'll I mean, help you when... I could help when... I could help when... When, when just... <laughs> no, no! <laughs> I don't bark, just says, oh! Don't bother this He knows what he's doing. I paid him for that. Not clearly not enough. I mean, not that I could literally give you a hand, but... He hears you mumbling and he just looks at his missing fingers. I mean, I used to pray. I used to pray. You what? I used to pray. Well, clearly you'll never play piano again. So the night goes on. The day goes by without incident. What would you guys be doing here? Man, watch. 
Uh, you have, there are shifts, and but uh, if you want to take one, yeah. But you're not currently on shift. I grab a bottle. Of, I'm not a bottle of ale. Make my way up to the to, to, up to the deck. Okay. Sit on uh, sit on one of the barrels facing the facing in front of the ship, and I just look into the infinite sky, wondering if I got on the right ship and why is there no water? <laughs> <laughs> why is there no oh. water? Uh, <laughs> the navigations officer. Uh, All right. The one at the top. You know you've known him. He's the Grado Astro. Wait, 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 sorry, name? Ne Negredo Astro. Oh, by the way, you better give him the name of your tiefling now. He's a busy man, he hasn't been seen on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> your tiefling, do you have a name for him? Uh, I haven't, I haven't come up with one yet. It's fine, it's fine, yeah. It's fine. Uh, he'll come up with Negredo uh, shouts from the girls' nest. Hey! Ozzy! Aye! I smell you from here. Can you go to a different corner of the ship? Nay! <laughs> Nay! <laughs> Uh, I'll, hand, I'll, hand you a I'll hand you up a bottle if make you a, want. Make a deck saving throw. <laughs> they just wait, said, they oh, just no, wait, no. oh no, wait, you're, you're not, not raging. You're not raging. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. 14 plus At a disadvantage. Two. Oh, damn it! 14 plus 2. Does it say if it's raging? Because I remember it doesn't have to be. Well, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> I know you have to see it. Yeah, yeah, you have to see it. No, you don't have to be raging. No, you don't have to be raging. But you can see it. <laughs> Six and what's the other row? Three. So five. It's the sudden ringing in your ears and the sudden rush of pain in your head. It's not not too bad, but it's, it's a surprise. And you see clatter on the ground. This wrench. Can I pick up the wrench and then check it back at him? Uh, make a, <laughs> Do I see the spectacle? I'm just gonna be stargazing. Yeah, you, you can see it. You can see. You can see what the goings on. This, this is not the first time. Oh, you've been with sailors before. This, this is a sailor. Uh, it's thing. a thirteen. Sailor thing. Oh, 13. sailor thing. Uh, it goes all the way to the crow's nest, but instead of hearing a clang, hear and then uh, you hear, <laughs> there's a you hear the, you hear you hear us go there mumbling. Bloody freaking crow's nest. Wasn't so freaking tall. Shut my Jordan in his house. Wait, wait, <laughs> Ozzy, you go to the bow of the ship. Uh, I see, I see this, I see a light that's not supposed to be there. Aye, aye. Do I hear this? Next time, be nicer. <laughs> he's kind, of, he's kind of dipped on that. He's a bit uh, I'll be nicer if you're more sober. Uh, go. I'd like to go up to the crossroads. Also? With uh, a radio? Mm -hmm. what, do I, uh, what do I see in the distance? Uh, before that, uh, you go up to the distance. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, how's the night? Uh, Why don't you see for yourself? I don't know. I, I've, uh, I've never it's beautiful. been... It's beautiful. Yes, it is. I've never been this high at night. But I've only seen uh, the stars from down there. But, uh, You've seen them up this close, huh? No, no. Uh, should I be over. looking up for anything? Shouts over. Ozzy, what do you see? Uh, oh, do I make a reception? You don't see it, but you see a person. And, she, and uh, this person, Lith. This Lith what? Ray, where's, where? There's this light. Uh, in the middle of the sky. I shout out in my loudest voice. We've got company! And uh, you, it turns around with a lady. And like, uh, she does that. Oh, it's too late. I was already <laughs> shouting. too late for that. <laughs> then, I... Oh. What was going on? I mean, I asked. Uh, I asked. That, uh, oh, how good are How good are you with, the, uh, with an arrow? I ready an arrow. Uh, I'm shoot that bell. And, uh, the, uh, okay, so I there's a bell on the on the other end of the ship. Okay, so I shoot and, uh, the bell. And the grader will also fire uh, an arrow on the other end. So I shoot the bell. Oh, okay. You you hear his shout? All right, all right. You, I'm already up on deck because it's night time. So Luna and I like uh, walk in the night. Not very good, apparently. Seven. Seven. So it hits the uh, it hits the, the side of the, of, the, uh, of the bell. You can fire again if you want, but uh, already on the other end. It's ding. Okay. Uh, you 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 go up. Eighteen. You, you, you go investigate the the, the servants. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I say, uh, uh, Luna, wait by this door, and if uh, and if there's a lot of a ruckus, get the get the crew in gear. Um. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. You also hear ding. And now, uh, you, on the other end of the ship, you see Georgia. And uh, 
so she's the one with the she's shining a mirror with the light uh, with the torch on the other end uh, with a really low torch on the other end. He says, uh, oh, I guess I've been caught. And uh, she's shining a mirror. Yeah, with the uh, uh, she's like shining a mirror. Oh, like that. Uh, like, 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 oh, okay, okay. And, uh, I guess this is it. I really want to be an engineer though. Uh, she she pulls out a crossbow at you and uh, everybody roll initiative. Okay. This is it. 21. 11. Shit. 9. 11 total? Yeah. You got this, 11 total. Um, what's going 21. 21 total. 9. Wow. 19 plus 2. <laughs> uh, oh, that's okay. You max self for current health? Uh, same. 20. 20. Uh, from Bratis, max self? Is 20. What's your AC? I see uh, before casting before casting mage armor it will be it is uh, 14. We got company uh, 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 health 32 HP Holy I, crap what? 32 Yeah range is a chunky No 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 not, not range not rangers Spirit, Spirit Rangers. Rangers. Spirit Rangers are 2d6. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty chunky. Though. 32 uh, AC 15. What's your max height? 35. 35. He's got 35. No, but you're that's because his gun's higher. Now. But you're you're the Ranger. What's your AC? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, 16 AC, 35 max health. Your move actually kicks in now because you get a turn before the rest <gasps> of us. Oh yeah, shit. I, I, oh, should, I, should, I should I should remember the. I should remember the. And you can see. You can only use it. To move and attack and hide. Move. Take, take either take either the attack or hide action. Yeah, you can use your movement and then you can only hide or attack. Fair enough. What do you, what do, you do? Uh, move and attack. Wait, do I I <laughs> hear? You see, you see, uh, you see the. We're about to see but the do I hear? Did I hear the halfling? Play, play, no. Oh, I the see her draw. Oh, I, I saw the stats. <laughs> but you know, you know the direction of what he's aimed at. So you look in that direction and you see that uh, someone's drawn a crossbow at him and him. Oh, so I see the, the person. person. But you, you didn't see, you don't know who it is. Okay. Kind of okay, so see, is this a first, free perception check? No, yeah. Perception. See, first rule of being on a show. Uh, 25? Not oh, show fuck. 20. <laughs> you know exactly who's there. It's. Uh, I say wiper. Uh, it's the wiper. Yeah, the wipe. You see the wiper, Georgia. And you see Ozzy. You see uh, Umbratis. Oh, who else is? Do I see on the? And the deck? Because of your third, because of your twenty-five, you see the rest of the, the, the rest of the, the group. The they're already uh, warming up. Warm up. You see even you see even Captain Slate going out of his uh, uh, captain's cabin, locking, uh, closing the door behind him, and uh, bringing out the rock face. Also, everyone's facing uh, yeah. and, Georgia uh, now. In the trap, in the low, in the stairs going to the lower deck, you see uh, you see uh, this little girl. We've never met her. Yeah, you see this little girl uh, sneak into the shadows down below. And, mm. uh, uh, I guess I will attack. How far away is she? She is. Does the longbow range reach? What's the range? Oh shit! What's the what's the range of a longbow? Uh, 150 over 600. 150? Jesus, yeah. You're about 80 feet away. Okay, I will. I guess. Never used a longbow before. Is the distance we're driving here? I will attack. I will shoot. I have a fire and uh, arrow at, 30, at, at the... Can, is your normal maximum effective range? Is your maximum effective range? And and maximum 120. Range. Your maximum range is 120. So you attack at a disadvantage. But who cares? Someone's going to maintain your range. 14 That's plus the only point of it. 5. 19? Uh, taking military training. 19? <laughs> 19? <laughs> yes. Maximum effective range. Yes. One second. Right. <laughs> that would have made it so much easier studying an ACP. Basically, you take a disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> Fire past the certain distance. No. Yeah. Well, according to, to this, even if it just, like, even at, like, a kilometer away when the bullet just. Sorry. It, it does damage. Yeah. Or maybe it doesn't count that. Maybe. Or, like, you could interrogate. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> nah. Who are you kidding? Let's kill. There's <laughs> a play test run. Kill every Kill! Game. Okay. <laughs> well, if it hits. First rule of being on a ship. If you spot something out in the distance, you don't shut up about it. Oh, I would like to go to the bathroom too. Hey, hey. That's 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 something I realized 
uh, while reading stories. When one of the crew members shuts up about not saying something, that comes back to bite them in the ass. <laughs> things and all the people and then uh, we're building off of this on the, mm. when, during our runs. It's, gonna, it's the same deck, it's the same crew. Are we, are we going with the family deck. thing? Okay, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's gonna be Lani. My, uh, 19. 19. Uh, Alright Tito, uh, roll for damage. Ooh. 8! Oh. Yes. Eight. Nineteen. <laughs> 11. 11. What an, what an opener. Eleven. Hardcore openness. You guys, uh, she, was already, she was already, uh, she, she was actually about to shoot you, <laughs> and then you see an arrow. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. And she goes down. <laughs> I I watch disdainfully as she falls to the deck. Uh -huh. <laughs> you hear? Did, did I did I like hear the thud? Did I hear the thud? Yeah, no, we saw. I, I we saw. To, we saw. I we say saw to Nigredo, that was the wiper. Uh, I I encountered earlier. You should have. Uh, the captain, we should trust her. Uh, you is she, she is fine? It... Well, she is now. But, and then you see over the horizon this massive, massive thing going up to the side of the ship. Uh, do I see it too? Yeah, you see, everybody sees it. It's I... a massive ship and the lights are on. and uh, It's white. I... It's white. Well, from, from the outlines of the, of the light, it is white. And uh, it's a massive ship. I, uh, uh, you hear Ozzy shout out. I think it's time we best get going! Uh -huh. Alright, so uh George is dead. Really quickly, by the way. Very nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> freaking headshot, no no freaking no scope headshot. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Oh yeah, first turn. Whee! First turn, had, first kill of the day. Hadn't even started yeah. no, that first for the first turn. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, that's I'm why. It takes place outside of initiative order. Uh, what's going on? What is your AC? Uh, my AC? 16. 16. Okay. So, uh, the ship has yet to come around, but none of you are surprised, luckily, thanks to the efforts of, uh, just Negredo, because he missed your first shot. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, uh, you, what do you want to do? It's about to go to the, to the side of the ship. Oh, is this another uh, ship? Sorry, what? Yeah, yeah. this is the, the capstone. Uh, do we... I don't, uh, I don't suppose the captain's at the helm yet. He's already at the uh, somewhere on the on the deck. Uh, I I as a free action I I call I I tell the captain. Uh, uh, as a free action I I tell the I I respectfully address the captain. Sir, I feel like we might want to get moving. And as I, as I say that, I go near the bow of the ship, uh, towards the direction that the other ship is coming in, and I ready a couple of javelins. Uh, you want ready in action? Yeah, I wanted to go in. Uh, if I go into a range and I don't make an attack this turn, does it turn off? No. It starts. The, the counting starts next turn. Okay. But then, might, but then I might. But I might accidentally waste the rage if we outrun it. Then. Oh. Oh. Uh, then you can hold it first. You won't make a perception. Okay. So given everything, given that everything's like lit up, it's uh, it's not a disadvantage. Oh. Okay. <laughs> When Negredo rang the first bell, lights were already coming. Okay. Uh, 12. 12? Wait, is that an 8 or a 9? It's an 8. eight. eight. Ah, it's an 11. Eight. 11. Uh, you see at the side of the ship, uh, these square outlines, but you can't tell what they're for. Square outlines? Yeah, square outlines. Where? On the uh, side, of, on the the side of the ship. As it's coming, uh, as it's coming to you, uh, you see these outlines. I, I ask the captain, do square outlines on the side of a ship mean cannons? Uh, he says, uh, uh, you hear rock things. PEOPLE! Uh, I ready, uh... Borders. Borders. Uh, I ready my, my javelin, uh, my, my javelin axe, my trident axe in one hand, and then my javelin in another. Okay, but I don't, you're gonna have to drop one sorry, to attack. I, I just ready my, my trident, and then... Great trident. My great trident, and then you see, you see him, you see Ozzy punch himself in the head. And then turns on rage. Okay, so yeah, what is actually rage? Raging. You can you, you can spend your action, so you can ready an action if you would like. Uh, my ready, I guess my ready action is to make an attack towards the first raider that uh, the the, the, the boards. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then you're you're also yeah. observing obviously. Yes. There's a bit of combat already. Uh, And 
this door that's right in front of you, it opens up. <laughs> Dexy. Uh, it actually blows open. Can he make it an advantage? Can I make yeah, it an advantage? You can see it. Danger sense. Danger sense. Tingling. Danger sense. Your danger sense didn't trigger when you got on the sky ship. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, was stupid. Damn it. Danger sense, but not common sense. <laughs> yep, There's a difference. Sense. Not common. 16. Uh, you, you, you see the, the bottom of the door just actually uh, grazing the tip of the beard and uh, you, you, feel, you haven't felt so much wind pass by you, so uh, this is the last time you saw your mother. <laughs> Sorry. You see this woman. Uh, you you misunderstand. Your mother was a zephyr. Oh, okay. <laughs> your your half wind genasi. Well, quarter, quarter, <laughs> quarter air genasi. Uh, you hear, you hear the loudest, most surly curse you ever you've heard in a while, being just like screaming about his beard. Ozzy's just screaming about his beard. Like he's been cultivating that. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so you see, uh, you see uh, what comes out is this this uh, lady, long, long hair and uh, this really big, uh, big hat. Do I know her? Oh. None, of, none of you know her. But uh, I take a swing at her anyway. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. Uh, it's in fact. <laughs> Who cares about names? <laughs> no, I don't. She's Just boarding. swing, Caleb. Okay, so this is at a plus five. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, it, you throw it at her. She uh, just uh, no, 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 great axe. Oh, oh, she's too far. Oh, she's too far. She's a little far. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He, he, cause he's on, he, he's because he's on. Because the there's yeah. still quite a bit of distance in there. Oh, okay. okay. He's but, just uh, gonna strike the first person that comes. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, she still jumps over anyway, <laughs> and then she goes within five feet of you. And then. Uh, yeah, we well, he, he miss. Oh, uh, uh, twelve. Well, you you hack away at the shrine, and uh, I'm guessing that's still piercing damage, right? Uh, it's a pure rule. Yeah. I'll say it's the same as a great uh, as a great axe, but still piercing damage. And then, uh, okay, piercing. Now. Uh, she lifts her leg and uh, you hit the floor, bang, and then steps on it and says, uh, Oh, I like you. Uh, flirt, go. I look, flirt, 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 flirt. I look at her and Combat say, Combat flirt. <laughs> Combat flirt. <laughs> flirt. I look at her and say, as much as I respect, uh, as much as I respect someone who can dodge, m who can dodge my trident, I don't respect someone who grazes my beard. Damn uh, it. <laughs> flirt. I'm not. You were supposed to say. I like you too, or something. Or some, something along the lines of penetration. <laughs> okay, I, I thought it was like light curtain. No, 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 no. You were sailors. <laughs> there is no such thing as. Ham fisted is his middle name. <laughs> but you have. Os Goliath, ham fisted translate. <laughs> but you have to remember, Os Goliath is also very respectable towards Os Goliath. <laughs> Even what? God damn it! Towards what? <laughs> Os Goliath is really respectful towards every gender. Oh. His favorite sea shanty is We say yo ho, but we don't say ho. Oh, okay, I think it's just disrespectful, <laughs> yo. But because you don't say ho, uh, she owes 43 to okay? Ah, they're raging. Oh, what, I, what, oh, the, what type of damage? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Unless it's, unless it's magic. I mean, unless well, no, no, uh, elemental. Yeah, unless it's elemental. I typically have... Uh, you have half on all of the mundane yeah. damages. Nine divided by two round down, that's four Your damage. Age? Yep. Uh, you make four. a strength save of uh, 15. Ooh. Strength save. You take it at an advantage because you're in rage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, strength saves are at advantage for raging, yeah? Mm. This is at a... Save and checks. This is at a plus three. Plus three? Damn it! Shit! That's double low. Fuck! Why? Oh, three. Well, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Four and a three. Four and a three. Plus yeah. three. Plus three. You were... Because she was stepping on your... Because she was stepping on your trident. Uh, because she was stepping on your trident, you couldn't uh, pull out uh, fast enough. She slams you in the face. Not just grazing your beard, flattening it in your face this time. And you're not prone. And then... How much damage did you take? Four. 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 So I'm at 31. Uh, okay. 
Now I know how it feels to be Jehudiel, just like tanking, tanking, uh, tanking hits. Yeah. Roll the seven first, but then roll the nineteen on the second because you're prone. Uh, because now, because now she rolls an advantage. Uh, you take two pieces. Go. No, it's part of this. Is like, this is why I bought two potions. Yeah. Eleven damage. You. To five. Five. Take another five. Do you want me to? Do you want me to darkness? She hacks away one more time. Holy crap. What, what is she using? Multi attack. She's using a scimitar. Uh, yeah, those Why do we dancers. always get blade dancers? Oh, no. well, should... You guys always get blade dancers. This is my first dance. <laughs> I should have made a blade dancer. Actually, um, I'm a, I'm a... I had a blade dancer in my barn, but uh, I. I got I cut it from the list. Why? So you're currently at 23 Sorry. health. You took four damage from the shield, five damage for the first blow, and three damage from the next blow. So right. do we see? Does everyone see what's happening? Well, I'm at 23 health. Oh, so you took four damage earlier. Yeah. You took four, five, five, and three. I took five just a while ago. It's only 26. You took damage first. So 23 now. Hmm. Just confirming because it's also calculated. Despite getting shield bashed in the nose, when she pulls the shield away and sees the sees the blood dripping from my nose, I'm grinning ear to ear because this means that I get to break her. Okay. So uh, you're, you're down on the floor and she, she just cuts you all over, but uh, it's not because you're raging. You know how you just you know exactly how the, the wind moves while you're in focus anger, and you she just cuts you so lightly, but uh, it's beginning to hurt. But uh, nothing significant, but it's beginning to hurt. I I, mum I mumble loudly while I'm getting slashed. Fought drunks better than you. <laughs> uh, one of the one of the ships uh, one of the ships uh, passengers uh, one in, in a habit with a, with a priest boy. She he comes up and uh, and uh, what does everyone see that uh, what's happening? Everyone seeing what's happening. And everyone knew what, how much of a badass. This grappling count is an attack. Oh yeah. Okay. It becomes your attack roll. So he's gonna be riding for it. Okay. Yeah. He rolls a one. <laughs> so uh this clergyman uh he, he clutches uh he clutches this uh, his uh Kujo and uh the symbols uh, light up and uh he fires at it, uh, at the lady but uh, the lady just uh the Matrix dodges the entire thing while stepping on your uh, shin. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I call out, Good shot! Little to the left! Okay. Combat smart island. <laughs> well, if you're not gonna be combat flirter... No, that's okay. Uh, I've got a swashbuckling rogue coming up. He's gonna be combat yeah, flirting. flirting. <laughs> We yeah. came here to see some flirting! <laughs> Why am I the one that's like, You're the sailor one! And then you I'm said military, she, I can't She come said up she liked you! Yeah. Yeah! I, you'll you'll see how I react to that in the next movie. Okay. Allow me to penetrate you! <laughs> <laughs> People often tell me I've got a big dragon! <laughs> I can do you in three ways! Three prongs make a right! <laughs> the last one's a pun, not a... <laughs> the last one's a pun! It's getting, <laughs> not make a it's getting worse and worse. You should just stop talking. <laughs> Carrot the fork? <laughs> this is not oh right. <laughs> For you! <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> that wasn't bad. See, man? <laughs> it's like with Pan, he said, Shh, honey, we'll do the talking. You just, just shut up. <laughs> you know how he tried to flirt with the with the Pan Hayes? Oh, ah, yeah. the road. Yeah. Chell. Right. He tried to flirt with the tavern owner or something. Like, please, please. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the So, uh, a plate, uh, a passenger in a plate. Um, it's amazing. The, the plate armor is uh, amazing because, uh, you know, you don't see plate often. Okay. Runs up, runs Pretty up nice. and uh, tries to uh, ready himself to face the uh, fight, the fight. Uh, lady. But uh, as he as he gets closer, he gets tired. And then just prepares himself. Uh, uh, the okay. dwarf on the ground goes, a little more cardio, a little less armor. 
Is he old? Hmm? Is he old? Can't tell because it's a okay. oh, helmet. Helmet. Yeah. So it's probably when. It's a little taller though. He was in the uh, thing. Little more cardio, a little less armor. So awesome. now he's wearing his wooden toe prosthetics. <laughs> From uh, the ship keeps moving and another hole uh, blasts open. This time, uh, but since you're down, you don't need to dodge it because it's already gonna, it's already gonna miss you. You, however, are in its way, so you have to make a best save. How do you like the clear dice? They're good. They haven't been rolling super well for me lately. That's a one. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, okay. four. Four. Clear of kind of. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. I haven't broken them in yet. Uh, I have to you, roll a hundred times. You you dodge out of the way, but uh, you leave your arm open and you hit the back. And uh, you get one damage. Oh, what what hits me exactly? Uh, the, the door. The door. Okay. And from that. Uh, the door hit me on the way out. <laughs> let the door hit me. <laughs> no, it's their way in. They're, they're they're their way out of their ship. Insane. Oh. So, uh, Nobody hey. gives a fork about the dwarf with the trident. This this uh, kobold. Uh, this kobold actually uh, uh, we Damn, that kobold. Is, uh, comes forward and uh, rides the ship, uh, gets on your ship. Uh, okay. Your map time. Your mm -hmm. So uh, he's gonna strike at you. Yes. Who? Uh, him? It sucks being the dude on the ground. Oh wait! No. Not boys. It sucks being the dude on the ground. <laughs> Oh, advantage? Yeah. yeah. Okay, if I do, if you do, if you reckless, if I do darkness, and then it negates all of it. Mm -hmm. And then you you just have the reckless. However, one disadvantage one ad disadvantage negates all advantage. So it doesn't matter how many times they get advantage from it. If I grapple and then I use my bonus action to spike attack, does that still count? You take, uh... Oh, you grapple them and then you attack. Yeah. That, well, that's possible. You can do that. You take four damage. Two. I'm still going yeah. to take your position. You're at 21 health? Yep, yep. Uh, we'll save it for the late tech, for the late teams. If and, I can, uh, if I can. Another pirate. Uh, in, a, in a pirate bandana, but then wearing uh, robes. Jumps over here. Uh, jumps over from the hole the Kobo came in. And uh, right here, you see. What? Uh, so they're, they're, they're... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. PR, pirate robes. Okay, pirate robes. So they're like, May they're ganging again? up on me. Uh, they're all near me. They're all near you. All near... Who's pale and... Mm -hmm. Plate. That's oh, plate. plate, sorry. The plate guy who is with Clergy... Oh, uh, who, sorry, what's K.O.? Who's K.O.? Cool. Oh, and L is? Uh, the lady. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Right, uh, the one in robes, uh, Kessie. Hmm? Uh, Kessie for you. Uh, he holds, uh, okay. he holds, he holds a symbol. Okay. And, uh, it starts to shine. And your area suddenly feels a little hot. Shit, casters. Very nice. 21. 21. So, uh, you, you move out of the way. This flame, uh, this white flame suddenly wipes out of nowhere. And, uh, oh no, it's like uh, he, uh, no, safe, as he holds up his holy symbol, am I able to identify the relig the, the god? Uh, religion check. Yes, you, you're the smartest. Oh, yeah. well, not when the rolls are bad. Six. Six. Uh, it's kind of dark, and uh, you can't really tell right now. Okay. So, uh, now it's your turn. Oh. Uh, Okay. Right here. You are letter U. Perhaps. You're letter U. How far am I from Lady and uh, Pirate Robes? From? Lady and Pirate Robes. Pirate Robes? These two. I'm from in the middle of them, right? Yep. Uh, you are, I would say, 15 feet away from, <laughs> uh, ra rather, 10 feet away from both of them. Two Ten feet away from both of them. Uh, can I see any of the pipes that, that communicate downwards into uh, into the engine room? 
can. Uh, uh, how far away is it? It's a little far. Uh, but you can reach it at around 25 feet. 25 feet. Uh, the closest is this one without having to go through any enemies. Okay. I'm gonna use my action to cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. What's your AC now? Uh, it goes up to 16. Okay. Uh, I take in uh, the shadows around me and they, uh, they uh, quickly rush up into my robes, into my sleeves, into, uh, into my collar, sh filling it up and then I seem to fill out just a little bit. Uh, and then I run for uh, one of the pipes and I shout down into it, uh, Luna, get us moving! And uh, I draw my, uh, as an interaction, I draw my, my bow and arrow, uh, my long bow and arrow, and uh, turn around to face them. Is it armor in action? Or uh, I believe it is. It's, it's a bonus if you cast no, it. No, it's casting time in action. Okay. okay. So that ends your turn. Uh, here apply. Cross up. Stay. Happy. Yeah. Happy. Happy. She already knows what that means, but uh, you as players will find out later. Uh, another one uh, appears this time. Uh, the, the capstone is moving a little more forward now, and uh, also the door opens. The door blows open, in, <laughs> and then uh, tries to hit. Wait. Come on, Plate! Oh wow, the Plate on <laughs> So, uh, Plate, uh, Plate actually uh, just uh, thanks it and then the door just splinters into pieces. Okay. Yeah, without anything happening. Good job, boy. Ah, sorry. Or what do you think is <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Possibly, boy. And the pirate with a great axe comes out. Yeah. What does he. great axe? Is it, is it a great axe in it's a huge axe or a great axe in it looks really nice? Uh, huge axe. Okay. And he tries to attack, uh, great armor. Okay. But misses. Yes. The nine turn. Okay. I uh, will... You may see the... Horseshoe. Probably fat in the great armor. They're here. You're the big letter B. Uh, because right, he can thank you, and so he started. Uh, it's very big. Plus, very plus on your other side of the he was out of another. breath. It's, <laughs> it's another. Minus so I feel like he just left didn't side. have enough movement to speak. Okay, because it's Nick. <laughs> the greater is the greater okay. is the Okay, that, that makes more sense. Now how many... So clergy is ally, play... Oh, the Oh, oh, uh, breath is moved here. Oh, yeah. Umbrath is moved here. Wait. This, it doesn't say anything uh, if, I, if I summon uh, the animal companion. It doesn't say how it is done. Does it mean? What are, you, what are you talking about? If I want to summon the... The actual animal? Mm -hmm. Bonus action. Yes. Yeah, but uh, in the... Where you summon PDF, it? PDF, it doesn't say a distance, uh, like how many feet away from me. It, it, I it believe it said 30 feet, right? No? Does it? Uh, I, co I copy pasted. I just copy pasted. The entire thing? Mm hmm. It doesn't say. Uh... Then, if it doesn't say anything, then assume it's next to you. Okay, it's pretty tight. Uh, as my movement, I will. Uh, how much of my movement does it take if I descend? You can only take. Uh, let's say with the, you can slide down the ladder. Okay. You take only 10 movement. 10, 10 movement. Alright, so uh, I say. Uh, Negrito, I'm going over there. So I move 10 feet down. Mm -hmm. that yeah. gives How much me, movement do you have? I have 25 feet left. Okay. Uh, so oh, I will yeah, move. Yeah. When you summon it, it, it takes its turn right after yours. So actually, if you summon it now, when you when your when your turn ends, it's going to begin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where do you go? Uh, you, you, so you went down the cruise list. I go... Different name. Ilithon, son of Ilithon. Um, I go 35 feet here. Three tags. Three strobes. Maybe. Oh no. Go ball. I think of the ones in. Mm -hmm. You can go. You can. You can reach great tags. <laughs> or I mean. <laughs> sounds vaguely and, uh, to him. Is, I, I have a. Are you gonna shield roll in for here, his looks? So, but just yeah, yeah. 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 But uh. Just roll one plus. If I, I'm thinking. Mm, they're gonna be in cover. Yeah. cover. I mean, if I try to shoot. Special sure attributes. Mm -hmm. I would like. I would have said more cover because you were so high. 
Oh yeah, that's right. That's why I'm, I'm getting ready to. I'll I park here. I don't. I'm not sure how many, but I want it's to. A I want to have a clear shot of. Great axe. Yes. I think you should move here instead. Oh, she, okay, okay. There, there. Yeah. and the two movement. You should have that great axe. <laughs> and uh. Yes, I will. Uh, I will no, fire an arrow at great axe. Okay. So whether I'm just counting my arrows. So I'll fire at great axe. That's my action, my movement, and my action. Um, I got to get the axe. The five piece hit. I can't see. You have eleven, uh, 11. Or, or seventeen. This is your this. You shot? Oh, right, sorry. Uh, you give me. How many arrows have you used so far? You shot twice for I, the I have 26 you shot once left. For, okay, I have 26 left. 11 plus 5. 16? 16? Uh huh. 16 hits, go for damage. Yeah. Shit, 2. 5. 5 damage. 5 damage. Another Another reason. And as a bonus Another action. Reason, uh, uh, hmm. Do I ready? Well, I, okay, I'll, I'll explain everything because oh, sure. uh, as a bonus action, um, Denahi, uh, Denahi uh, whispers, um, I wrote the name, uh, she whispers the name uh, Zianya and, um, and then uh, there's a, beside her, like, beside her, um, uh, here, here, here. Uh, here, beside here? her, um, there's a, a, a uh, there's a glowing energy, and then it takes the form, it materializes into a brown bear. Oh, okay. What, and, what does this brown brown bear do? Uh, and it takes my action <laughs> after me. Oh shit! Fuck. What? Oh, what? what? No, okay. Was, I have to keep track of this. <laughs> oh. Uh, Wait, uh, does it have its own health and stuff? Uh, yes, it is... Uh, um, wait, sorry. It takes its turn immediately after me. So you're just inserting, inserting it in uh, what? 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 What's the name, of, what's the name of your bear? Oh, Zianya. Z-Y-A-N-Y-A. Uh, HP is 34. AC Ooh. is 11. We're double tanking this shit. Okay. Uh, that, that's Keeping it. in mind that I've soaked up what, uh, six, seven attacks already. That's it. Um, I say so. so it's yes, uh, you. Uh, yeah, you. It's end of my turn, so it's. No, but then, uh, you fire an arrow. You fire an arrow. It, it hits the it hits the one of the great axe uh, in the shoulder, but the, just turns it off. Oh. And then uh, you summon the, you summon Zianya, and then what does Zianya do? Zianya <laughs> will. Yeah, it's looking uh, really, really angry. Yeah, yeah, but uh, can I see the map again? Zianya will... Who's PR? Oh, Pirate Roads. Oh, no, uh, Zianya will help plate and... Uh, Zianya's speed... Zianya's speed is... The bear speed is 40 feet. Oh, yeah, you can bear. So... Uh, look at that! Um, oh, fuck. Okay, um, go, 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 go. So do I, I roll... Roll the decks. Make all the attacks! Okay. Welcome to... How many attacks you made? Druid bear form. Two, because bite and claws? Yeah. Right? No, it's three. Wait, is it three now? Why is it three? I, but I thought it was... Because I know it's two attacks per paw and then one Oh, bite. so it's... No, no, no. One bite, one claw, one claw, is it? Because I've never used... Uh, we haven't played... We'll played. make your first two, because I know you make at least two. Yeah. You make at least two. So bite will be... No, no, it's two attacks. One, one bite, one claw. Okay. Oh, by the way, it because uh, the the animal gets a bonus to my uh, uh, equal to my wisdom modifier. I trust you. Just, uh, okay. just roll everything and kill everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, look. Shit. She rolled a three. Look how big it's gonna get. A, uh, eleven. <laughs> eleven for the bite. She rolled a three. Eleven for the bite. <laughs> plus shit. The eleven. Bite. Unfortunately, eleven does not hit. Shit. Okay. <laughs> But still, that's sizable. <laughs> in response, in response, overpowering your support. What? What? <laughs> what is it? Overpowering your support. What? Oh. What? <laughs> Sorry. Ah. 
Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> but, uh, Fucker. But, this, but the, the first one, bite? Was it a bite? The first one was a bite. The first one was a bite. Ah! Uh, it didn't uh, hit. The, the great axe blocks it with the, with, the, with the shaft. But again, but this time, it's actually nearly grazed the side of its uh, torso, but it wasn't enough. Standing. So that will come. And then uh, from the hole where the great axe uh, came out of, is uh, this time you're surprised, it's a pirate and plate. Oh. It's a plate rip! It's plate rip. It goes straight for the clergyman. Damn it! Bad rose. Yeah, no. I was considering I'm on the ground right now, terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, you're on the ground right now. <laughs> I thought that was a given. <laughs> I have tempted to cast darkness on a lot of you, but... Uh, but then that's going to give her bare disadvantage. I know. And you guys have the shooting in. Yeah. Not me. I can see through my own darkness. She can't. <laughs> Screw her. So, and keeping in mind, she had like the oops, the super duper headshot. Fangs, no There's reflection. no range here. <laughs> so I can just choose anyone I can see? What? Uh, which one? This one. Sorry, it's so small. Yeah, anyone you can see, so you can see them. Have you would be a good selection. I right know. <laughs> Should have used my bonus. Oh no, no I already, I already spent. You needed. Huh? You needed your bonus action to cast your bear. Yeah, that's right. I cast bear! I cast bear! I cast bear. My bear casts bite. <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards, casts claw. It, it does an intricate series of maneuvers for cast claw. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, plate comes in, and uh, you see the plate. Pirate? Man. Yeah, a pirate and plate. Bandana and uh, bandana jerking, but over it is uh, these plate, uh, rusty plates of uh, plates of uh, steel. And uh, comes in, uh, hacks away at the clergyman, and hits him. Uh, he's a uh, He's still looking okay, but uh, he's taking quite a beating and then uh, acts away again, but this time uh, he dodges it. Now it is... But does it say the bear has to, the, the animal has to go to whoever he's healing? No, because you can cast that without... Um... You can cast that without the bear, so it would necessitate... It would be the same range whether the bear is out or not. Because that's the one that's the one ability that you can regenerate on a short rest, right? The healing? Yeah. The, the temporary, temporary HP. HP. Uh, this would be once every short or long rest. Every short or long rest. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay, I, that's why that's why I was confused. Maybe they should put that you don't need to summon the bear to reach, to give temporary. That's aid. the point, right? That's what I kept I kept telling you. Okay. That uh, that that's the ability that we're doing in a short or long mm -hmm. rest. All right. Uh, we are in what you would call a target-rich environment. A what? A target-rich environment. I, I intend to make full use of my... I'm not surrounded. I'm in a target-rich environment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not losing. I'm just putting myself at the disadvantage, disadvantageous situation for a more complicated victory later. <laughs> you're I'm winning from behind. <laughs> I'm not being, trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Being ugly isn't living life difficult. It's playing life on hard mode. Okay. okay. So, uh... <laughs> Next is Captain. Uh, Come on, Captain. Captain Rockface. I'm giving it all she's got. Yeah, but what? <laughs> oh, yeah, she. Sorry. Luna, we need to move faster. Let's... I'm giving it all she's got, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> giving it all she's got, Dad. Father. Father, it's got the two. It starts from here. Goes all the way to just next to Zinata Ziania. Yeah. 
Oh, it's all the price of the, the best. I mean, you, well, no one's, uh, well, it's a need of combat, but everyone's surprised at the fact that Captain Rock, no, Captain Rock is fast as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's Goliath, right? No, no, no. Genasi. Genasi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so no one's gonna, we don't, we're not gonna play the Goliath, yes, game. <laughs> uh, he pumps himself up. Attacks. Great attacks. I'm gonna need a glass eye after this. <laughs> you can just keep hitting. Uh, she'll boost you up uh, several HP next round. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna, I was gonna potion it not. Because I can do the interaction potion, action drink, uh, bonus action shield, uh, spike charge. I think your damage is necessary. That's true. Now how much health do you have? 21? Yeah. I think you can take another round of beating. Shit, I'm missing a beat Because it'll, it'll give you a TD, TD4 plus 2, and minimum 3, 4. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't give you a minimum 2, which is uh, basically half of the 2D6, right? 2D6 plus, plus 3. Oh, minimum. Uh, Chosen creature gives temporary. Three, so three, four, five. Two yeah. six. So Harris is actually better than a potion right now. Alright, oh, I'll, I'll go for it then. <laughs> Give it it all she's got for her. Give it all she's got for her. <laughs> Luna suddenly has a really, really thick Irish accent. I'm giving Scottish. it a Scottish accent. I'm giving it all she's got for her. <laughs> father. Father. <laughs> what? I'm giving it all she's got for her. <laughs> that line from Star Trek. I'm oh. giving it all she's got, Captain! Captain! Captain <laughs> Koi? Oh, no, so wait, first it's... he deals 14 damage in the deep uh, Oh wow. Who? On who? Rockfin. Oh on yeah. The yeah. So uh... Top of the round... Osgolia. First! Oh, by the way, uh, he said... Uh, uh, the Captain also. looks at the uh, lady and says... Uh, wait, wait. The captain looks at the lady and uh, says, uh, Balvorex. Oh, so it's her. Yeah, I kind of assume. <laughs> you can attack the grapple someone. You uh, do damage and then you do the bonus action. No, but but then the issue is I'm in a target which you know. So yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, how many people? Uh, 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 wait, so, oh, sorry, sorry. So if I already... See, look, I'm in a target which you I'm surrounded by two other people. Where is you? Uh, oh, here. Yeah. See, I've got the kobold and the cap and the, the captain. Yeah, the, the enemy captain. Plus the robes is right there. I didn't take a cheap shot at the kobold. Mm -hmm. I say pump out the damage. So, straight up. Oh. You're still raging, yes? Okay. Yes. But you have advantage on grapple attacks as well, so you can keep somebody from moving. While also pumping them. If, if the bear is fast enough, I can like hold him down and the bear just like, goes at it. Just whack. Just whack. Say, yeah, go ahead. If, see the range I, of your damage. Uh, oh, sorry. That's not the range of your damage. So if I heal, have that being the case, sure, I will then I can use it again on who? next uh, turn. Uh, you take sure. Captain. Captain? Yeah. Alright. Oh, you'll, you'll take both of the captain? Yeah. Okay, sure. So this is epic loss. Ooh, 19 plus 5, plus 24. 24 with his great trident. Nice. 24. Yep. Do I, uh, and then I'm gonna roll for spike damage. Uh, no, no, you're gonna. Oh, yeah, you have to make an attack with your spike. Well. 24. Okay. Yep. So she she tries to. Wait, wait, wait. No, the, uh, 24 is the hit, but not the damage. Yeah, she tries to she tries to parry, but uh, your force is just really really uh, brings it in. You make your second. You're really move. forcing it into her. You're penetrating her. <laughs> I'm not flirt, 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 <laughs> flirt, 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 flirt. this. <laughs> okay, good okay. enough. Uh, did you get Did you get up by the way? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then my spike attack is also like plus five. Fourteen. Fourteen hit to hit. Yeah, to hit. Uh, that unfortunately missed. Ah, okay. okay. So, so you beat twelve plus here. Fuck that. So that's five. D twelve? No, no, no. no. Yeah, D ten. This one. D twelve plus five. Boom! 17! Oh god! Nice! Full damage! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh god! Oh yeah! Uh, uh, backhand! 
bitch! Let's go get the white bean at 30. First time that she took and oh wow. Oh. Three big ones to the bottom. Nice. Uh, Kill her. She smiles at me actually and says, oh. Oh, it's not gonna be enough to bring it down, boy. <laughs> I look at her and say, this is the beginning of the protrusions. And then, uh... Ah, <laughs> oh, sailors. <laughs> hey, I'm being respectful here. <laughs> On the right side, you're facing the horde, so. Yeah. What number is that? Fourteen. Fourteen. She has... a plus seven <laughs> What the fuck? I'm well, the I think at this point it's like a uh, the darkness thing. Yeah, we get all of the yeah, probably. I'm I'm up I'm up now anyway. Seven. 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 Down to five. Fire damage. Uh, the sixteen. Yes, you go. Now make a strength save. DC 15. She's using your shield. This is an advantage. That's a 16, and then do I reroll this one if there's any? 9. Well, uh, 16, 19? 16. You made it. 19, uh, 19. You made it. Uh, she hits you, but this time you know how you know how she goes. She's actually putting her foot right behind your right behind your legs while she's bashing you, so you know how to avoid it. So you're you're uh, you're on your feet. Now she attacks a person. Uh when 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 the shield goes over my when I dodge and the shield goes over my head, I'm like, thank god I'm bald. Because you're what? Both. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hurt if that hit her. 19 and natural 20. Uh, both hit, and I do believe the natural 20 does uh, extra damage. Does extra. Why are you really so well for that bitch? Oh, come on, bear! This for the natural 20. No! no Defend my honor, bear! Bunch of ones. Don't fail me now! Yeah, a lot of dice. You want the cup? Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a potion for sure. Mm -hmm. You want the cup? If I'm not done already. Take 7 damage for the first strike. Uh, that was the crit. Yeah, that was the crit. Yeah. <laughs> Just consider that. Barbarians take seven. a crit down from Divided. 14 to 7. Are you still going to half it? 7. Yep, that's half already. Oh, that's half already. Alright. Seven. Take 7 damage. Make, but make your bonus attack on the way out. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. Take another yeah, setting. Already have. You're at two health right now. You're kind of dangerous. You're kind of in a danger zone. Danger zone! So, uh, that's the end of her turn, and uh, she said, Haha, how do you like that? <laughs> you, and you were like bleeding all over because of all the stuff you did. Uh, free action, I just like take a bit of blood coming from my side and then flick it in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, next up, Clergyman. Come on, Clergyman. Clergyman is right this, is this guy. Mm -hmm. He will, you befriended him uh, during the day. And uh, he says, uh, Not yet, boy! Not yet! Even though you're older than him. By a couple hundred years. <laughs> lad. Uh, Everyone's a lad to an old dwarf. He will eat an attack. Oh, that's on pirate plate. No! I call out to him. <laughs> mm -hmm. We shall name him Frederick. Frederick? Yes. Hi. But this is... Yes. So, uh, Frederick uh, the third man was, oh, and, uh, Nicely done, Frederick! Goes up to here. On the precipice of oblivion! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, <laughs> mortality! Then, terrified in a single strike! <laughs> yeah. When he crit... Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. That's Usually when you crit in darkest... When enemies crit against... You in, in Darkest Dungeon. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Oh, how quickly the tide turns. <laughs> Again, 
Secret worlds. Do you want it? Overconfidence is a sinister killer. <laughs> Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Good job. Good job. We remember this. <laughs> there was something before the precipice. Let's, let's wait to kill somebody first. Okay. And then we can do the. the, uh, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Are you the eight? A what? The eight? Here, here's the one you give me. Oh no, what are all the V8s for? Um, you don't want this here? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, sure, you want it! <laughs> Dying! It was... Just saying! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, you know, an attack against us. Okay. Here's what you heal for. First, you heal. Because we will be one each individually and don't want to do this. You're up to 22. Wow. Fantastic. 22. Wait, how much did he heal for? It was 3 and uh, 27, it was 8 and 5. <laughs> That's 20. 7, uh, 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 5 is 20. Okay. Nice. I I look back at uh, Frederick and I say Frederick. Before the stack the uh, 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 soon as it's over, ale for you, twice as much. <laughs> oh cool. Nice. Oh, it's that good heal. Three D8s. It's a lot of heals. Oh, okay. Uh as I'm uh, as I'm narrating the stuff, why don't you just start building the Oh, 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 yeah, sure. Oh, okay. right. It would be... Oh, my legs. But as, uh, as I'm doing this, uh, for now, we'll use this until that finishes. Oh, no, I remember uh, that we're also stuck in the ship in the other campaign. Well, Shory's not here, so ships are What are the dimensions, Captain? How big is she, Captain? For this part of the deck, it's... Have you got... 25, you 25. 25 by 50. 25, uh, 50 width wise. So 5 by 10? 50 width wise? So, yeah, 5 by 10. Make it brown. We, we did that uh, yes. specifically for yes, boats. Specifically for boats. And perhaps Bingleton's nice hardwood floors. Why well, he has hardwood floors that way? So 25 by 50? No, like, because you know, hardwood floors are expensive and the palace would have expensive. Oh, wow, flooring. this is the first time I get these uh, minis. Oh, in your game, yeah. Is uh, in Valema we only ever use this. Ah, okay. Yay! Hey, do, we, do you have a bear mini? Uh, no. Just no, but you have clothes. a humanoid bear mini. But I want the, the big direwolf thing. Cool. Is get that it. Just get it. Just get it from the box. So. Passenger in plate armor, mm -hmm. the oh, one that is wheezy, attacks the great axe. 50 by 20? Uh, oh shit! Oh, what? what? Who uh, attacks? Attacks who? Great uh, axe. Oh, nice! 5 by 10. Natural 20. Can I get the axe? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, One, one, five. No for the You hear Osgoliath muttering under Wait. under his breath. That's it. That's that's how big it is. Give it. Okay. It's okay. You hear Osgoliath muttering under his breath. Okay. He heard this battle falls on Wait, who was that? Trojima. Uh, cool. plate, passenger in plane. Oh. Confidence surges! The enemy crumbles. Oh, did he kill someone? Uh, no, uh... Oh, he just hit a crit and... Oh, right. The passenger in plate, uh... Hacks away at the... We're gonna, the We're gonna set up the minions. Here. Hacks away at the... Uh, hacks away at the Great Axe. It's at the first strike dug into oh, the comical. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, the Great Axe is... Ah! Ah! And then, uh... He acts away and uh, slices at the, uh, the torso and uh, he's bleeding out, but uh, the Great Axe is still up, but he's oh. looking pretty woozy. Pretty woozy? Yeah, because yeah, I need to pick out uh, the captain, the cobalt, robes, and plate. Yeah. 
Ah, like this. So, me, Cap uh, me, Cobalt Captain Robes. And then, you got the other. Cobalt will attack you uh, at a disadvantage because of pack tactics. Oh, uh, so flanking, flanking. Yeah, flanking. And pack tactics. Uh, it's a Cobalt feature. Uh, oh, oh. How many spaces does the bear shit up? Four. Yeah. The rolling natural points for everybody. Except me. Go inside and get the cover of your two plus one and three plus two and five. Reduce two to a massive two damage. The crit for two damage. Uh, the choice. Uh, where is he? Where is next to I'm a Tony. Yes, you are. Okay, so the bubble tries to, tries to gut you at the side, but uh, you can almost feel the blade bends. But uh, there's a little blood drawn, but the bubble's like. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I look at him and say, My rear has been on ships longer than you've been alive. <laughs> when you have a rear that can that can sit on the uh, on the bow of a ship longer <laughs> longer than a hundred years, you develop points of steel. <laughs> Who is in com uh, Messi? Or, or yeah, sorry, uh, yeah, we're arranging. Sure, sure, sure. So, Cobalt. Cobalt and then Captain on the other side. There would be some. So, uh, yeah, so sure. the pirate and ropes. Like the female Captain. I'm like the tannest dwarf ever. <laughs> I'm a brown dwarf, not not for racial color, but because I'm under the sun so often. No, but there are other brown dwarfs. Gold dwarfs and the government are the brown skin. I don't know if I have a book. No, but it's not the books. Oh, and then here is Arthur. Captain. 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 The pirate in robes uh, goes up to Captain Valvorix. And uh, it goes to the one of the wounds you, you punctured her through and says uh, I help you captain and then uh, uh, this uh, holy light uh, heals her for six. Congrats, this is your turn. Uh, <coughs> you are currently at 19 health and 16 AC. Mm -hmm. I um Oh, you need map. Nobody's moved. Clergyman moved, right? Nobody's here now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also five feet from uh, Skolia. Can you see? The clergyman is... No, the clergyman, your ally, is oh. next to Skolia. The, the one with the plus. So then... the priestly robes is right next to Valvorex. Please, priestly pirate? Yeah. Pirates have gods too. Uh, I make eye contact with the bear and I say in my most bear like voice Eat the priest. Not Frederick. That <laughs> Priestly robes is where? Right, uh, right behind the works. Yep. So next to the bear. No no no, because the bear is supposed to be here, see? I, I, There's I no mean, space. Are we supposed to? Yeah, because if you assume the five by ten, you're gonna be right back there. See, 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 and then where is our plate? Your plate? Passenger plate. Oh no, how are you going to tell them apart? Okay. Your plate is over here, great axe is over here. Great axe. Uh, uh, captain, our, our captain. Captain Slate is over here. Ah. And so where is she? You actually were over because you're on top of the clothes last? You're no, below I, the I, I, I went down. It's fine. There we go. 
Uh, then... This is mine? This is yours. Uh, yeah, it's one of ours. No, no, no. no uh, okay, so is that everyone? Yes! So maybe that is everyone. Brett, this is your turn. Where do you want to go? Mm. I'm gonna stay put. We're gonna use this for the entire battle. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, uh, Umbratis, as you as you begin to look about yourself, you notice now that uh, the the rest of the pirates are pouring into the rest of the ship. You even see some of them uh, uh, some of them are fighting. Uh, the Grado is actually shooting arrows uh, from the crow's nest, and uh, some of the pirates go to the engineering, and then you hear a sudden dark and then pirates start running out. Ah! Ah! And then, uh, <laughs> That is the cooker. And then, uh, Damn it, she's too, she's going up too fast. Now it's your, <laughs> and uh, you know, you know for now that you can, you, you're good enough to preoccupy yourself with that. Yeah. And you feel that, uh, make it's a check uh, for free. Very nice, very nice. Sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Uh, you look at, you look about the Vorex. You know she's uh, she's taking a few. Hits, but uh, she's still doing well, and you know she can do this for quite a long time. But you know also, knowing uh, the combat prowess of your captain, he's pro uh, that uh, he's probably a better match in base combat uh, as compared to uh, other crew members. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, twin spell Maximilian's grasping hand. On. Holy shit, this is you. What does it do? <laughs> uh, I cast Maximilian's, Maximilian's uh, Grasping Hand on both on the Kobold and then twin it so that it targets, uh, so that a second Grasping Hand comes up to grab uh, uh, Pirate Rogues. Okay, Pirate so uh, each, do they need to roll? Yes, which will make a strength saving throw. Let's start with the Kobold, shall we? Strength saving throw, what's your DC? My DC is 13. You rolled a 13. Then. Minus 2. Oh. Yes! <laughs> what happens? What happens? Uh, a medium hand, uh, medium hand uh, made of. I mean, it's compacted soil, but I'm reflavoring. Okay, okay. Uh, the shadows uh, darken uh, uh, and coalesce into a, a clawed hand that comes up. It's it's a medium sized hand, so about the size of a person, uh, existing in a 5 foot space. Mmm. So it takes up its own space? Yes, it takes okay. up its own space. Uh, comes up from behind him, <laughs> it uh, grabs down and digging its its, uh, its claws into him. Is it damage? Uh, yes, uh, he takes uh, 2d6 uh, bludgeoning damage. And oh, oh, oh. 2d6? Wow. And he's restrained until for the spell's duration. Which is? A minute. Okay. That burns. Very nice. Is it a concentration? Oh, wait. It is gone. A minute. Uh, restrain speed becomes zero. His attack rolls are at a disadvantage, and being uh, attacking him advantage grants advantage, advantage uh, and is he has a disadvantage to dexterity saving. Is it melee attack? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this the one where? Which one's the one where? Uh, auto wow. grits. What's the damage? Seven damage. Seven bludgeoning damage. Seven bludgeoning damage. This this one's a strain. Is that the same thing? Uh, parallel. No, that was paralysis. Oh, okay. Paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I so the arm comes up to the cobalt, woof, and then squeezes, ah, ah, and then uh, squeezes so so hard, poof, the the head okay. just pops off the body, and that's the end of it. The other oh, one. Nice. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, let me roll for the. Okay, the hand doesn't disappear. Okay, it stays there. Uh, it stays, and I can continue to uh, on my next action. I can control have it attack somebody else. Is this concentration? Uh, yes, it is concentration. Got it. Uh, the the spell is twin. So uh, as I Who's come the up, other one? The, uh, the the priest behind the yeah. Yes. Yes. Got it. Strength save. Roll for damage. Uh, he he does not get it. This is an enemy, right? Yep. Oh no. yeah, yeah. That's great. Okay. Keep them from supporting each other. Uh, exactly in the same amount. Seven damage. Cobalt is kind of fragile, I should have gone through the first one second. Though he did do that extremely large amount of damage of two. Seven? Seriously? Yeah. So, you've done this before with your hands, and it does that thing again, but this time, instead of popping the head, it actually crumples him into this pile of flesh and bone, and you hear this... And you hear a 
blood just pouring out of the uh, you see blood just pouring out of the fist, and then uh, chucks it off the side of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do the same with the rest of the body. Confident surges as the enemy crumple is crumple. <laughs> the fiend falls. A small hope. A small hope blossoms. blossoms. A small hope. A faint hope blossoms. Faint hope blossoms. Uh, smart us. I uh, I smile with uh, with mechanical pleasure. The smart and, us. Uh, the smart us makes the captain go. I am going to uh, maneuver myself. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? Just to my bear. Wait, you you don't have. You need to be able to shoot through people. So yes, uh, I have, I can be melee. No, no, yeah, but I'm talking about uh, it's, uh, it's, it's cover. Yeah. It's cover. Right, talking sure. about cover mechanics. Okay. I don't need cover to manipulate those things. So. You actually have a straight line of sight. Where are you? You are here, works. and yeah. this is uh, me. I'm Bradis. Oh, I mean, you move. I got, it, over got it. Afterwards, Brad uh, is such a superhero. <laughs> and then yeah. uh, that's it for me. Alrighty. Uh, it is now the turn of Great Axe, the one this guy, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna attack. Wait. Not Johnson. Passing your plate. Johnson. And misses. Yes. Uh, so Great Axe uh, tries to hit again, but uh, he tries to do the same thing with the clavicle thing, but uh, but the plate armor just uh, moves to the side and uh, lets the pauldron uh, take all the force. And uh, the Great Axe is already here. Captain, what are we gonna do? And uh, Valvorex just says, uh, we, can do, we can still win this. We still have more men. Okay. And uh, as Valvorex says that, you, from behind, uh, the doorway to the oh. the doorway to the uh, right about here you can see you can hear it or you can perceive it from the corner of your eye uh, more dark more dark protrusions coming out of the engineering building and uh, screams that are cut out. Ah! <laughs> That's doing it's better how, than I am. It's how your turn. <laughs> uh, little girl. Uh, so it's my turn. She's quite gifted. Uh, yeah, that was in the backstory, right? She uh, awakened earlier than her father. Yeah. That's natural Seven. talent. Seven. <laughs> as frightening as that is, that's natural talent. Why don't you aim for opposing play? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, yes, that is true. That is. He, he has plate. not been damaged. That's enemy plate. Yep. If you can get through the chink in the, in the so armor. So as I see the the ruckus downstairs, the impressive little girl, and I will shoot an arrow at enemy plate. Please, please hit. Oh! Apparently crap. not! Fuck. Is that misfire? So, uh, you, you, you pull, but uh, you pull a little too far such that your bow is gonna, uh, your arrow is covering, is being covered by your own bow. And when you release, it breaks in, it breaks right in front of you, uh, splatter, splattering oh, wood, shit. wood chips in, in, in your face. Your next attack is gonna be at a disadvantage. Oh, shit. Say, uh, well, that's real profession. It's it's lucky. That's better than what typically happens. Um, if you, <gasps> you roll the no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's typically better than what happens if you oh, misfire as, like. As a bonus action, um, your your uh, your bears. Yeah, you, if you have anything, yeah. Uh, the bear acts after me, but I have a bonus action, go, and go, go. I will murder. No. Uh, murder. I. I call out to Ozzy in in Dwarven. Uh, um, uh, I don't help from my from my animal companion, so you will get. Uh, oh, so many features. You can thing. heal for two d six plus three. <laughs> no, it's not a heal. It's uh, a temporary it's HP. It's temporary HP. Two d six plus three. Six, Whoa, fuck. 11, 12, 13, 14. You get 14 temporary HP. Oh my god. So, take more. You can take more hits. <laughs> We're past it. We're 34 HP. No, 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 no. I'm one point short. I'm on one point, point short. short. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, I'm a full. So, and it's the bear's turn? Yes, it's. Um... Zianya's turn? Yes, so... So remember we were talking about how that, that one glass is overpowered? I'm kind of seeing it. Shit. <laughs> so many features, oh my god. Well, yeah, no, like the only thing I got. How is he looking? How, I mean, is he... Is he's, he he's looking, looking woozy, bad? but uh, you, you... But he could probably... But he's still in fighting form, he could probably still take a few hits. Okay. So give him a few hits. <laughs> From Hopefully. your bear. Uh, 
the blue one is the bike. The blue one is the bike. Plus eight to both. Very nice. Bike is twenty-three. Twenty plus eight. Uh, and eight plus uh, eight plus six is the claw is eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Both hit. Both hit. Yeah. Okay. I can roll a. Um, 2d6. This is what I keep bringing up mechanics. There's a difference between a job and a What the fuck? So many. <laughs> so this is. Uh, each plus. Each is plus 4. So plus 8 total. Plus 8 total. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hope you're in here. 6. Oh my god. 7. 7 plus 8. 15? 15. 15 plus 8. 15 plus 8. 15 because it's just the dice. So 6 plus, uh, plus 1, 7. Plus 7 plus 8. 8. 15. 15. 15 plus, plus 8. 8. 23. 8. 23. The bear has plus 4. He savages him. So, in so uh, the, remember the opening? The bear first, <laughs> first uh, claws yeah. down into Great Axe and uh, pulls him to the floor and uh, actually gashing the back of his, uh, oh. the back of his shins and then uh, bites down into his head <laughs> and then oh. just keeps going and going and going until it's just a twitching mess there. Uh, you hear... Is dead. Is dead? You he's hear... Is dead. You and hear... Uh, you hear Ozzy from the other side of the fatality. <laughs> and as... The feet falls. A fate hook falls. Uh, so I'll, the bear, the annual will move to engage... Plate. 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 Damn it, I was using him as cover. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, the question now is cover from what? <laughs> Anything. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, who's, uh, what? Um, what's going on now? Uh, uh, I, the bear moves to engage please, the pirates. Please turn this It is now the turn so, of Captain Slate. Oh wait, no, sorry. It's Pirate Plate. Oh, it's sister now. Pirate plate to Captain Slate. Seeing the well, bear. I already, I already healed, so. Just, oh, sorry. Seeing the bear in front of uh, in front of him, he's like, Captain, we're gonna lose, Captain. And then uh, Valvorex says, uh, if you can't take it, then jump off the ship. And uh, jump off the ship. You want me to that she, later? Or she was like, uh, uh, he's like, uh. he's more scared of this captain than. Then jump there. The okay. All right. So what is the AC of Zianya? Zianya. Eleven. Zianya. Eleven. Very low. Eleven. I do have the HP. The bear's HP there. Eleven. Yes. Those are two. Yes. <laughs> He's too scared. He's shaking, and then uh, he he hacks away at the bear, but uh, it's it's basic. Uh -huh. it's Barely agrees. Barely. <laughs> Captain, we gotta go, Captain! And it is now Captain Slate's turn. Yeah. Uh, Captain Slate. The, 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 the bear snorts. Mockingly. Captain Slate. Uh, who is this guy? Uh, oh, oh uh, our plane. Uh, yeah. Passenger plane. Passenger plane. Uh -huh. Captain Slate uh, moves, go, goes towards Valvorex. Can you move through hand space? Yeah. No. But these are allies, right? He's oh, have he's the enemy. Yeah. He can. He moves here then, so it doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Besides, uh, here, here or here, just here. Uh, uh, here. Here, yeah, there. Okay. The captain's late. Uh, oh, so it's like singing voices. That's voice. Oh wait, no, from there. He begins to go right away to that. So One of them gets four. So just go straight up attack again. You can, yeah? Your way back up. Oh, what max? Three. I went from two to max. Uh, to almost max. It took her two, two turns to Plus bring you down to two, so yeah. you're... It's gonna take her another two turns to. No, yeah, it took, it took her two turns plus the help of the cobalt. Mm -hmm. So, so your captain, your captain, your captain, captain, your captain. Uh, here you Hits the lady. Hits Valvorex and uh, uses superiority. Oh. If I request a plus six, that's free to. Yeah. But you have to declare it in your first attack. Another six. 
meaning that you get attack and then reckless for your bonus. Yeah. Well, Vorex will make a strength save. Grants is, advantage. Is this, is this actually you a... Need a if you're gonna do that. Is this actually a, a, an empty space? Yeah, no, but it's your turn. It's right an empty space. You can, you can move through there. Oh, you can move. Okay. So, uh, what Captain Slate does, he moves towards uh, Valvorex, hits her in the hits her in the back, <laughs> and then uh, really quickly switches uh, switches to the wrist, and uh, she drops her weapon. Oh. And it's now your turn. Nice. Uh, she has dropped her weapon. Should I reckless attack? Uh, I think you should kick the weapon overboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I kick the weapon overboard. <laughs> Is that so, an interaction? Uh, or an action? I see. It takes ten feet of your movement. Oh, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> so, just, so you kick it and uh, the works is like, no. Oops. No. And then, uh, very, very loud dwarf. Oops. What? <laughs> he, he, he says it. Oops. Oops. <laughs> uh, I will wreck. No, 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 she can probably take it. Go! Some. No, because if I'm reckless, she comes oh. right after me, has two attacks. Oh, yeah. She might have a weapon under somewhere. Okay. So go ahead and make your uh, stun in, stun in. Do what you're good at. That's a 14. 14 plus? No, 14 total. Ah, unfortunately she blocks it. Then I make another attack with my... With my oh, was that reckless? Or no, 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 that was reckless. Well, and then I make another attack with my gauntlet. 20. Uh, 19, 19. 19. 19. Just hits, even, with, uh, even when she tries to parry. So go for damage? D4 plus 5. Yeah. 7. 7 damage. So, she dodges the Triton and then backhand with an armored and spiky gauntlet. That's, uh, the, spi the spikes actually uh, rip a little bit into her skin and she says, uh, okay, maybe I believe you. And then, uh, <laughs> oh no, with her free hand, she, she, it's her turn now. She takes out a, a whistle. Oh no. Then, uh, the ship on the other side, the cannons open up. It's right underneath from the uh, blowing doors and then fires everybody who is not at the edge, or rather, everybody on the edge, which is me, which is you, <laughs> and Valgorex will make a dex saving. Danger sense? Danger sense? Since I can technically see it? Yes, sure. Come on! You can do it. Danger sense! <sighs> I believe in you guys. Not in me, in the dice. I believe in you guys because one of them is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 15. 15 plus. Uh, yeah, 17. 17 plus. plus 2, 17. Oh, Come on, fall, fall, okay. woman. Fall, fall. So uh, you, you grab on and uh, the, the ship rocks. What about the, the hands? Lots of explosions. They don't make anything. And uh, the ship is rocking back and forth. Everyone who's not on the railings make a strength saving. Oh, uh, so everyone else. Not to get tossed aside. Yep. Yeah. Us, uh, uh, us, uh, three. Zero. Three. That gets tossed aside. Oopsies. This is exciting. Haha! <laughs> oh shit. I got a zero because I'm minus one. Okay. So oh, where are you? Over there. You move all the way to the edge and you were dangling. Right. Oh fuck. I also failed. Uh, you also dangle. You're on a dangling date. He falls. Ah, oh. oh, damn it. Oh, no! I forgot. Bear, eat. Shit. Go for bear. Uh, what? Strength. Strength saving throw? So it's. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, what's 19? Sorry, but I didn't write. What's a 19? Is that's it plus a, 4. Plus 4? And then plus your. Plus, so it's a plus 7. Yeah. Come on, bear, don't fall. I need to do the popping thing. Plus 7. Oh, 14. So the bear just claws 20. into the... 21. 20. So the bear what? just claws into the floor. So, okay. so it holds? Uh, <coughs> forgot about what about the uh, place? Now, now, now I know why Vex keeps forgetting her bear. <laughs> Unlike hers, your bear is gone. For Acolyte. <laughs> At this level, bear is super gone. This guy, he... But he plunges his staff so hard on the ground that it actually goes through the floor. <laughs> and then, can I use my free hand to like uh, help to like make sure that Frederick doesn't fall backwards? He's helping you actually. <laughs> he's so because you're all the natural. So. Oh, okay. oh wow! Damn, Frederick. Rock face. Okay. Rock face plunges back into the ground, and uh, as as the boat moves, the uh the ship <coughs> over to the side. 
she she makes a deck save and actually goes all the way to the other ship. But uh, you still right next to right next to it. You can make an opportunity attack. What about them? Ah, everybody actually can get a, make an opportunity attack because uh, she actually wanted to. Oh! oh! Finally! <laughs> oh, Kill her! Gone. Kill her! Wait, let's do D12s. <laughs> Two 12s, come on! Plus five. Plus five. Okay. Oh! 17, 18. 18 damage. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's roll. That <laughs> was in passing. Wow! <laughs> nice! <laughs> you hit her better when you're not trying. <laughs> yeah. It's just a It would be awesome if you still roll the second throw. Yeah, right? we're like a higher than like a five or. On the bright side, a eight, seven. 18 is a pretty good cumulative for 2D12s. That's, like, average. that's four. That's four off from max. Four off from max. So uh, she jumps off, but uh, you don't. You, know, you don't. Uh, you don't leave her empty-handed, and you actually stab her right into right into uh, uh, as she tries to jump off the uh, the railing. You stab right into the right into the right into her hand, and uh, right through the railing, and then breaking it. And then uh, now there's a uh, Valvorix hand on your on your trident, but she still lives. But uh, Shit. she's uh, this the other. <laughs> oh. I look at her and say, "Well, you're gonna need a hook soon." <laughs> now she is a true pilot. <laughs> you have uh, you've given her the true gift of actual. Uh, so of the actual others don't hit her. The others don't hit her. Unfortunately, no. Uh, he. But uh, it was actually uh, it was Sleet's uh, distraction that allowed you to do it. I would say. And, uh, Acolyte, uh, well, he was too distracted, he was just... <laughs> I look at Captain Slate and then I offer him the hand. Ow! Are these dead or dangling? Dangling, dangling. We are all dangling. all dangling. Uh, are the enemies still dangling? Does Captain Slate want the hand or do I get to keep it? Because that'll make a fun story. Uh, put it in your inventory. Yes! Borg's <laughs> Borx left hand for future taunting. Yeah, no, legit, I will. <laughs> Got your hand. Uh, whose turn are we at? Uh, so her works is now out of the initial order. Well, shit, she left. I can do that thing, but uh, remember the one. If only you, if you were, <laughs> if only you were an orc, you could have done three Ah, damn, yeah. So we'll take the yes. works out of that, and uh, so she one, two, three, uh, or yeah, one, two, three, and helps this guy up. Go on. So, uh, so the oh, this is clergy. This is yeah. plate passenger. I can't make and, it that uh, far, so. Slate. Wait, is it Slate's turn? Actually, no. It's his turn now. So he's gonna help you. Now you're back here. Your turn. I will. Um, Go kill him, or sorry, <clears throat> I will bring my my hand over here. Oh my god. Long live the king! 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 Do you want hostages or do you just want to die? No, the captain's on the other side. I'll, I'll bring the other. I'm not strong enough to help you up. I'm just gonna. You! <laughs> Alright, so what do you do with the. Uh, Long piece? live the king! Long live the king! Sure, interrogate. Uh, I, I assume. Uh, well, so you, you, I, yeah, everything's rocking right now because the cannons of the, of the, of the capstone are shooting at you. So, okay. Uh, I have uh, this hand uh, uh, hold on firmly to me, and then I, I, you, you uh, pull her up. I pull her up. Uh, athletic check and advantage, or strength check if you don't have it. I don't have it. Do, do I need to roll for that, or I mean, can uh, I also try to my help myself up? You can roll athletics. Yeah, I have a plus. I have a plus two to athletics. Long live the king! Long live the king! Shit. Plus eight. Two, eight. Eight. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. She slips a bit, but then, the, but then you actually, uh, because of the back of the arm, you pull her, flip her over. Uh, okay. Many things. And what do you want to do with uh, this guy? Mr. Long live the king. Long live the king. Long live the king. I will uh, just have it uh, reach over and then. Uh, uh, to grab him, grab him. Uh, yes, uh, and try to wrench him from the from uh, the boat. So, uh, and if, uh, if, he, if I'm capable of releasing him, I, if, if he lets go, I will. Uh, I will also let go of him. Uh, contested strength checks. You you at an advantage 
in the disadvantage because, because <laughs> can I use my casting modifier? stat? Because it has Maximilian doesn't have uh, its own stats. You can use your casting mod your attack spell attack bonus. Wow. It's plus five. Plus five. 16, Excellent. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21. So, uh, grabs onto that and actually wiggles him around. Oh, no, no! <laughs> and then as you do that, the ship turns a bit to counter fire on uh, to counter fire on um, on the capstone. The fires both sides. <laughs> and this poor motherfucker here actually gets shot by one of the cannons from the side as he was being flung off. <laughs> And uh, it's just a red mist, uh, it's just Dude. a red and black mist of gunpowder and guts. <laughs> On the other side, <laughs> actually pushes through the capstone and both are smoking, but uh, your ship is a little more damaged. But uh, you've thought Luna well, and it's actually still uh, holding on. And uh, For a 10 year old. Negre Negredo shouts over from the, from the uh, crow's nest and says, uh, Hang on to something! And uh, what? you, as you look behind, you actually see Land Ho, as in... There's an island suddenly becoming bigger and bigger. In the land! Sky. And it's all in the sky. Oh. Land! Sky! Land! Skyland! <laughs> sky so uh, everybody, everybody, make a, make her strength checks. I get some okay. advantage. Oh, for Because it's in strength. Because you're raging. And it's in raging. Strength check, not a saving throw. Yeah, you, your, oh, oh, your, your, your hand is still there. I'll the give bear. you advantage for it. The bear. Long. Oh, it says it says the creature gives uh, bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. An eight. Only. That's a but 21. But it doesn't say check, so I'm That's not a sure. 19. Okay. Anyway, she Love in the Barbarian. That's four. Love in the Barbarian. I 11. Get, I get... 22. Plus zero. High five, though. That was a very nice long live the king. Denahi! <laughs> 20. Bear is plus four. Okay, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19. So just 22? There's a one roll natural 20? Yes. You can use your reaction to save him. Let's save? Do it for me. I get I uh, it. You I... roll, I would say, in dex saving. What about Frederick? Dex Is saving. Frederick okay? Dex saving. I'll now roll for everybody. To save uh, Umbratis? Yes. Okay, so. You also, you can dex. assist. So, advantage? Assist because, because, you, because you want to save yourself. Assist. Okay, dex is. Saving throw, plus 5. Fuck! Plus 5. Uh, 22. Uh, tw no. 12. 7 plus 5, 12. Shit. 12. 12. I rolled a 12. Uh, plus. Uh, 12, 12, 12 total. 7 okay. 7 plus, yeah. Okay, 6 and a 7. Unfortunately, uh, Captain, uh, Captain did not make it. Can I, like, grab out? Where is he, which way does he go? Because he, he's way. moving this way. So now, every uh, the ones who didn't save go this way. So, Captain moves all the way to the back. That's you a move. A yeah. A move. Yeah, because uh, there was 12. Does the, shot, the hand comes with me then? Mm. He's grabbing onto me. Grabbing onto oh, you. Yeah. Slips away because it was an advantage and still missed. But, Plate did in fact save you. You say he, I'm going to say he's going to try to save you. Can I try and say that's his reaction? Okay, natural 20. Nice. But you're both, but you're both prone because he, he, he was basically flung forward and he's grabbing onto you and the, and the railing. What about, what about Frederick? Uh, Captain, can you, I, can you, can make a, you can make a deck save. Uh, oh, is it dangerous? No, oh. Is it a no, deck save or is it a dex check? I'll say it's a dex check. Please. So, because, no uh, advantage. Well it's not the well it's not an attack against you though. So it's more like you're trying to save somebody. Sixteen plus uh two. Okay. 15. So he makes it uh, <laughs> Captain, we're not done yet! Unfortunately Frederick did not No Frederick! I... Have you used your reaction already? Not no. yet? So you can use your hands to uh save him? Save Frederick. Please. Roll 20 plus your spell attack. That's bonus. what happens when you name you name Buttercup, we lost! We lost the horse! Okay. Uh, 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 Frederick, are you okay? And uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Race, 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 race. And then uh, you see, uh, you see overhead, you're all, you're all clinging, and then you see the the land starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then Skyland, go! Massive, massive chaos. <laughs> you're actually, uh, you, 
everyone else expects a massive crunch on the front, but luckily it actually tipped forward a bit so that it's skidding off the skidding off the ground. Oh. And uh, you know this, you trained Luna for this, and uh, you're all shaking really violently. Wood is splattering all over, splattering all over. Some pieces of metal, some pieces of copper, some uh, some of the rations are actually flying away, and then uh, it moves further, further, and then finally comes to a halt, and everything is just smoking. Okay. Uh, sign of the capstone. The capstone. Uh, everybody who wants to check it out can make. Uh, uh, perception check. I can do that. Can I, can I shout out for a roll call just to check if everyone's uh, present? Shit. Eight. Nineteen. Nineteen. I haven't been. Oh talking. no, twenty. 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 Uh, how how much time has passed? I uh, no, no, I forgot uh, to count uh, the percent. rounds for the bear. I forgot to count the rounds for the bear. It, it only only lasts. two rounds after. Yeah. Okay, okay. It, it lasts for a I got I put two in uh, in with just because I figured perception would be important. So uh you see you you see the you see the capstone draining off to the other end of the island. But it's it's got some smoke because of all the cannon fire it's already taken in. But uh it's still pretty okay, but then you see it land and you all hear But uh it's not an explosion, but you see it's Heavy a impact. crash, it's more Heavy of a impact. crash impact. But uh it's a lot less violent than yours, and uh, or at least for as far as you can tell. Uh, I shout out, uh, roll call, everyone who can. Uh, we might be facing trouble soon. And uh, Captain, I help the captain up. Captain State uh, opens up. Good job, good, good job, gentlemen, lady. Uh, it's what you pay us for. <laughs> uh, is is everyone alright? Uh, he. He assembles everyone to the to the central deck of the ship, and uh, right, the bear. The bear follows you until uh, until eventually it starts fading out. Okay. And uh, everyone's looking. It's like, whoa, bear. far out, man. We're all high. We just imagined a bear. In the few <laughs> seconds, uh, I, in in what remains of uh, of my hand uh, that I can, I I look for any. Heavy pieces of uh, of structure that have tumbled down, and uh, use my hands to lift them off of people or things. Uh, I, and there I, are and there's I a, the hands. you see several pieces of debris on the twin the twin rudders at the side of the ship. Uh, you can use your hands to get them off. Uh, roll another d20 with your spell attack modifier. Can I help out on that one? Uh, it's a little too far because uh, it's only the hands because they're okay, no. Spectrum. no. Is it two, two plus five, seven? Uh, how about the other one? You have two hands, right? Four. The left and the right. Oh, nine, nine plus. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So uh, on the other end, it managed to manages to clear out about half. But uh, on one end, there's just too many, and the, the, the uh, tries it might the arms just just not strong enough for all that debris. And uh, yeah, so uh, you go and assemble yourselves and. Uh, you uh, find your uh, you as you look uh, you, as you look about you. It's actually um, forest, and off in the distance, uh, it's a forest with waterfalls and rivers uh, and hills. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful place. It's in the sky. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to use it because we're going to be in the air. And then uh, I thought I was going to be in the ocean. Off in the. <laughs> Off in the distance, you see spire, uh, like uh, structures and facilities, all with a waterfall running under them. Oh. Oh, okay. So an, a floating island within the floating islands. Mm -hmm. Oh. I look at I look I look at oh, Captain Avatar. Avatar's the Avatar the Cameron movie. Yeah, that one. Oh. I look at I look at the I look at the Captain Stoneface, and then I say uh, Captain Rockface, and I say. Captain, is that normal? I may not be the smartest tool in the shed, but I don't think islands float like this. But it's beautiful. Uh, all, uh, in the ruckus, uh, Idabok, uh peeks out of the peeks out of the door and says, "Oh, over. Uh, yes, uh, yes, milady. There uh, might be some. The the ah. capstone is. Where is it? On the other side? Or? She 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 does uh, she opens the door and says uh, well 
Mike fell off the window. Uh, go and, uh, retrieve him then. Uh, well, luckily he fell off the window when we crash landed, so he might still be here in the island. Uh, oh, uh, oh. so it. I so did manage to uh, get his ear when uh, he was thrown off by one of the shards of window. Uh, I'll keep this for now. Ah, uh, uh, you have an ear. I have a hand. Captain, do you want this? I will. Uh, I, uh -huh. I I show the captain. So it, this is so. This isn't when. Wink was inside with, oh, okay. with either with either box. So who's playing? I'm still happy I have a. Playing as just a passenger it was really oh. really badass enough to help you guys out. Okay. Same with Frederick, the uh, the acolyte. We didn't lose yeah. Frederick though. Oh yeah. You didn't lose anybody. Was it, was it yeah, no, because we have. The running thing is also, I was hoping you would be here. <laughs> oh, what? I was hoping you would be the cleric. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't know if it's... You're arcane cleric, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And but... you're also every tonight, right? So, oh, yeah. Uh... But not in play. Rockface uh, assembles you all in the center and says, uh, Head count! And then, uh... What? Sa! Sorry. One! <laughs> Negret Negredo, sa Negredo shouts, uh, First mate's still on the lower decks, but he's okay. I I run down to the engineering deck to uh, uh, see if things are working. Someone someone tries to stop you, but uh, Ro uh, Captain Slate actually just uh, lets you go. And, uh, let him go. And, uh, some uh, reports uh, you on the deck. Uh, reports say that they have lost a few. Uh, some crewmen, some passengers. Uh, you get their names. Uh, you identify a few of them, but uh, for the most part, the rest of you are safe. Uh, went. May or may not be alive. Should we go search for him? Uh, I don't know who this one person is, but he might be important. And, uh, you on the lower deck, mm -hmm. uh, in the engineering deck, it's a goddamn mess. Uh -huh. uh, it's actually pretty amazing because there's literal. Uh, you see, there are cannon damage inside it, but the fires are all out already. Like it's just smoldering. Uh, it's just smoldering now. And, uh, some of the some of the engineers are actually just just the tired, and they say, uh, uh, "Lady Luna, really scary, but uh, she's effective." So and, uh, Luna's just there. And she's cleaner than everyone else. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, As expected. And, uh, but uh, she looks at you kind of sad because then she points into the uh, she points at the reactor and says. Can it uh, I uh, kneel down and I uh, I look around. Uh, have we taken any casualties? Uh, there are a few injured, but no casualties. The only casualty you ever had was Georgia. Okay. I I, the, uh, I take her in a, in an embrace, in a shadowy embrace, as our uh, our uh, shadows intermingle, and uh, I say, uh, well, uh, no one. Uh, no one's dead, and the ship is still in ho is still intact. You did more than I could have hoped. And, uh, You're better than your old man on this first time. <laughs> I don't thought of that. <laughs> right. I, uh, so I, I take it in a hug and I said, "You did very well. Uh, the, the the ship can be fixed. People are a little more complicated. Uh, you had your priorities in order, and you kept everyone safe. Magic regenerates. Why is that? She, uh... She she hugs you back and uh, she uh, she doesn't cry but she but you know she's holding back because uh, you you don't need an inside check for this one because she's your daughter and you know that as calm and collected as she looks she was really really nervous the entire time especially Stoic. since this is the first time she's been in such a dangerous situation especially she I, handled, but she handled herself uh, most magnificent. Uh, I continue my inspection, uh, but uh, I'm carrying her around uh, as I'm doing it. Uh, <coughs> you on the deck? Uh, I'm, I'm offering, but uh, I'm offering aid to the passengers that were trapped, and those that are unarmed, I offer belay pins. So you lift off a few, uh, few of the sail sail masts that are falling on some people. A lot, of, several have been have been injured, but uh, most more more or less. Uh, no additional deaths are accounted for. I give the heavily injured ones a swig of ale, just to help them numb the pain a little bit. They, they take and say, ah, make them drunk. Uh, where'd, you get, where'd you get this shite? <laughs> it's a dwarf. 
<laughs> I, I look at him and say, the best damn tavern you've ever seen. Wait, you've switched accents. Exactly. <laughs> oh, because the dwarven. Yeah. Then, uh, his comment is in us, is in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> My dwarven's in Irish. Okay. <laughs> no, because like, cause Scottish. It, in Scottish. Because there, there are accents for, for speaking. Yeah. Oh, uh, already. Uh, I have oh. a brewer's kit on hand, actually. I can actually <laughs> make my own. Oh, I have herbalism kit. <laughs> I, you what? what have you been doing the entire time while uh, uh, everything so, has been... Well, so I go to... If you're not, if you're not um, busy. Uh, what's your name? Shit, the sponsor? Uh, Iderbach. Iderbach mm-hmm. uh, Reiner. Iderbach. So... Uh, um, uh, my lady, I, I can help you look for uh, Gwent if you want. Oh, yeah, well, he'll be fine. He's been through worse. It's not the first year he's lost. Uh, okay. How can you have two uh, <laughs> He didn't notice that he only had one year the entire time. <laughs> uh, so is is the um the, I would like to uh, can I can we see the the capstone from here to far? No, it's a little a little too far. Mm, okay. Uh, I suppose I will. Mm, should I potion uh, since I'm a I guess I should, I'll just help around the uh-huh. whoever is injured or. Oh, yeah, no, I can. So, uh. Remember that you can only try to. One day. So, yeah, all of you try to recover as much as you can. Uh, can should I hit this? Uh, Dave. In a bit. Uh, okay. I'll, let you, I'll let you know what happened. Alright. Uh, Iderbach goes up to you and asks, uh, Is the map with you? Hmm? Is the map with you? Uh, I check my pockets. Okay. Okay. But, uh, you, do you uh, show it? No, say. It is. Uh, on your end, both your ends actually, uh, Negredo's actually helping you in the sense that, uh, well, lots da- lots been damaged. We are not going to find any parts to repair most of the car, the broken masts and the sails. We can... But there is one way, and it's way over there. <laughs> well, we take what we need from the capstone. Where, uh, who's talking where? Uh, Negredo. Negredo is talking with both of you. You're okay, talking okay. with Iderbach. Okay. And, uh, do you report your findings in the engineering? Uh, yeah. Uh, I I make an exhaustive list of things that are broken. So, amongst the list, uh, well, actually, because you're so prepared, you already have spare parts for all the stuff that's broken, except for one. Okay. It's the you are missing. You report that you are missing the reactor core. Okay. Ah. Let's see. I I look at Negredo and I so I tell him I ask him so between the two of our ships only we only have enough parts for what? No, there's not the the capstone crash landed yeah far that's away, right. far away. That's, so that's the only uh, the, the only way for us to salvage the things we need all oh, yes, from them. I, I'm uh, asking. I'm asking. Negredo says, uh, well, this is the only that's the only other ship I I. Identified in this right, then. and even though we're we're in uh, Orita, who can say that we can actually commandeer Orita technology? This is this is Orita already. Is well, it, if this it? isn't Orita, then I don't know where there are any other forty islands in the world. Uh, uh, Again, you see, you see Ozzy just start to freak out, just like sky. Islands. It's like the first time someone told me that ships can fly all <laughs> over again. And uh, Negredo tells you, you know, the dwarves sometimes get sucked into the sky. God damn it! <laughs> okay, where's that from? Dragon Age. Dragon Age. I was supposed to be on the sea, damn it! I made I it for water! Dwarves? Is it a uh, waste thing? Negredo, Negredo just. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. So rock, Rockface, uh, Rockface calls you over. Uh, I need a status report. No. Uh, uh, how uh, can we fly? Uh, uh, to me. Everybody who's who's within earshot, which is all of you. Okay. So uh, I come up. I say there are a number of things. There are a number of things that are uh, that are broken, but nothing I can. I'm not prepared to fix. However, the primary component of our uh, of our reactor is 
damage beyond my ability to repair. I'm going to need. A, I'm going to need a replacement. Hmm. Okay, Captain. Yes. Woodwise, we're missing a few masts. Clothwise, we're missing a full sail. Netwise, we're missing. The, we're missing the safety net and about 80 feet of rope. Uh, Negredo suggests we might have to raid the capstone. Interesting. I don't, want, I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave her here. Forward party, then, Captain. Yes. One party to search for that reactor core. Another party to search for uh, for the myth, to go raid the, the parts in the capstone. If any, with any luck, maybe the raiding party in the capstone can actually steal the reactor core. Is that possible? Let me ask. Uh, would I know if it's possible? Uh, make a um, investigation check with advantage. Ship that uh, big though. Is your we probably need a couple of reactor cores. Like, you're dwarfed by that one. 14. 14. <laughs> as far as you know, uh, ship, ship reactor cores are different. There are a lot of differences in size. It's possible. But the issue is not, is not installing the reactor core. It's more of removing it without blowing yourself up. Okay. Uh, so, and then, uh, either box chimes in. You know, airship technology was actually developed from the remnants of our item technology. With a little uh, tinkering, you might be able to find your way out. Uh, with a little, with a little uh, exploration, you might be able to find the way out. And I would like to actually explore the ruins. If that's alright with you, I only paid for this entire expedition. <laughs> she's not saying she's not saying she wants to do it. She's just saying you know she she pays she, for she it. She for it. So, you Passive know. aggressive. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> well, you know, I just you know paid for it. And, uh, I mean, it says, not uh, like Rockface says. Uh, I think we have enough for uh, for two teams to go out into the into the islands, and uh, the the rest will stay here and defend. I can sense that there's something evil. Captain, I've armed, I've armed the unknown civilians with belaying pins. They work good as clubs, Captain. Yeah, we tried. Uh, <laughs> bring, uh, make sure, <laughs> bring the injured, <laughs> bring the injured to a safe place within the ship. Uh, Aye, Captain. It's probably then, then slightly in the lower deck. But, Cap but the problem with the lower deck is that it's going to take a lot of cleaning. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably have a, I'll probably have a lot. Uh, Captain, should we go look for the ones we dropped? We dropped some people. Yeah. Fair amount, Captain. Fair amount. Ah, ah sorry, sorry. Uh, Hydroboxes. Oh yes, when was uh, dropped off the map. But uh, maybe we'll find him as we explore. Yes. Uh, Captain, should I, should I remain with the ship to help with the cleaning and anticipating? Arriving? Uh, well, arrivals? Either way, we need parts to repair the ship. Both, both options for exploration will probably get us uh, a reactor at some point. Let's say you. Uh, oh, uh, in between the tinkering and the... Between uh, risking blowing yourself up in the uh, by removing a reactor core, or finding a reactor core and tinkering with it to make it fit into the disease. I say uh, uh, handling uh, handling dangerous technologies like this are hard enough without pirates beating down your back. Uh, I'm uh, if uh, the lady did she ever have a, a was she ever a professor? No. Was she, yeah. She's what was a historian. Title? What was the title? Did she ever have a title? She's a she has a doctorate in history in uh, doctorate in history. Okay, so. I'll say if uh, if the good doctor says that there's uh, there's technology in this island that uh, we can use in as in replacement, it might be uh, worth the uh, worth the expedition inwards rather yes, than. Yes, I uh, like that idea. Captain, should we set fire to their ship after we raid it? Hmm. Might be a good idea to keep them from running afterwards. But we need the response. Aye, but after we raid. I mean, when we've taken the cloth and the mask and the wood... It's going to be difficult to carry that much more. I, at the same time... <laughs> oh. <laughs> the wood and the... Okay. Uh, 
I uh, take it that much would make it difficult, but if we I say we kill them all. There is that, Excellent. but Plan. with regards to moving the wood, if we can put together a slayer or two and uh, a couple of strong hands to pull it along, it'll sh it should help out with the wood. Uh, with Gregor. regards to the sail though, we're gonna need someone mighty agile. The Grado says, uh, I'll handle the raiding party then. And uh, the, then uh, Rocky says, uh, very good. Captain, where do you need me? Uh, Mr. Skolia? Aye, Captain. Please go with uh, Mr. Umbratis here to uh, explore the inner, uh, the inner island. Yes, Captain. Try to keep him safe. Lady Denai, where will uh, we go? Uh, well, uh, question, does... Does... Uh, you can tell he's been doing this for a while. Does Madam Doctor know about why I'm here? Everything is professional. Even worst know? case scenario. Uh, as far as you know, that was only sent to you. But the captain seems to know something about where you're, where you're from. Uh, I'm really happy about that though. Like super uh, professional uh, sailor. Mm -hmm. oh, but don't stay behind otherwise you know. Uh, I'll go you. with... Yeah, no. I'm, but like, I uh, suppose I'll go with... I just, uh, I just want to make sure that everyone's okay. Ooh, with the madam to explore the... This is uh, very good. Well, far be it from me to uh, order around our passengers. But you have done very well in the last time. It's no problem. It's a transfer. Aye, Captain. You can find a rope. Tie it, uh, if you can find a rope, use it as a necklace and tie that hand on around your neck. Aye, Captain. <laughs> I see. Well, excitedly looking for a rope. At the same time, after I found the rope, and I, uh, after I found the rope, and I actually have 50 feet of silk rope. Can I, I'll, I'll use that to make a necklace out of it. Pick a flat. Dexter. That is a 8 plus 2. 10. 10. You, you fumble around quite a bit, but eventually uh, you manage to fashion, fashion yourself a makeshift necklace with a hand here. So it's kind of weird, but uh, it's trophy, a trophy is a trophy. <laughs> and uh, but uh, in the process, you lose around thirty feet of silk rope. Ah, shit. Sure. Well, thirty feet of silk, silk rope. Oh, uh, silk rope. He's fumbled quite a bit with it. And eventually, he managed to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I look. Uh, I look at uh, I look at uh, the captain and say, you know, I heard some humans keep monkey paws or rabbit's feet. I'm pretty happy with my monkey paw. <laughs> holding, holding the hand. <laughs> Uh, I don't know much about human culture. I'm sure the good, the good doctor here wouldn't know much about it either. Oh, hey, no, wait, this is not my lucky charm. I actually have a lucky charm. <laughs> oh, yeah, feature lucky charm? No, 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 it's part of my equipment. It comes with sailor. Oh, okay, fine. So this is now my lucky charm. So now, uh, the, night is, uh, the night is getting dark. Uh, the raiding party is about disrupting themselves, but uh, you guys are... Uh, Iderbox says that uh, the last battle seems to have taken quite a bit. Why don't we all rest and go in the morning? And oh, I despite the despite the walk when uh, you can't see. I guess you're just fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, when we yeah, can, can, when I, he I, when she can. All y'all have. Oh, no, no, we I'm a elf. When you I'm can't a see. elf. Uh, I offer I offer you a swig of uh, yeah. uh I'm working. <laughs> I offer you a swig of it. Sure. <laughs> I take two swings. It is shite. Huh? It is shite. <laughs> it's bad. It's, but it hits really hard. <laughs> it's pretty bad, Mr. OZ. Well, considering I brewed it in a bathtub, that's that's pretty solid. I, I spit it out <laughs> without him hope in secret. Make a slight hand check. A what? Slight of hand check. Slight of mouth check. Slight of mouth. <laughs> One. You saw it completely. Three. In fact, when she, when, she spits it out, when she spits it out in that direction, some of it spatters into your face as well. <laughs> Sorry, it's pretty bad. And in response, everyone appreciates my name. So you take a long rest. Uh, there are enough rations to last you, to last everyone in the ship, about five days. 
I can find it. Five days after this night. Okay. Oh. So, timer starts ticking down. Fine, I can find food. But only for six people. And, uh... You are now, uh... Go back, Max. Everything. Okay. Spells, health. I offer anyone who needs it a spare potion. I'm uh... Because I should probably only have one on me because I'm going to go down a lot. No, we already have. Everyone has a potion. You have two. Yeah, Because that's right. uh, you got such a good deal from uh, your uh, patron. Yeah, that's what happens when you've been in the dark for 50 years. That's a fifth of my life. So, uh, you, uh, you eventually wake up and uh, it's still pretty beautiful here, but uh, nothing bad has happened. There were quite a few shifts on the ship going around. You, you didn't need to take one, uh, considering your contribution to the last combat. Uh, in the morning, Eiderbach uh, was already ready, uh, quite ready, and uh, still prim and proper, still clean, and, uh, but uh, Wendt did not return yet, no sign of him. He probably just ran away. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, Eiderbach uh, beckons all of you and says, uh, okay, now that we are on this little adventure, why don't we plot our direction? Mr. Van Hostel, if you will, please open the map. Uh, Make I, a, I would say either a tinkering check if you want to. No, I would say either a tinkering check or an investigation check, whichever is higher. Or I would also accept or comment. Okay. Just an eight. Eight. Max. Uh, it was five plus my again. Okay. Uh, you open the map and it takes quite a bit, uh, quite a while, and uh, it, it uh, as as the as three dimensional map opens up and uh, the the images kind of frazzle around, and it points you in a direction somewhere northeast, but you can't see the exact path. Uh, how does it know where we want to go? Mm -hmm. Uh, how does it? How is it pointing a direction? Because it's pointing into the ruins. Okay. To the the ruins, mm -hmm. and which is likely where the technology is going. I get. So uh, she says, uh, "Well, that's promising, and uh, maybe in an hour or so we can try again." Uh, I, I ask her, "What's the scale on this map? Uh, how long would it take? How far is that uh, location actually?" Um, everyone makes a question. I'm, I'm trained! In survival. I'm and not. I will roll this but badly. I will, I will obviously, I have a zero, but I will obviously roll higher than all of you. Yeah. What did I get? 13. <laughs> Where you get? I get. Uh, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 23. 23. <laughs> it's actually uh, about a day's worth of uh, travel to the nearest ruin, just based on the Frasmi map. Uh, the thing is, the. You can't tell how safe it is because you didn't know the, the proper route. Okay. Because it's a lot of dense forest and waterfalls. So it's, uh, it's, it's a day's travel in a straight line. That is... Yeah. Wait, I have... This is not my first time being maroon. On the bright side, you have a ranger on your side. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, I, the... I've got all the... <laughs> you got all the... <laughs> the, nature guy, the nature dudes. Yeah, the nature dudes. Uh, this is the this, I'm, I'm only lacking a druid to complete my awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. 90. One of the cruise members of Druid. <laughs> like a Druid. <laughs> Does anyone know anything about technology? <laughs> and what? Uh, Do you mean the thing that makes my try? Not choice really for. That's not technology. Yes. Oh, so I actually nothing I picked then. forest as. Uh, nothing. Then. Fuck. How lucky like, are you? I know. Uh, I know. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be on an airship. Favorite terrain. Forest. Oh damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why oh, I should say. Oh, so you make your you make it again. Uh, you can make a, you can make you can make your survival check again. Advantage? If you yeah. want if you want to Oh go. right! Intelligence or wisdom check related to no, he already scored I think the maximum possible is 23. 23. I could get a twenty-five. Okay, so instead or not. Instead, uh oh. I will allow you to make a check. Do you have primeval awareness? Yeah, she does. Yes, I do have primeval awareness. What what sort of things can it scan for? Um Dragon Primeval awareness, page nice. Dragons, two. element, undead, um, dragon, celestials. Aberration, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, 
Philippines and then in uh, one mile from within one mile of me. They have to oh no wait, or do you within have... six miles because it's in my favorite dream. Okay. Does it does it select one or does it detect all? Um. It says for one minute per so. Uh, you can sense whether the following types of features are the present us, all, all, within all. one six miles of me. Again, so forest. Dragons, celestial fiends. Sorry, aberrations, Aberration. celestials, dragons, elementals, fey fiends, and dead. Oh. Are you going to use it? Yeah, I'm, uh, so that would expand my spell slot, so I, I, I only use this for so I show you all. Once a day. It's a once a day thing for me. Uh, yeah. Got your bear back. One mile. How far is one mile? Six. Yeah, it's six. How six many miles. feet is the? Oh, right, six miles. Sorry. Is the is the the ruins you're going for is going to be within, within range. range? Oh. Okay, I'll, I'll use that. I use that. So, uh, how does it look like when you're when you're trying to scan for oh. all these creatures? Uh. I bring, I hold um, a bear, a bear, a dire bear fan, which is uh, that's the backstory of how she got the animal companion, uh, and um, and she closes her eyes and um, uh, nature senses tingling. So she just uh, the it's sort of the bear helps her. Bear necessities. Bear necessities. Yeah. Bear senses. Bear uh, senses. Okay. Uh, Six months? Yeah. Again, uh, repeat me uh, the uh, things you were scanning for. Dragons, aberrations, celestials, aberrations, fiends, celestials, dragons, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, oh, and <laughs> dead. It's not like he's ever going to remember to use it. None of the. <laughs> no beasts or constructs? No. No. Those are Don't sense anything. I don't sense anything. None of those things. But, okay, none of the. He sensed a few. Uh, he sensed a few draconic uh, presence. presence, but not in the island, out the island. Oh, okay. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I, uh, I tell everyone. Um, uh, I don't. I don't think there's. There'll be. Otherworldly beings in uh, in where we're heading. So uh, I can't assure. Um, yeah, I can't assure um, other kinds of monsters. If we encounter ghosts and dead, we'll So what? The Either boxes. Well, then there's nothing to worry about. Why do we go? Uh, you proceed. Should I take point? Who, uh, what's your marching order? And are you going in stuff? Which uh, wouldn't really matter to you because when you're all going stuff in your favorite terrain, you don't really cut down your speed, right? Uh, difficult terrain doesn't slow your group's travel, but it says if you're traveling alone, you can move stealthily at a normal pace. So oh, only if you're alone. Yeah. Okay. Might also, I have thing. a disadvantage on spell. Why? Oh, spike. Oh, we need forage. Okay, so are you still oh. doing stuff or are you just going to do... When you forage, you find stuff, you put us in Also, how many days worth of rations are you getting for each one? Uh, we, have the, well, we have our kits, right? The explorers pack. You still have your own kits outside of what the ship has. I, I have still, I have 10 days, so I'm not going to take from the ship. No, no, no. So the, ship will, the ship's uh, ration stays is. Yes. Oh, okay. I have uh, a bite of bread here. Uh, uh, okay. I saved that for snack then. Mm. What? Yeah. He's trying to offer me food, but uh, I said uh, I have a specifically a lot of time to eat. <laughs> mm. I can appreciate that. Should, should From I afar. Okay. Yeah, just not nearby. Uh, what was I going to say? How, how many... How many... Uh, sorry, how many days... For how many days uh, are the rations for oh. uh, in the ship? Five days starting from now. Okay. For I everybody on the ship. Okay, I guess I can 
Um, yeah, I think we'll do. Uh, I can forage while traveling. Just to increase your rations? Yeah, just to increase that. Oh, and okay. it says I, can, I remain alert to danger when I do that. Oh, okay. So, Which means that you can still add your perception checks, uh, your perception checks to okay. detecting danger even while you're foraging. Okay. So who's, uh, who's going to lead the march and are you going to uh, or try it stuff. For going in stealth, I'm going back to back. No, if you if you go in stealth, you cut our speed in half. So I, are you? I don't. I feel that none of us are proficient enough for it to matter. Yeah, that's true. I'm just five to stealth. <laughs> none of us. All, the rest of the party. Okay, none we can just human, go. We can. None of the normal. My lady, would you like to go as fast as we can? You see, or? you see, proficient in stealth. I can be. Yes. Would it be possible for you to go on ahead first and see if there's oh, any Oh, scout! Yes! Actually, I didn't pick a I, Yeah, um, sure. Uh, yes, my lady. Uh, that's, um, that's possible. Uh, this will... you will have to wait for... Depending on how far you go, they will have to wait in ship while you're out and about. Oh, so how uh, how would I... Well, how do I signal... Oh, I oh um, um, how, how would I it. signal you if it's safe to, for you to follow me? Do you have magic? Oh, unfortunately not. I have magic, but uh, I can only send. Uh, I can only go one way. Oh, one which way. Means, which means we can have a time limit. We're in. Uh, I will call you in about an hour and see how what the situation is, and you can reply back. Uh, oh. How far out will you be traveling? I can travel. Uh, what, what, an hour is how, how far would 30 minutes, or is it too long? Wait, would 30 minutes be too long? Because if you don't intend to go too far, if you're only going to remain 120 feet away, mm. I... How far would, how, how many minutes would it take to travel 120 feet? Well, 120 feet, less than 6 seconds. Oh, yeah. 6 seconds, right. No, no, it's no, no, 30 no. feet per second. 36 feet, you're dashing? 12 seconds ahead if you are running at full sprint. Meaning that if you are just normally jogging along in the way that you would in combat, 30, 60, 90, uh, 120, uh, 34, so about half a minute behind you. Did you want to go super far? How much can I cover in? 15 minutes. Mm. It's about uh, one eighth of the way. One eighth. Oh. Uh, but uh, can, I'd like. Uh, if you get in, if you get in, if you get in any danger, you will have absolutely no backup. Yeah. Oh. Keep in mind, as someone who's done this, who's done this lot before, you, it is possible to get detected with a really, really high stealth. It's happened a lot. It only takes one roll. Yeah, no, like one lap 20 and you are here. Okay, then 120 feet. Okay, so you, you... So just so... Uh, you stop ahead mm -hmm. by a few minutes. Yeah, a few minutes. I offer to I, take point. I uh, use a uh, handy uh, cantrip that I use down below decks when when I'm on a particularly... when I'm on an engine with... on a ship with particularly loud engines. Is this message? Yeah, I use um, I use message to. Uh, I'm gonna say in this forward. setup, you can you can roll. Uh, all of you can roll stealth at advantage. All of us. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. In which, in your case, it's just a normal flat roll uh, for the battle ranger. Oh wow! I have a plus two stuff. Okay. Hello, bad rolls, please. Do. Oh my god! Damn it! Three. Eighteen. I. Ah. Uh, I also very badly. Uh, I don't get along. Seven. Seven. Okay. So you proceed. A one in, and a two. Right. You proceed in that uh, setup. Uh, try to be as quiet as you can be. Uh, Step on all the twigs. The. Uh, <laughs> You, you cover a fairly good amount of distance 
And you notice that there's really nothing going on in this forest. It's really quiet. Too quiet? Too quiet. Now, everyone who thinks it's too quiet can make a perception check. If this is your favorite terrain, I think you have advantage. Is it? I, I've never been in a forest. I, I don't think anything's wrong with being quiet. Seven. Uh, sorry, eight, sorry, I have to check. Ten. I got a ten. I enjoy the quiet. Why would I question this? <laughs> As a sailor who's been marooned before, Damn. when it's too quiet, that means shit's going down. Intelligence or wisdom check related to your favorite thing? So there were it is. If the oh, if it's quiet in the engine room, bonus, the engine is off, or everything is perfect. <laughs> As a sailor, if it's quiet on deck, so five, something's wrong. Six, seven, <laughs> it should eight. never be quiet on deck. Uh, wait, sorry. It says Unless everyone's seven, sleeping. Seven. So Even then, you can hear. Three. Uh, you can hear the crew members snoring. Three so. plus four uh, plus seven. So plus seven and. Uh, I have a plus advantage. advantage uh, no, uh, it says uh, intelligence or wisdom check related to favorite terrain and proficiency oh, bonus is doubled if you are using a scale no, that you're proficient. That's normal range stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. So plus that's seven. That's very normal range. Please wait here. Let's be careful. Try to do that. Plus seven. 18? 18, 18 for the perception. No. You see on you see you see along the trees this gold rusty golden eye-like thing with wings watching you from the trees. But it's not moving until you see it and then it flies away. That Catch might have been bitch. bad. Uh, no, you, so no one's behind see. me? Uh, how you're a bit far off, so uh Everyone else is gonna have a little trouble hearing you if you want. Oh yeah, as in you. Okay. Um, I'm sending you. I'm messaging you every five minutes or so. Okay. So the That's next. What you okay. You okay. So <laughs> every five minutes. So the next. Wait. Uh, That's what you saw. That's what flying. Saw. It was flying. It was this thing. Ah. Okay. I saw it, it, it as as soon as you noticed it. Step on those wings and ran away. Uh -huh. uh, so the next message that comes in, I reply with. Um, there's a golden round creature with one eye and wings, and it flew away. It was watching me. Do you say, uh, oh wait, sorry, is it limited? Who do you is, relay uh, that? The words, the number of words limited? No. Okay, so... Uh, who do you relay that to? I... Oh, uh, 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 he sorry. receives it, right? I say, uh... Uh... Okay, what's your name? Denani. Oh, or, uh, Denani. me? Me? Oh, Denani. Denani? Denied. Like Kenai's older brother. Oh, denied. Uh-huh. Denied. Denahi. Denahi? Denahi. Okay. Uh -huh. So I say, uh, my lady, Denai is, uh, uh, is reported being spotted by some sort of... Golden, round, golden creature with one eye and... A what creature is? living? Mm -hmm. Or... Look like it. Made of? It was gold. Metallic? Uh, do I know? Yeah. Uh, it was rusted. You know this one was uh, rusted? It was rusted. Uh, oh, right. It was rusted. Could be. Uh, some sort of construct. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That's metallic. What have. And it's actually native to our item. It's called a monotron. And, uh, oh, monotron. He, oh. She, uh, she draws it. She draws it pretty quickly. It's actually, it's actually already in the parchment. She uh, shows you around like that. And, uh, yeah. There are actually uh, sections for the pastor items, and uh, probably we're going to be uh, swarmed by them, depending on what their directive is. And hopefully, their directive is uh, don't let anyone. Uh, their directive is not don't let anyone. Do you wish for a child of my leg and I like my Oh no! I'm sure you're all protected. There are two of them. Uh, you I, didn't, and, uh, you didn't notice it until now, but she's actually speaking kind of loud. Okay. Uh, I say, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, the volume of your voice is being, is being significantly detrimental to our ability to explore, my lady. I think he means we should probably keep it down, my lady. Oh, oh, of course, of course. And then, uh, uh, the longer we go undetected, uh, the farther in we can... Uh, we can make it to your uh, ruins. So uh, you go forward and uh, uh, yeah, you continue yeah. on. Uh, 
you don't spot any more. Uh, are you staying in the same distance, or are you going to be comfortable? With just this? constant. I'm just trying to keep her within uh, messaging range. Okay. So you, you continue on, and uh, no other golden snitches are going around. Okay. No monodromes. No. Then, how 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 big is it? Was it that you saw it? Did I? Probably around this. One. How high did it fly? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say around the twenty feet up. Then went into the direction of your where you were supposed to. Uh, as you um, as you start to as uh, as the sun the sun is still fairly high, but it's beginning to set now. Uh, nothing has happened so far. But then you hear. If you, or rather you, the ranger, you feel a rumbling in the ground. Uh, the next uh, the next message that comes in, uh, I relay the the rumbling. The lump, r rumbling. As I say, uh, stay low, uh, hide, or protect yourselves. Uh, Is something coming? Uh, can, what can I tell for the... It's a survival check. There are survival check related uh, checks in favorite terrain right now. Yeah, uh, so I get because I'm proficient, so three uh, is double. Three plus four. Mm -hmm. Another plus seven okay. for this one. You double proficiency or what? Uh, yeah, it says profici double proficiency. Proficiency. Can't pronounce it well. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Total? I, I wrote a two. You can't tell what it is. Order. We're gonna it's die! As far as you know, it's big. I need my friend to check in the So I re reply, okay, oh, is it pizza? Uh, I'm gonna ask him to order pizza in a bit. Because it's so gonna the, be a the couple cheesy, of hours until it gets here. The cheesy one? The Our extra? cheese on the yeah. 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 All right, uh, like, Avi, stick around for this first. So uh, I reply, uh, I'm sorry, the the room is distracting me. Uh, I'm, I I is can't tell. Um, no. no, it's not my stomach. <laughs> but yes, I am hungry. Okay. Uh, I don't know where it's coming from or where, where it's headed to. Uh, uh, do I see? What does favorite terrain tell you with regards to direction and number? What do you mean? You can track. Number? You're tracking. You okay. Tracking, but not identifying. Hey, what? While tracking other creatures, you can also learn their exact number, their sizes, and how long ago they passed the area. But you're not really tracking anything. No. No, not really. Well, I can. As I can. far as you can know, you can tell with that nine. It's big. Shit, road really It's big, badly. but it's alive. Unlike the constructs that you've been told oh. are native. To arrive. So I can, I, it's some sort of beast probably? It's, it, it's none of the uh, the other things you oh, yeah. identified a while ago. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I it's an actual animal. Okay. Uh, I say... Do you stop? It's... Uh, uh, I, I double back to them. Okay. It's quite cool as okay. possible. And, and uh, uh, it's big and... Uh, stuff check? Stuff checks for everybody. Because if you're trying to uh, make, your, make your presence unknown. Okay. Uh, go for Javi, I guess. This oh, it's it's not a. Okay. Um, I roll really badly. I'm gonna die. Except for bear. Except for bear rolls. Yeah, bear rolls are pretty pretty high. I got another. See, this is the useful kind of bear because it disappears after combat. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I got another. I rolled another two. Oh. Seven. Damn you. Okay. Now you roll a nineteen. Okay. Uh, so I got a nine. Sorry, I got a seven. Hydrobox. Seven, seven. Okay. Hydrobox is really good at being quiet, but the rest of you are being really nice. <laughs> I disappear into the shadows with a 21. Oh, very nice. Uh, uh, Javi scores a six at the disadvantage. Mm. Okay. Now, as you stop moving, from the trees, you see this giant lizard-like creature walking around. How big is it? It's big. Uh, as, compared to a, a, as compared to a giant velociraptor, how big is it? I would say it's around as big as a, a little bigger than a giant velociraptor. Okay. You make a nature check. <laughs> now me, I got a negative one in int. Because nature is it based. Oh, but I have... Favorite terrain, yeah, intelligence, um, double proficiency. Sorry. 
so there would double be, zero is still zero. So there would be <laughs> four minus one. Sorry, I am confused. So a three. She gets to double her proficiency. So one. negative one turns into negative two. <laughs> Damn it! So much. Huh? Five eighty-six. Sorry, I'm confused. So it's uh, four. Six hundred. It would be four minus. Uh, plus is that two pieces already? Yeah. Huh. Nine plus three. Twelve. Twelve. Bad rose. It's the yellow one that's that's screwing you over. I don't care. Oh, sorry. Don't break so my. You think? Don't break our. Uh, you 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 researched. I mean, in your advance, you've seen oh, something like sorry. this before. Mm -hmm. Have I? Okay. You've seen something like this before, but um. But. It's gonna be super deafening on the recording. <clears throat> Oh, more notes. Oh no, I have all notes. Given how far you are, and given how uh, the rumblings are really distracting you, here's what you know. Uh, sorry, question. How how far in are we? The can I tell? How far? How far in are we from the ship? I mean, how far are we now from the ship? I'm sorry, you're about uh, halfway there. Sounds about the same. Ah, the, yeah. uh, so we see the lizard. You like see the lizard thing. thing. You think you know what it is, based on two things. Could be, could be a T Rex or an Allosaurus. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure. It's, I, I, I can't tell. The, As you're looking at it, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, six. Oh, six plus perception. Sorry. 6 plus 7, 13? 13. Okay. In the mouth of this dinosaur, you see an old man. He's not dead, but just like hanging there and crying and moaning. Oh, oh. It's Went. <laughs> Madame, I thought you went. <laughs> I, I do the motion of. Should we help him? Do it's not his first time. I I just look I look around at everyone else. <laughs> I don't know what to say. He's used to it. Don't worry. Used to what? He's used to it. Don't worry. I think we could just let him distract the monosaurus or the next or whatever it is. With a, uh, I I just I whisper. Uh, a message. I'm speechless. Out. I say, uh, <laughs> I'm just speechless. Uh, if the. Uh, I ask you, uh, are you feeling particularly heroic? I am. Because we have the permission of the lady to proceed. Uh, what, what happened was, she couldn't tell, because the there were rumblings, she couldn't tell whether the, 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 thing, lizard, thing, the lizard thing was an Allosaurus or a T Rex. But she could tell it was a drake? She could, no, it's not a drake. It's, it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. Mm. But the thing is, on, in its mouth is went. But I heard the, the whole it's not his first time thing. In, yeah, in yeah. the mouth of a dinosaur, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. Eiderbach has given you me to see. Mm -hmm. uh, I, quietly, I quietly message out. Uh, uh, we have permission for the lady to proceed. Uh, if none of you are feeling particularly her heroic, then we can use this distraction to continue. But my my serious professionalism dictates that we proceed forward. All right, let's yeah. see. Proceed. Go <laughs> on. <laughs> what? Be the strongest surviving nature. Not not yeah. not just no, because I was paid to make sure she's safe and that we get to our destination. Uh, Only the strongest surviving will, nature. We will further endanger her if we try to rescue went right now. Okay. So uh, it Please. proceeds onward without me. I do what I'm paid to do. And then, uh, in your path, it stops a bit. It looks around. What oh. wobbling went in its mouth? No, <laughs> my other toes. And then, uh, and then, uh, everyone, now that look in your direction, make another stealth check. Okay. Okay. Rolling really badly. And and Eiderbach will also. And just to, just to see... Oh, crap, I do. 17. 
Wait, What's your box roll? One. Your hero's one. You roll at the disadvantage. What? Mm. Seventy. You're in uh, heavy armor. You're in medium armor. Ah, uh, twenty-two. My highest stealth. Oh, yet. nice. I rolled at twenty-two. <laughs> I'm at thirteen. Thirteen. Double nineteen What's roll. What's the number? What are the numbers? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Thirteen. Twenty-two. 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 And either box. One. One. She rolled a one plus. Whatever plus. her dex Ah. Uh, so uh. The, the Allosaurus doesn't notice you, but Went notices her. Okay. And Went goes, Lady! Help me! <laughs> uh, I notch an arrow and says, Would you like me to put him out of his misery or do you think he can handle himself? <laughs> Is it supposed to be funny? Uh, no. uh, I say, uh, uh, He's I, going to give away our position soon, so either I put him out of his misery and we we'll go rescue him. I can uh, toss him a javelin, and if he dies, he dies. If he survives. If you toss a javelin, then you give away our position. That's right. I I'm, can, going to, I'm going to kill him, or we're going to save him. Uh, the I, I prepare now. If we are to put, uh, put poor what? Went out of his misery, God may the gods bless his soul. I can. Is he is he terribly important, my lady? I <laughs> can. Either box says, well, he's been with me for since I was a child. So to know then. It's, I put. Uh, I really don't want to pay his family. <clears throat> well, you well, if you look at it this way, uh, you stop if you stop paying him, and you pay his family, then you no longer continue have to pay anyone. Oh, that's true, but when I. Like, I, I, do, you know, do you know any other Wents out there? I start, I, you, I bring up. On the other hand, you could, you could you could hire from his family and have a continuing line of Wents. It's a good idea. Put him out of his misery. Uh, <laughs> do it. Uh, uh, Everyone who wants to put him out of his misery, uh, roll for attack at a disadvantage. Oh, because okay. uh, uh, I was planning to use skirmishes stealth. So at the start of my turn, I pick a creature I'm hidden from. Okay. And. I'm hidden from the creature during my turn, regardless of my actions. Or okay, actions sure. Well, it's fine. <laughs> so every, your, your, your attacks are still going to be a disadvantage because it's a tiny dude oh, okay, in the okay. mouth of a dinosaur who's probably uh, about to uh, cash in that meal now. So uh, if you're going to put him out of his misery, you'll attack at a disadvantage against this old decrepit man with with uh, missing R with missing toes and uh, feel free to attack the dinosaur itself if you if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna start this fight. I I, I honestly really think we're just gonna fight anyway, but uh, <coughs> it's just funnier this way. <coughs> oh poor oh all the wins. I will shoot when <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet nice to, nice knowing you. Uh, uh, I look at I look at uh, Madame, for her, her, uh, assurance, her, <coughs> her approval of, okay, nine, <coughs> 14, and five. plus five, as, oh, disadvantage, yes, yes. so ten. Uh, ten. ten, sorry, ten, you were going to shoot him, uh, she doesn't give away her position, right, so, uh, so you're going to wait, Oh, wait. I'm gonna wait because I can no. do the same. Okay. Uh, oh, I if... forgot to retrieve arrows from the last time. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But with all the rocking and stuff of the <laughs> ship, you probably wouldn't have found anything that's anyway. Right. I, I, oh, I hold my thing since she doesn't give it away our position anyway. How much ammo do you have left? You have 24? I'm at 34. I'm at 34. It's fine. So you didn't retrieve any arrows instead of more than me. Okay, so here's. Oh, I could have. So the Allosaurus is about. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. As, as a bonus action at the end of my turn, I have to make another stealth check to hide again. Okay. If you fulfill the conditions, you need to hide the button. Meaning that if you're hidden now, then you can still try to hide. So I have to do it again. Plus you have five. To, yeah. Ooh, no! Two plus five, seven. Okay. okay. Then I guess I fire. <laughs> fire as well. Disadvantage. <laughs> Might as well. Might yeah. as well, right? Give away her position, so. Mm. Well, not none of the nice features I use On the upside, work well. They're relatively close. <laughs> yeah, they are. Eight and nine, very close. <laughs> okay. Uh, eight. Thirteen. Thirteen. Are you gonna fire your trident? Are you, are you kidding? Okay, don't. You, you'll see the trident coming a mile away. Okay. Yeah, so this is what happens. So. What is hanging there, and the Allosaurus actually uh, hmm. lifts it up, and about and as it's about to catch, 
uh, and the arrows throw, uh, the arrows go for, uh, go a little too fast and uh, makes the Alistar's chop down. And, but unfortunately, you fired another arrow, and as Wet was falling, it hits his hand as he was falling and hit and sticks him right at the chin of the oh my God. And now Wet is dangling at the bottom of the Alistar's chin, and he's going, ah, ah, ah. More importantly, does the dinosaur notice us? <laughs> it has noticed you because the arrow did come okay. from that direction. Fuck. Sure. Let's fight. So. Let's fight, bitches. Oh, no. oh God, you guys are horrible. Uh, Professionalism. <laughs> it's the mission. It, mm, professionalism what dictates the mission both. Also first. bad roles. He, he found rules. he saw the lady. He was gonna he was gonna draw attention to us. So. Yeah, and my job is to make sure she's safe. As Fair a, enough. As a sailor She was paying me. As a military man I must make tough decisions. As a sailor, two things are a priority. The person who pays you and fixing the ship. <laughs> Everything is the mission. So if 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 uh, disposable went number five hundred and eighty six over there. <laughs> he's not even a disposable one. He's alive, reliving, breathing. <laughs> he's disposable because he has a family of wens back home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we rent them out. <laughs> or maybe uh, younger and maybe perhaps more competent. Uh. And complete limbs. Another good one. Complete limbs. All right. So the allosaurus um, set up the map. Oh, it's an uh, allosaurus. Uh, we still don't know. Well, given given how how it reacted, and now it's now the size is a little clearer to you now. It is in fact an Allosaurus. Oh. What is it now? What does an Allosaurus? It's, it's, it's like a T-Rex. So it's also carnivorous. Yeah. Well, it's about to eat went, isn't it? <laughs> so maybe, you know, maybe we shouldn't have interfered and just watched it try to eat. Wet. It's a fifty by fifty clearing. So green or grass, mm -hmm. something. Ten by ten. Get without a dinosaur. Oh, uh, I have no idea. How big would a dinosaur be? Big. Is sure. this fine? Sure. Or if you want to replace it, sure. Start off way over there. Here. Give me the lady. So, roll initiative. 20 plus 2. 22 for Oh, I get the special turn again. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, where's my. Oh, there she is. Special turn. Sound escape. It, it's proving to be 
not terrible because her actual damage output isn't super big without yeah. the bear. It's just so, me. And then the bear is only once per day, so mm. it's almost it's almost like casting Shit. a big spell Four once per day. Four plus th seven. seven. I get seven. It's but an extra, but it, it certainly is an extra move. And I think the value will be in like movement and hiding and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think we can become friends after this. Though I doubt you can be friends. This could be when. Already dead. Who's a bull zombie? Where is everyone? One sec. Okay, so when is over there? I'm probably gonna javelin that. That doesn't look like an axe right away. That was big. I've taken down whales before. They have three rages per day, so at least. Alrighty! Yeah, and safely spend a rage. No. Oh. Yeah, no, but, but I, yeah, I, I, I can spend, spend a rage. Might I borrow the box, please? Box? Yeah. Yeah, because you get to choose many enemies now. Yes. More. <laughs> Alrighty, top of the round oh, of Goliath, I... or rather. Yes, me first? The lowest. In... <laughs> the lowest, but I go first. Really, Wait, where are we? Oh, uh, you start off in, a, in that corner over there. Everyone? Yeah. Uh, based on your marching order, I would say the one at the front is uh, uh, okay. the knight. I'd go first. I will first, right? Where is the uh, lady? Alright, that's good. That's all of you? Alright. Rock faces. Uh, so go then go ahead and make your turn. Is, is there this, any terrain? Is this I would say because we were hiding uh, some point ago. I would say. If you want. What's that? A tree. These are trees. If you don't mind me using your coins. The letters of trees over there. That's the how that's how you were able to obscure yourself initially. Mm -hmm. And that's where your shot went from. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so I will... <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, as a free action, can I ask my lady, are we still putting Wen out of his misery? Uh, or do we uh, kill the dinosaur? It's part of us anyway. The dinosaur seems to be a more pressing match right now. Okay, dinosaur it is. Uh, are you going to attack or are you going to hide? Because you can't use your skirmishers stuff if you're not hidden. I'm going to attack. Are you hidden right now? Huh? Are no. You right no, now? I'm not hidden because we got... Yeah, that's why you can go behind the tree and then hide. Oh! Because then, when you're behind the tree, you can fulfill the conditions of being, oh, of being okay, hidden. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, and then I have to step check next mm. at the end. So, I move... Cover. 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 Oh, wait, here? Oh, no! At, how does skirmish stuff work? Uh, at the start of your turn, pick a creature you are hidden from. You remain hidden oh. from that creature during your turn. So you have to hide first. Regardless. And then, okay. Oh, okay, so... So you would have to use your special this special movement to hide. to hide. And afterwards, every turn afterwards, you can continue to hide. Nah. It's not even the first turn. But this is out of turn, actually. Yeah, yeah. but... I'm, okay. Of, up to you. I mean, depends on you. If you want to attack, go ahead. That's an extra attack, no matter what. But to continue to use skirmish stealth requires okay. you to be hit in the first time. Okay. No, I want to attack. <laughs> sure. Oh, what is that? that? That's 10 plus your... 15? 15! That hits. Go for damage. Ah, shit. For seven damage. Piercing. Piercing. Mm -hmm. Alright. So you hit it, you, you hit it, uh, with, uh, with Wentz still dangling by your arrows and bleeding from his arm, and, uh, you, you, you whiz another arrow right, right under his chin and then, uh, scratch, scratch his cheeks. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! And then you hit, but you still hit the Allosaurus, and the Allosaurus Damn it. roars like, Arrgh! I will move! One, two, here. 
Oh, let's go, yeah. So, I move. Um, is the end of your turn? You're not gonna do any bonuses? Should I, should I jab that? No, no, that's the same thing. Alright, let's go, yeah. Should I, should I javelin charge that or should I ask strike? Uh, do you want to occupy him or do you want. If you if you javelin. Can, I don't know. If you javelin, he can go anywhere he wants. That might be a bad idea. We have to keep uh, OP Ranger safe for now. She's a, she, her OPness is done. Unless she casts. <laughs> unless she casts Bear. Uh, that case I'll occupy it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. Okay. And then. Will you rage? I would like to rage. Okay. And then I make an attack. Shit, man. Are you raging? Yeah. What is the what? How did you hit? What what what, what is your nine? Uh, Fortunately, nine. You you try to uh, you're in base contact. You yeah. you try to stab at him, but uh, you block the Yeah, <laughs> he moves around, and then you suddenly see went dangling in front of you. Damn, you should get going. <laughs> <laughs> I will allow you to roll again. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Go right. if you keep going. It doesn't matter. Guarantee. Went getting hit. Okay, yeah. but it doesn't matter because the point of getting went in the first place was to keep him from discovering us. But we're discovered, so now it doesn't matter to kill him. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, uh, free action. I shout the went. Make as much noise as you can. Maybe if you distract it long enough, we can kill it. <laughs> as you could barely hear yourself from whence. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> According to plan. Oh, according to plan. <laughs> Even though Wendy didn't hear a thing. Keep it up, Wendy. You're doing great there, buddy. <laughs> Alrighty, so. He's is... shouting so loud. Is he technically deaf in one ear? The <laughs> 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 dinosaur. So, uh, that might help stuff. That might help stuff. <laughs> you. So you. You tell, you tell what off, and then. Uh, from. You from where you're at. You, you can actually all of you can hear. Oh no! But uh, other than that, nothing much. Now it's the Arsor's turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, can I use Went to block? <laughs> How? When it comes down to bite, I grab Went by the legs and then toss it in the mouth. But this thing rolls a one. <laughs> <laughs> this thing rolls a one. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Wend has been persecuted since Dark Heresy two years ago. No. <laughs> hey, I started let me it. have my turn back. <laughs> I started it, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's just the prime. Wend was just a simple NPC up until, up until <laughs> Lanny <think> was born. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Lanny. So, uh, Lanny's system. Use them as a body shield. It tries to bite yeah. you, but it realized that Wend hanging, th hanging there is kind of awkward, so it just tries to claw it instead. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> no, it's thanking! <laughs> oh, what is your AC? 16. Okay. It tries to hack at you, but it's missing with went in there, so... And also it's arms are tiny. <laughs> Alistair's arms are normal. Oh, okay, yeah. it's not so you, you, you just right there, it's... Uh, <laughs> I was more in danger from Wendt's foot. <laughs> uh, uh, off topic, I'm actually bringing Lanny in. You're DMing. Oh. Please give me a Wendt. Gotcha. Please give me a servant. I got you. Wait. I got you. She's an Arcane J. I got you. So you're the unseen servant as one of your kanji? Oh, is it, is, is it spell? No, 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 no. no. I she want a real oh, okay. person to attend to me. Oh, take. Take the nobility. Yeah, I, that's what I was And then the the servant. No, but it says that the servants leave if they get in danger and stuff. No, if you endanger them continuously, they leave. Oh, but I just want new hire, new hire, new hire. New hire. hire. Uh, I want <laughs> nephew. 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 What are you gonna do against the allosaurus okay. and wait? Uh, I <laughs> wait. No, no, just rephrase that question again. What are you gonna do against the allosaurus and went? <laughs> I position myself behind the tree and I call the shadows to myself. Uh, the two hands? No, I cast uh, Mage Armor. Ooh, okay. So your AC will now be 16. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, shite. Your AC was, is 15, correct? 14, normally. No, I mean, uh, uh Skull Yaf? 16 uh, also. 16. Okay. Thank you, Spiky Armor! Alrighty, so, do you do anything else after that? Uh, I've got no bonus action, so... No bonuses, got it. Denai, what do you want to do? Do you want to continue on your murdering spree against an old man? Oh, I used my interaction. Oh no, I already had my ball <laughs> yeah. out, so never mind. Uh, Keep counting your arrows. Yeah, I'm counting. I... Uh, yeah, I'm Where is... 
How many hours do you have this morning? I, I didn't shoot any of the ship, nope. so I'm just, I'm 119 I, right I, now, I, I because I shot one of them. I forgot to repeat. So what do, you, what do you want to do? You have 24 hours left. Uh, keep shooting, keep firing arrows. Okay. That's still covered? Uh, where is, is he here? Is he still covered because he's huge? Oh, yeah. Where is it, where is it here? Okay. Sorry. I'll say he has cover right now because of what? Okay. Oh, even if I move? Yeah, to like up another side of him. However, if he, if Went wasn't there, even if uh, Goliath was there, uh, or was Goliath was there. So regardless of if I move, there's move this cover. way. You can move in the other direction right here if you want. Three. If you can reach it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd say that's a clear shot. Six, seven, uh, yeah. Seven. One more down. That's a clear shot. That there? Because Went is dangling in front of. Uh, oh, here. So Went's like here? Yeah, in front of Goli. Uh, Osgoliath. So, okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm going to shoot him. Attack? Yep. Ow! You know, one day. Eight? You know, one day I'm going to make a Went for, uh, for a campaign. Yeah, it, that's, that's it. Unfortunately, uh, it just whizzes past. Uh, okay. I'm over it. Do you do anything after? Um, you know, at one point, uh, I'm just going to make a Went for one of the campaigns. Oh, uh, when? Adventures? Mm -hmm. Too far to hide. No, I'm... Is it seems like there will be someone going. Yeah, they're going to be taking away a wizard with nothing but utility spells. Exactly. Or... So it's just an old dude that just helps Wait, people along. Like, like, I, I cast mage armor and I cast magic. Well, I cast magic. But none of it's actually for him. Wait, you recover half of the arrows? I cast good berry for the part. <laughs> You're at 23? Okay. I'm trying to come back. Yeah, I'm counting now, so I know how much we're going to do. What's going on? What are you... It's your top of the round. Ah! Uh, double attacks. Yeah, double attacks, double attacks. You're raging, yes? Yep. Yes. So hungry. Yeah. Very nice. That's uh, an 18. Plus 5. Yeah, 23. Second attack. Uh-huh. Oops. Very nice. Both hit. Wow. Uh, so it's a D4 nice. plus 5 and a D12 plus 5. Got it. So, so plus 10 to this one. Woo! 4 and a 5. <laughs> wow. 10. Uh, 19. 19 damage. Very nice. Uh, wow. I. I'm beginning, I'm beginning to see the strength in the bonus attack. I was thinking. <laughs> It's just a bonus attack. What makes it so special? Because it's, it's, like, it, it's, it's a plus five. It's, it's a plus, plus six, six base. Yeah. It's a plus six. As your modifiers. <laughs> so it, it is actually not. It's actually pretty damn good because you have the normal barbarian strike, and then every round is a plus six. You uh, you manage to gut it right here. Uh, all three prongs hit, it, and then just ram it in deeper. Uh, and uh, what is uh, being splattered by all this blood from from the torso down? <laughs> And then uh oh, I didn't in retaliation in retaliation we can try to attack you. Uh with its claws. Yeah. 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 It's an attack roll against your AC. And then you uh Oh what? Did you AC 16? Mm -hmm. Wow, you are lucky. Okay, so 15. with all that injury it tries to slip at you but it just was uh whizzes past your beard again. And uh I'm starting to think I should shave it off. <laughs> you got this. Oh me. Um I'll uh come out. Can I make a do I have a clear shot or do I have to go all the way down here? Mm, I would say you would have to go all the way to get the clear shot because it went. Damn it went. Damn it went. <laughs> Uh, As a free action, uh, Eiderbach says, uh, For crying out loud, when can you get down from there? What a bit! He says, My lady, in a bit! <laughs> I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm going to uh, reach out mm -hmm. with, with my hand, and uh, it begins to coalesce shadows. Okay. And a mirrored shadow hand comes up uh, beside Went, and I'm gonna try to pull the arrow out from him that's fitting into the dance room. Okay. Uh, do you need, uh, oh, that's uh, that's an ability of the hand thing. Mage hand. Okay. Oh, mage, oh, mage hand. hand. You're gonna pull the arrows. Uh, I'm just gonna pull the arrow that's spinning him. No need. Uh, that is a. Uh, 
probably less than 10 pounds you need to pull for that. Uh, you pull it up, <laughs> and then he falls. So where is he now? Uh, right in front, right there. Here? Yep, and he is now prone in front of the Alps. <laughs> oh, nice! If he, if he dies after this, you know, we tried to kill him the first time, so really it's... Deny! Zero sum game. No, me again. Yeah. It's gonna suck if he's still alive, because we're gonna drag him along while we're doing stuff. That's fine. Just five. Wow. Twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. Damage. Twenty-two. Seven, eight, ten. Ten piercing damage. Wow, very nice. We finally hit it. You hit it. You, know, you hit it again, but the, uh, and this time it's right underneath the throat. The, oh. the gut. <laughs> and then. Uh, it's bleeding out really bad, it's looking really woozy, and uh, it uh, feels probably going to go down a bit. However, at the top, uh, that buzzing here is getting really loud. Can I tell what it is? No, yes. You can, can we tell the direction? Yeah. Uh, you can certainly know right about now. So it flies in here, in this golden... But this time, it's actually a cute thing. A what? A cute, cute thing. Oh! Do I know about monodromes? Um, given your technological background, you know that this is in fact a go go. Go go. What is that? It's two, two I, monodromes. Uh, the more. Oh, so I know about monodromes? I know about. You the know about the constructs, yes. Okay. Uh, the more angles they have, the greater the number. Right, so monodrome, duo drone, and then spectrodrome. Mm. Uh, dry and okay. then the higher it so goes, they're polygons. Yeah. Ah. and then the higher it goes, the more intelligent they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So what is this? A cube? However, it's still Osgoliath's turn. Osgoliath. Oh, he attacked twice, and then I think he's done. Okay. Oh, I'm done. Oh, oh, wait. You want to maneuver yourself over to the other side? Sure. To try and intercept. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's only got five. Oh, five. That's right. Oh, do you want to go around? Oh, no. one, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so you're gonna roll for that? Hmm? Are you gonna roll or? Oh, uh, was Goliath? Uh, oh, was Goliath is going to? Uh, Abby, are you attacking uh, the newcomer or the dinosaur skill? It's your turn again, I think. You're top of the round. You want to just take down the dinosaur and then see where we go from there? Yeah. Because he might be. He's on, the off chan on the off chance that the that the door drum is not gonna hurt us. You're just there to be threatening. Oh nice. You think for the other one? Um I'll make the attack first and then for the other one. Okay. Uh, just in, yeah, just in case I but it feels so satisfying to roll two guns. Oh, in yeah. case you kill him? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Nine, uh, nine. 14. 14? Alright. Do I kill it? How do you want to do it? Oh, oh. excellent. Sure. Single hand, you basically single handedly. Yeah. A yeah. couple of shots for you. Um. Trident through all the way through the summer. Pull the trident, uh, you put the trident in there and then uh, drag. The drag, you actually run a few feet forward. No, and no, you, he puts it in here and then yeah. he drags it over. No, other way, uh, other way, other way. Has to step on one. Has to step on one. No, you can't make it. We already completed the movement. You oh. can't make it all wait, the way. Wait, wait, wait. You can make it all the way here. Wait, okay. one, one, two, three, four, five. No, diagonal first. Uh, oh, oh, diagonal one. one. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. You stab it and then you run and then you actually disembowel it and it's all these entrails and stuff are falling out and you just crumples into a heap. You still have one, one more attack, what are you going to do? Uh, punch we, the monodrome? We don't know if it's hot. It hasn't been hostile yet. I can, but you can't ready a bonus action. But you can't ready a bonus action. So it's up to you. Uh, You've already made your attack, so your rage is not going to turn off anytime soon. I guess I'll take a defensive stance. Yeah. Not, not like it does anything, but I'll take a defensive stance. Are you going to talk to it? Uh, I free action. Uh, as a free action, I call back and ask you what I should specifically say to Duodro. Uh, you and either Bach, you know about Duodro. Do I know anything about its disposition at the moment? 
Um, make, make a weird inside check on the robot. What we'll constitutes a weird inside check? I I roll a d20, then lick it. Okay, got it. Hyderabad will also roll inside three dice. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, it's not showing any signs right now. But and then Hyderabad uh, from behind uh, tells you, uh, uh, drones are usually preoccupied with one directive and one directive only. So if it's here to kill us, uh, I don't think there's any convincing it. But it doesn't seem to be moving or anything. Uh, that being the case. I guess I hold my hands above my head. Okay. Just like to show that I'm not gonna do anything stupid. So uh <laughs> this thing just uh just looks at you. You hear it? I keep my uh, it just looks at you I I say I mean no uh, harm. Okay. It just looks at you. And then it's And after that, another one comes in. Oh, this one, it's a shinier version of what you saw a while ago, the ball thing. That's right here. Uh, you this? What are you going to do? <coughs> uh, does it look like they're swarming for an attack? <coughs> uh, we can have the inside for It might be. 22. It seems like it'll. It's, it's waiting for you to cross some sort of boundary. I see. Boundary location, boundary action. Boundary location. Like if you cross that particular line, it's probably gonna go hostile. But, uh, is that uh, is, uh, from what can I tell? Is it is uh, is it the direction that we're headed? Oh, definitely. Then we're gonna have to wait. How about we wait until all of us are in proper position and then I'm sure. Mm, I feel like this is gonna keep them. And don't you get that? Do you want to convey this? I am going to. Iron Box shouts. So. I know, I know! Oh, you, wait, have you conveyed it to the party? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I say. Uh, uh, they're border guardians of some sort. Uh, let me see. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, so we went beyond the boundary and we run to the direction of the ruins, yes? That's actually a pretty good idea. Wait, uh, so the boundary is not in the direction of the ruins? No, I mean, it's still in the direction of the ruins, but at least it must be went very really slow. Well, that's what she's suggesting. That's what Eiderbach is suggesting. Uh, Sacrifice what? Like we already meant to do? How is Went doing? Went, go be a deer, and will you please go there? Uh, what does Wednesday? say? What does Wen do? What does Wen uh, Are you ending your turn? What does Wen say? He's just moaning, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> ah, this is too much trouble, just, uh, we should just wipe him out. Okay. Uh, I am in, so I'm just gonna pop out and see what an attack does. Uh, do I just, like, get out on the ground? Uh, no, I'm attacking the other one, you too, Actually, I think it's still up to the top of the I attacked the one that you're in. Uh, okay, uh, this one's holding a spear. This one's holding a bunch of javelins on it, and it can fly. Javelins can fly. Uh, how much tree cover do I have over here? Um, Certain leaves and branches and stuff. Would you say that I am partially or heavily obscured if it flies? Oh, definitely. It has to be in low ground to be able to hit you okay. properly. Then I will uh, shoot at the one that uh, you're next to. Or either I would say behind that coin line. Sure. Because this is a clearing. Okay. I'm going to shoot at the one that you're next to. Mm -hmm. Wow! Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh. Just roll for damage. It's just an arrow. But it's a nat arrow. But it's a natural It's a nat 20 arrow. arrow. Is that the duodrome? Uh, the one that he's next to. Uh, That's actually 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12. Like what 12 do you damage. call the spear ones? One of them. It's only one oh. side. Alright, how much damage? Uh, 12. 12 damage. Very nice. 
Hello. So, uh, I back into a tree. Bonus attacks are the reason why I always make you really hard this. So it so you shoot it, given that you read up on uh, drones, you know exactly where uh, you, this one has because it's being rusted in, and rusted and weathered, it's exposed pretty well. And you shoot that particular spot and it just breaks apart. Oh, oh nice. cool. And death. Free you up. Nice. Nice. I guess I'll take care of the other one. And now it is uh, that thing's turn and it can, is going to attack at the nearest thing. Can which I can, if, is if, if it's javelins or if it's dead, can I think it's javelins? Mm, sure. Can I in fact, can I wear its armor? <laughs> its skin is armor. In fact, the thing that, that was torn apart, the bits and pieces, they're disintegrating. And it's only leaving that spear line. Okay. Well, this thing, spear. This thing oh, uh, is going to, it's going to attack you. Uh, the Nahi. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What is your AC? You have 15. 15 AC. Oh, I did equip my shield. Oh, you have shield? I have shield. I have shield and rapier. Oh. Only if you're melee. Yeah. Well, just in case I really run out of arrows. You know what I realized? It would be the dumbest thing to do to my character if I want to have fun with it. No, it would just you. Oh, And then hey. shield ground with my... Throw something and uh, <coughs> just land at your feet. Oh, okay. Oh. Now it is your turn. What are these things? Your turn. Uh, me? I so before that... Oh, okay. The boom. One of them is just running. Running? It's, it's a monogram. With a dagger. Okay. Running at boom. You. Really? <laughs> your turn. Uh, oh, my turn. It's free action. I shout, What are these things? And I run back. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Oh, sorry. Attack. Yeah, attack. I'll attack. Which uh, one? You want to shot you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, Oof. Uh, that's uh, a seven. seven. It just, uh, it was at a really wrong angle and it just uh, bounces off of it. It's circular, right? Yep. Let's close it. Uh, uh Bratis, your turn. Oh, sorry. Top of the room. Let's go after. Yes, uh, wait, no. For that. I'm gonna change the shorts. Since you're too hot. This one flies in. But this one is, you know it as a... Quadrone. What? Quadrone. Four sides. The oh, but it looks smartest. really, really weathered and rusty. Oh, okay. An old quadro. Oh, where's the four sided? Yeah, look at it. Four. Two. Oh, wait, no. But that would be a six sided. One, two. I think it only counts the points. Oh, oh quadro. Oh, oh, like a cube? Yeah, it's a cube. <laughs> Sorry, I <ain't. laughs> Oh, the damn auto rotate! Damn auto rotate! No, because a four sided one would be a D4, it would be this one. There. It's okay. There's one like Twizzlers. Okay, okay. <gasps> oh. This is Twizzlers and Skinny Candy. But I hate Twizzlers. Yeah. Wait, what are Twizzlers? They're licorice. I hate licorice. Oh, oh what's going on? Stop it around. No, there okay. are. How does it taste like? There are three enemies left on the field. Um, I'll take I'll take a strike at the drone. Can you see you? I hate Twizzlers. I hate Twizzlers. I'll take a circuit at the one in front of me. Okay. What time is the pizza arriving? 19 plus 5, 24. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, my guys are shooting you. You notice that like, it slid at the last second? <laughs> that was supposed to be like a 13. One second, 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 second. Ah. Which one are you attacking? The one in front of you? Yep, yep. Oh no, my lady, she fell. If you want something different than a Marcos, like the spices. Alrighty. Roll for damage. Uh, yeah. I believe that's the one with a dagger. Yeah. Twelve plus five, seven. Oh, oh, damn it. Uh. Your rose is so good today. No. <laughs> you're, yes. sucking all, you're sucking all the luck from her. <laughs> that's it, yeah. 
As if that's real, but sure. Uh, you want to yeah. search instead? I am rolling badly all the time. Uh, yeah, I do 17 to it. That's it, it's dead. We just, uh, we just got it to bits and, uh, and then one. one? This one? Uh, yeah, I'll pick them up, I'll, I'll, I'll pick them up later. One, two, three, and then bonus, uh, bonus attack on Javelin Dude. Javelin Dude. Oh! Conversely, oh. that's a one. Yeah, no, Fearfix dice are like treating me terribly. Right, so Unless they're damage rolls. That was from the, that was from the butt end of your, uh, yeah. Here, try this. It's I don't like the taste, but you might enjoy it. I'll say you deal. Uh, you hit it, but uh, you deal one damage, but you're stuck. Ah, it's stuck in me. That's fine. Wait, so your it's your yeah. fist that's stuck in it. It's my fist that's stuck in it. Yeah, your fist is stuck in it. Now you you can't attack with uh, until you break that up. Ah, it'll be fine. Uh, that is. Twizzler or cinnamon candy? Nothing. Twizzler? No, no, not this thing. Swedish fish? Whatever that thing he gave me. Uh, I think there's Pot one. tamales. Muy caliente. You want that one? No, we're gonna we're gonna pass it around to taste it. I tried it. Uh, it's, it's spicy cinnamon, so... Oh, and no, I, I'm not gonna try it. Unique? <laughs> it's how it, I would describe it? It tastes weird. Here, Swedish fish. This don't want Alright, um, brothers. Mm. They have the fish thing. Uh, like there's no more. Oh, <laughs> really? Right? It's weird. Yeah, it tastes weird, doesn't it? I pop out. I shoot out another arrow at the quadron. Mm-hmm. Quadron. Okay. Wait, this one? No, that's the duo. That's the mon- quadron. Oh, right. Mm. You know what you know about quadrons? They have a. They are particularly uh tough armor and they fly around quite a bit in spite of his weather state. They what? They fly around quite a bit in spite of his weather state. They can state. run? They, they fly around quite a bit. It tastes really strange. I've it had does. cinnamon candy before. That one tastes like straight up mothballs. Oh, mothballs. Have you ever put mothballs in your mouth? That's what it tastes like. I've never put mothballs. Alright, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, <coughs> I'm just gonna take a shot at it. Oh, no? mm-hmm. Alright, got it. Ooh! Right. Wow! Very nice. Right. Oh, for 23. And then I'll, I'll duck back in. 18. Oh! <laughs> 4. 4 down. Shadow dice, so nice. All right, so you hit it, and uh, it hits one. Of, it hits a, it's uh, its front face. And it's stuck oh, there. I haven't been using. And, uh, you see some damage, but uh, it's hanging in there. Did you have a mind off moment? Kind of. Now, what does it mean if you can hide hide while lightly obscured by natural phenomena? But if I, so, I now, in, now. Um, oh, you're in base contact with him. <laughs> I forgot. He will roll this event. Oh, you're stuck with him. Mm-hmm. So he will try to stab you instead with his uh... javelin. Mm-hmm. So I can have javelins, tridents, daggers, all sorts of things. Uh, there's 70 hit. Ah, uh, that hits. Okay. Are you reaching? Yep. Oh, sizable. What? Nice. Oh my god, that hurts so much. You need a heal? Yeah. I, think so. I don't think I can improve my potion. I, I think I'll, I've got to. I'll use one more potion. Alrighty. Uh, it is now the Quadron's turn. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, shit. This is gonna, shit. This is gonna be really bad. Uh, ah. Okay. Okay. You want Starburst kids? Oh, Starburst kid. Two. Who are you shooting at? Uh, muscle death. Uh, 16 to hit. Uh, 16 to hit. Yeah. Hits. Hits. Uh, here's something to get the tamale out of your tongue. Got the hit. Miss. Miss. 
with that cherry flavored stuff. Okay. So two hits. That's a cutella. Okay. It's like uh, hard and chewy. Yep. I don't know why. Take, uh, like this is five one. damage. Uh, uh, the quarter is really, really fast, and uh, every time, and uh, it actually, it actually fired four arrows at you. It doesn't even hit you. Oh. All right. Oh, so yeah, it's your turn. Uh, You're still stuck in the uh, mongrel. Trying to move to its face. Alright, go for, uh, for that. Oh, not good. Look at that. Two, two. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll try another one with my spike hand. Uh, make a... Make a... Actually, can I make a strength? You can, make a, you can make a strength check to get out of it. Okay, sure. Advantage. Uh, advantage? Because in rage? Raging? Sure. That's good. Yeah. Alright, so uh I'll say the, the even the act of pulling it out is already a strength in the parts. You deal uh three is normal spike. This is normal piercing one, right? Mm -hmm. What what? His three. grapple his grapple damage that was automatic, it's three. Alright, yeah. I'll say it's three. Grab a star burst again. Alright, uh I like it. Okay, yeah. Brothers? Stop. Uh, me? Mm -hmm. Uh... I'll peek out. Uh, fire another one at the quad drone. Okay. Only a 12. Well, uh, according to it's not hit. Very now the Mardrone, we're going to have to stop you again, no school there. Okay. Nope, that does not hit. Just dodge out of the way. Uh, what is the thing to get the fuck out of dodge? Right here. Okay, now you. Oh wait, what? Uh, well, who is this? Cube? Mm -hmm. Okay, shoot the cube. Attack! Woohoo! Not good. Yeah! Oh my god. Finally! Six on first damage. Six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Eleven total? Yeah, eleven total. Due to its again, due to its weathered state uh, and all the number of flakes it's uh, it's being hit by with uh, with uh, with Brad's arrows, you see a weakness, you see a weak spot, and you hit it, and it just oh done. Yeah. Bits. Oh nice. And it starts to disintegrate, and it drops its arrows, and then he goes. Yeah, the monster with it. Its bow, its short bow, and 19 arrows. <gasps> oh hey. Oh sorry, no, five, four times, 16 arrows. You're gonna have to race me. Okay. okay. <laughs> I get the javelin and daggers though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it's split. Uh, but do the short bow. Oh yeah, I'll go around. Use the same kind of arrows. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna right. attack. He dropped the short bow. Oh my hmm? god, what's on my roll? That's that? not one. Oof. Oh god. With the javelin. The javelin gets stuck again. You stabbed it, and uh, but not. Deep enough to get stuck, but not deep enough to cause significant damage. But See, this would be funny if it was a person. <laughs> yeah, give it a one. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this one by accidental damage. Right, I still have another attack. Oh, okay. Uh, is that with your gunplay? It rolls a two. I, I don't know why all of my attacks on the... Because you're making up for all your... Uh, yeah, well, getting constant 12s is pretty damn lucky to begin with. Alright, the breath is going. This thing is looking really... It's barely, uh, barely intact. Well, I, I, shout, I shout for fun. Hey, I'm Bratis! And I left the... Uh, I left the trident up. Like a target. Take. <laughs> An attack. While blocking. Your view. 
<laughs> sure. <laughs> it's like, hey! <laughs> ha! Whoa! Crap! Even you? Yeah, not one. <laughs> not one? And I go back at the cover. <laughs> Shit, guys. Uh, no, no, we're, we're prolonging for tension. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. For dramatic tension. Oh, uh, what did you get? Right, you, because of your not one, uh, you incorrectly angled your arm when you fired, so the so the uh, the string actually hits you hard here. Okay. Uh, okay nice. Oh, is this the spicy one? Yeah. <laughs> it hits you hard there, and uh, say you take one damage from it. Okay. Rather than give you a disadvantage. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, it is now the clean, the monodrome's uh, turn. He's stuck. He's gonna try and attack you again. Even though it's stuck, he's gonna try and stab you. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like... And that's an at 20. Uh, oh, wow. Ouch. So I was goofing around the pit. Oh, fuck. Uh, 8 damage. Well, how do you? Uh, Dagger's a d4, right? No, that's Gavin. He goes in seven. He gets six damage. Oh, wow. He got max damage, but thanks to your rage. Wow. Wow, twelve. Thirteen. Actually. Two twelves. The two sixes. Plus whatever his modifier is. <laughs> uh, denied. I. Attack. I lift it up again and go. Hey, come on, come on. Attack. Uh, in spear. Uh, seven, another two, oh. seven. Jeez, guys. Jeez, jeez, jeez. What's going on? Make a strength check to get your uh, trident out of it. Spending so many arrows. I'm gonna roll the the, the orange. Oh one. wait, no. Oh. No, yeah. Strength check. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, what happened? It's an eight. It's an eight. Total? total? No. And yes. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, it's a strength check. Oh, check. Oh. Advantage, isn't it? You're aging. You're oh, yeah. aging. Okay. That's better. It's a 15. Okay, so you kick it out, and then you pull it out, and then you still have your bonus. Uh, I'll make the attack. Okay, yeah. 15. 15. Now, look for damage. Wow! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yes, guys. How okay. do you want to do this? Okay, this. Is I was the... about to just run up and <laughs> just shocking grasp. But... <laughs> 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 it would have been an advantage. Anyway, it's made of metal, so it's like it's uh, taking too long. And it's stride over, zap, die. <laughs> it was still stuck in the trident, right? <laughs> so the way I removed from the trident after it stabbed me is like, okay, enough playtime. <laughs> I just grab it. Uh, I, I bash it with the I bash it with the spike gauntlet into the trident so it goes all the way through. All right, finally. Nice. Okay, I will retrieve my arrows. <laughs> Tough okay. fight, guys. Oh Woo! my god. Tough fight. Considering we took retrieve all my arrows and the arrows of the enemy. Hey, I also want the short. I I, I just grabbed the opposing do, do. Well, the opposing oh, forces javelin and daggers. You get uh, um, down. Round down? Or if it's like a Sorry, one point five? Mm. 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. 19 javelins? Holy crap! Why did he get so many damn javelins? <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't shoot because it, it kept getting stuck with this guy. <laughs> nice. No, because I start with four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, players, players start with four. It's the only thing it's got on this side. <laughs> Oh. There are 16 arrows left for the um, short for the bow. Quadrone. Short and bow. And the short bow, yes. Uh, does, do they use? Uh, do they do short bows and long bows use the same kind of arrow? Yeah. How so many arrows? Split. 16. They split. Uh, miss, uh, sir, would you like to split? Eight for me. Eight for you. Uh, eight. Does arrow. anyone else want the daggers? Sure. Why not? Sure. Okay. Does anyone else want the daggers? Dagger. I've got two. Uh, do you have daggers? No, I don't have daggers. Uh, give her but I have a rapier. You need you need a backup weapon. Plus daggers are balanced, so you can toss them. Where's our eraser? Oh, oh, sorry. Where is it? 
I have no idea. Where is this? How are you liking your classes so far? Uh, uh, I think I'm starting to see the strength of this one and, uh, and the reason some people are arguing that it's not super OP on the other side. It's not. What about your sorcerer? You finally get to do those uh, sorcery points a while ago. Sorcery points are amazing. That's fine, guys. It is. First time I've seen it. It was like, oh shit, it's awesome. Yeah. Twin spell. You can twin spell uh, the Maximilian Hand. It's really good. I haven't reached the full potential yet. Of it. Uh, oh God! Don't steal the name. No racer whatsoever. I I, I don't know. Uh, you think the cat accidentally took it? No, it was it was here on the table. Oh no! Okay, okay. I remember we were using it. Okay. Wait, how many arrows did we get with it? You. The sixteen, 16 arrows. arrows. So we can split eight 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 eight. eight. We okay. get eight. Go. Uh, eight. Denying, what's your current health? 32. Grab this, I think you got one damage while ago. Yeah. I'm at. Well, yeah, you're at 26. Yep. Sorcerers are actually They're not more. bad if you're not in the fucking middle of combat. I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I've had previously bad experiences with sorcerers because. It was, I mean, it was our next best thing to melee sorcerer. Did I have your AC? Uh, me? 15. 15. And we got this is 16. 16. Uh, or, uh, yeah, your, your major armor your major is still up. Yeah. Should I potion? No, no, no. Oh, wait, hold. 26. 26. 26. Uh, if you take, uh, how much health do you have to regain? Uh, max. 9. Nine. Roll the hit die. That's one hit die because you're gone. So three. Uh, I can roll the hit die. If you did Oh, let's go there. I think you're at twenty-three health. Yeah. Ah, uh, twenty-three health. Yeah. Then I'm lacking. Yeah, yeah I'm lacking twelve health. Oh, so we can go ahead and take a rest. Yeah, should we should we take an hour break? We can can we salvage the T Rex for the edible parts? It's strength based. What are you gonna get? Uh, so are you are gonna take a short rest? Yeah, so that we can we can salvage the T Rex for meat. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh, so the ranger can actually forage more. Yeah. Also, uh. Okay. Short rest. Or well, I was I did say I would try to forage more traveling. Did I get anything or? No, no, that's what I'm scouting, right? Alright, okay. So, what can I... Uh, what are we doing in the... See, that's, this so, is the uh, the battle is over. You, you're, uh, you're, you've got uh, Allosaurus carcass over there. But the parts from the uh, drones have all but disintegrated. And, uh, or, all the drones have disintegrated at this point. Can I run my dice? Uh, we're taking a short rest, so go ahead. Yeah. It's a... Uh, oh my gosh. Sun is setting. Oh my... What? It's working on the show. Yeah, go ahead. The sun is setting now, and uh... It's getting a little dark. And uh... When still miraculously alive, uh, walks up to uh... Hyderbach and says, I'm back. I'm really, like, completely over here. Missing an ear... Missing both ears, you notice? Someone just helped him. And uh, missing... And, He's, bare, he's walking with a limp, but now there are like bite marks on his back, lower back and his thighs, and uh, he just looks really fucked up. Maybe if he just... I, I say, uh, my lady, it'll be more of a detriment than a, than a help at this point. I say, uh, send him back. Is it a little night? Why not? <laughs> no, he can rest with us uh, for now if we're, if we're taking... Uh, if, if you propose a camp uh, at this moment, then uh, he can stay with us. But if we're continuing to move uh, during this during nightfall, then he might as well uh, continue I'm, backwards. I'm not particularly keen on staying any longer here, but if you feel you need to rest for longer, uh, why not? If we camp out for the night in the morning, my lady, it might be easier for us. So are you going to take a long rest? It's not particularly... I'm not particularly drained. I can keep going. 
Yeah, but me too. I'm a person. I'm good. But, but I can go. But when can go with? Yeah. When? Um, it maybe it would be better if you went back to the ship. I mean, well, it is dark and might be full of terrors out there, but... <laughs> well, it's dark and full of terrors. <laughs> exactly, but... Uh, but I, I'm just saying that we went, we'll just be in danger if we carry on with him. So, uh... What are you suggesting? He goes back or he gets eaten? Uh, also, so if we if you see that, uh, like, oh no, not again. Are you suggesting he comes with us? Uh, wait, wait. Um, no, I'm not suggesting he comes with us. Uh, are we camping? Already? Not yet. I don't need to. No, uh, he could stand to you. I could stand to get back my health. You could take another hit that if you wanted to. But then it takes a full day to generate one. I got three, so I'm down to two now. Yeah. If I take another one, I won't be able to. If I'm not passing on Kitai the next day, I won't be able to get back. That's true, but you also won't be spending Kitai in battle. That's true. If, we're, if we intend to push forward, I'll hit dice now. If uh, Basically, if we intend to push forward, give me another hour to rest. How far have we traveled? How far have we traveled? How far have we traveled? If you go forward, you'll reach it. What? If you go, if you go in a, you'll reach it within the day. Mm. Well, well we're, we're almost. Uh, I think we are almost at. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and take your hit die. I'll the supply ruins. you with the potion. Okay, then. Well, you just need one good roll and you hit die, actually. I know. The thing is, one good roll is hard to come by. Especially with the cards. There are 11 other numbers in there. You were saying? <laughs> so we are almost there. Uh, we're very close. We are we're quite close. Six, seven. So, eight. Good. Okay. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll, we'll, continue. Continue. we'll continue on at night. All right. So yeah. uh, is the but, lady particularly hindered by uh, but, by but darkness? Uh, she can't see you. Mm -hmm. Pitch black. I offer her a strand. I take out twenty feet of uh, ten feet of uh, silk rope. And I offer that uh, one of us hang on to one end and the other one on to the other. I will, I will uh, travel behind her to steer her. I will, I will talk, I will take Wendt aside and I'll say, Dear man, uh, so it, I'm giving you two options. We are pressing forward uh, to reach our destination. It is, uh, it is of the utmost importance that we, we bring back a reactor as soon as possible. Now, uh, you and you alone can can, uh, can dictate uh, how much more punishment your body can take and if you will, be up, you will be up to the dangers we are about to face. If you wish to, to travel back or camp here for the night, we can leave you plenty of dinosaur meat rations. Uh, and you can camp here and head back in the morning. Otherwise, you can come with us, but I warn you, do not hinder us. Maybe I don't bark if you don't need my help. She said, Oh, you can go back. Okay, uh, who need the food? I'm vegetarian. Uh, uh, sure, it'd be terribly ironic. <laughs> now that you mention it, uh, I guess I'll take a more, sir. Just this one time. I, uh. I take a dagger out and I slice off. Uh, of meat and I just toss it to the stomach. On went? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of went. And I toss it to the dead dinosaur. No, the other way around, obviously. Uh, and then we... we oh, are we forging the dead dinosaur? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, what, what, I what do I roll for? Uh, yeah, and then we're roll... Okay, nature check? Nature? Oh. oh, is it nature? But... Survival. Survival, yes. Oh, oh, survival. Technically, we're getting... Okay, survival. I always stick to rations and survival. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. You, in your effort to, uh, to get the edible parts, you actually destroyed some of it, but you managed to get like a day's worth of rations. One day? Yeah. So I... So I uh, a day's worth of Allosaurus meat. 
Okay, so I for get each into of us it. Or just for her. Oh, just for you. Oh, I was. You can, you can choose to keep it. You can send it back to the ship. Wait, is Went I? It went, regardless of whether Went uses it or not. Regardless of whether Went dies along the way. Yeah. Wait, Went doesn't have food. Doesn't have food, and he's missing more fingers than. He's oh, Went. I'm um, sorry. He's this vegetarian. Is all, this is all we can get, Went. <laughs> Eat. You will have to hunt for some plants. <laughs> when only o nature only lets food's food's the strongest food? survive. Why are you me? eating my food's food? Why is everyone mean to it? I don't mean mean to it. I'm being realistic. I also be realistic. If it doesn't eat, he's going to die. Well, if you can survive one day. Okay, when if you're not going to eat the allosaurus meat, then please, please take, it, take it, the... it back to the ship. They could use one more day. One one more day's ration of food, but if you get really hungry, then it's your choice. Please, maybe just a morsel. Yes. Then, yes. then he actually eats it in front of you, uncooked. Uh, but it's and not then, cooked uh, yet. And he said, oh, oh. But are you going to add meat before one? You're supposed not to cook a, it first. Okay. We're gonna be sick tomorrow. Not a very, not a very bright lad. <laughs> you're supposed to cook it first. <laughs> he looks old, but he's actually just like twenty. <laughs> From all the abuse. <laughs> From all the abuse. Yes. It's this, it's we this. Uh, we forge onwards. So uh, Bye, it's, it's it's fairly dark and when is going the other direction in pitch black darkness. I told him to camp, but what the heck? Whatever. <laughs> it's him. Uh, oh, does he? Does, did he have any implements on him? Uh, you can't tell at the moment. If he's gonna keep going on, I just hand him a torch and say, make yourself a target. <laughs> and then. Uh, I lose one torch. <laughs> okay, I also give with. Okay, here's another torch. How long does one torch last? An hour. I, one hour. One hour. Alright, so I give him another torch, so he has two torches now. And I'm I not gonna hand him a torch, by the way, torches. I don't know. We, we forge onwards, however, I'm changing the marching order so that I'm behind uh, the back. I back so that she doesn't get lost. I'll take, I'll take uh, front to the front. Okay. Do you guys want to light? Our way because uh, we can still see, but it's a disadvantage of presenting it. Uh, that might be. It might be best if we actually have but a torch. We'll be like, wait, we'll make ourselves. Stuck I know. In. That's that's the thing. Do you want? We can still see. It's just that it's okay. harder to see. You, you proceed on. Uh, right now, you're talking in a hushed tone, it's and you see, you see the, you see the distance that pinprick of light from went, and you hear overhead. Pssst. That's it. <laughs> it was uh, very useful. He were, uh, I say to Heidelberg, uh, he was a loyal servant to the end. <laughs> oh, he'll be fine. He's been through worse. I honestly feel like he might be mortal. I, I want to believe you, my lady. <laughs> Let us proceed then. So without we, torches? You can, I, 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 like, I don't want to be... While we're walking, I, I ask Heidelberg in a hushed tone. Do you believe in, like, immortals? <laughs> in what? Oh, in what? Immortals. Old sea legend. Benda can take much punishment. Oh, don't be silly. He's just a baby. Okay. Just keeps crying all the time with just a little bit of pain. He's, very old He's baby. the strongest adventurer. <laughs> He's like Ash. He's the Ash he can catcher. Carry all those Pokemon. He's the Ash catcher. He's a lo still a loser, but it's the strongest. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you can proceed and uh, without torches. Yeah, you can see, you can see, you can see but uh, it's not so bad because. What you well, what you notice now is that the ruins of Ka are actually lit up, like it's slowly lighting up by uh, what you assume to be uh, drones. Like, uh, you can already see some of the windows are lighting up, and uh, you proceed. Uh, roll stealth checks, for everybody. I would say you're in the cover of darkness, so roll an advantage. So I just roll a flat stealth check. Yeah. Uh, I'm still here remembering why I wear medium armor. Advantage? Right. Oh, very nice. I can't see. 15 and 13. 16. 20. 16. Undetected. Uh, you proceed on. And now inside these ruins, you feel you know, they're through an archway, but you're you're basically hugging the shadows. And you, yourself, your your general presence in the darkness is being am is amplifying, uh, and your powers are being amplified. And, Amplifies everyone else's uh, dark aura, such that you are very hard to be seen, even even under torches uh, of the ruins. 
see the courtyard, some sort of courtyard in the ruins now. Uh, off in the distance, about uh, 200 feet away. Uh, you can see it from the light and it's, oh, and it's uh, emanating its own light itself. Uh, a piece of armor is uh, sitting, just sitting there, uh, unmoving, or a set of armor. You can't tell whether there's a person underneath or clothes underneath, but it is lighting up and it is sitting down all the far end. Uh, around you are, uh, make perception checks. It's lit up, but you're hidden, so it's a fat roll. Not a disadvantage. Not at all. Oh, not That's not me. Perception? Oh, crap, not me either. That's you. 20? 20. You see, uh, uh, Dinahi, uh, you see a very rusted but unarmed uh, duodrome. The, the armor ahead. The one sitting down? The one sitting down. Its shield's broken, but it does have a long sword on it. Uh, there's a an odd starfish-shaped drone with massive arms. Mm -hmm. A quad drone that you fought a while ago, but it, does, it doesn't have wings, so it's not flying. Uh, does it have the does the quad drone have weapons? It does not. A duodrome drone with a spear. Mm. A and a duo drone with a bag of javelins being uh, it's lugging around. So how I many really how many combatants in total? One five. And then all of them are. Six. Okay. No one will get back to nine. Then. Six. All of them so are. So I, I really. Uh, Some of them are uh, not armed. Uh, There's a spear and the javelin. The uh, sorry. Uh, javelin, spear, unarmed, unarmed but big arms. Oh, and the the long sword. Long sword. Armor with long sword. And, and I feel like we're gonna fight unarmed. Oh, so six. What about now? Six total. Okay. Uh, sorry. Congratulations. Make an investigation check. Uh, Eiderbach goes behind you and says, "I think I know something about that arm." So roll at an advantage. It's probably. Or uh, sorry, Arcana. Arcana. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You know that you know that thing to be what what they call an automaton armor, but others who have encountered it call it a helm four. Oh shit, helm four. You know them to be particularly uh, difficult to fight because their armor is so thick. They're resistant to magic. They are resistant to magic. Oh shit. They are. This one, however, has a broken shield. Not However, this one is special in the sense that you feel that it's not gonna move unless you get into within a certain distance. Do you think it's possible to sneak about that and probably if you go to its core or to brain or something? Hmm? I'm sorry? Uh, he says that it's proximity based awakening though. So if you do get near enough, it might be it. Does that mean that if we say, for example, oh, if sorry. someone what was your comes up, uh, with, uh, it and the, the last one, but like someone who has mind of stealth can probably pick it from behind while it's focused on oh, one person. Oh, sorry. Well, not, none of us are particularly far. Some are far off. Uh, perhaps uh, ahead of the armor, mm -hmm. like behind it. It's this round, glowing <laughs> thing. It's similar to the one to the map of uh, mm -hmm. that's with Umbratis. Similar to that. However, the difference is instead of just a solid round sphere, there it's almost like an eye. It almost looks like an eye. Okay. How far away is that from us? If the armor is 200 feet away from you, it is, I would say, uh, 200. Can you chase again? 270 feet away from you. The the glowing. So I point. I point it out to everyone in a hushed voice. Uh, 
a glowing orb in the distance, way behind the armor. Can we sneak past the armor? Uh, and what is, uh, I see that it's similar to the orb, to, to the map? Similar in, 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 in its make and design. Oh, okay. But instead of a, a solid, a full solid sphere, it, it has this opening in the center of this. Oh, okay. And it's yeah, it's spider climb. How big is it? You can't tell. I can't tell. But uh, given that you can make an investigation check. Bad investigation check. One. You can't tell. You can't, you, though, the, though you surmise it, Probably something you can carry with you. Uh, so I really, uh, it's a similar looking orb with an opening. Can I see it? Uh, yeah, can you see it now that I've pointed it out? Oh, uh, uh madam. Was it, was it, oh, yeah. my lady, uh, I pointed, I point the glowing thing. Uh, isn't it similar to, to, to the orb, ma'am, that you? I never bought it. What, oh. what are you? Before. That could be yeah, cool. In the fact, you with your knowledge and my expertise could probably fashion to be more compatible with the six. So it is 270 feet behind the helm, behind the helper. Make another investigation check this time. Also at a disadvantage. Or sorry, Arcana. Uh, again at a disadvantage. What time is the pizza arriving? So, thank you. You bet. You you have you get the feeling that it's probably gonna activate if you're within 60 feet. The the or the armor. Uh, 60 feet. Six combatants. Three are an army. Or yeah, an army. Three. Uh, can I see how they're laid out in the area? I'm more inclined to let us stretch our legs here. I'm just going all out. So, we get in? I feel like we get in, but I just need to see the layout. Uh, it might be a little difficult with the uh, or, or, or the doula hand. They're resistant to the magic. So I'm just gonna... It's not gonna resist to you, so... I just need that. <laughs> They got relatively high AC, but you think you can salvage them for armor parts? Probably not. I can't. I cast fist. You're probably not resistant to fist. I cast ah. trident, and then I cast spike. You're I probably cast, not resistant. I cast trident. My focus being my trident. Mm -hmm. I cast fist. <laughs> I do all sorts of magical juju. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Three distinct holes appear magically in his chest, and from it flows a mysterious red liquid. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian trying to cast. 
<laughs> Let's make a fun character. A barbarian Let's fix it and we'll cast it. I've seen some orc barbarian builds. Uh, orc, orc wizard builds. I cast this. So, uh, make an investigation. I would say it's an investigation check. You know where they are, but to identify their distances within one another is uh, different. 16. Too relaxing. Yeah. And I'm getting drowsy. <laughs> the hiccups are getting worse. Is the pizza not serious? Yep. Want to take a pizza break? After this. We'll set up and execute. Execute them all. Just work before we initiate. This. I'm going to do a lot of friendly fires, so prepare yourself. As long as you pay me with him after. Party. Well, it's a pretty wide open uh, courtyard. It's, it's basically a castle courtyard. It's very big. Okay. Should I initiate starfish all of them big by arms? Children? Where's starfish big arms? Over there, mm -hmm. on the top. Can't do it in the way. His re uh, Helm Horror's activation proximity is 60. 60 feet away. Wow, but he's really, really far from us. Mm -hmm. That should be systematically eliminate all of them until we get the Helm Horror. That looks like the best plan. Uh, you know how smart the pentadrones are? They might try something with the, um, even the quad drones maybe. They might try something with the other. Okay. If you agitate them. Uh, which is the pentadrones? Oh, wait. Which are the pentadrones? Hmm? Which are the pentadrones? Star. Oh, star. Alright. Just one. Can we, can I jab them? And, those? uh, what are the other ones? Uh, Q. Uh, Quadrons are cubes, two domes are the, the the ones that look like two squares on top of each other. Okay. Oh, this one with a spear or an arrow See, spear. See, you're 20s count. Who is this? Oh, with a javelin, okay. Alright, I will take this opportunity to take a pizza break and we can plan over... Meal time. Alright, should we just so 